Sumo. Since ancient times, warriors clad in Mawashi belts have waged battles within the ring. It is one of the few combat sports without weight classes. Thus, student wrestlers who are heavier and larger in stature have a distinct advantage over the rest of their competition. Among them, there are those with the potential to achieve the rank of Yokozuna. These athletes receive the name of a sword from Japan's national treasures as their moniker. like I'm drowning in shoulders here. Hmm? <laughs> so you like being handsy? I'm thinking you and I should have a little chat at the next stop. We're waiting, sicko. Apologize to her. The boy's lying. Where's your proof? <laughs> From where I was standing, I could see you clear as day. God is watching and doesn't miss a thing. Let me through, people. About time you showed. We got us a pervert. No kidding, where are your pants? What are you talking about? I meant the guy in the Is suit. Is this what kids are into these days, not wearing pants? You got the wrong idea. I'm checking out a new school and just wanted to make a good first impression. Uh, I was hoping I could join their morning practice, but it's already past noon. Getting off the train a station too early really turned me around. And this map Kirihito drew me isn't helping the situation. There we go. Now let's see. The front gate's gotta be around here somewhere. Like I didn't miss practice. Yeah. You mind if I join in? Uh, hold up. Uh, Incredible! I know I shouldn't be surprised, but still, they even have sumo rings built outside the dojo. How ingenious. The bale's a fire hose filled with dirt. Uh, yeah, the platform is packed tight. I'm sorry, who are you? Oh, guess I forgot to introduce myself. I got carried away when I saw someone in a Mawashi belt. Sorry. I'm a third-year middle schooler. I came to check out your school because of its sumo club. The name's Hinomaru Ushio. Good to meet you. Before I can be a Yokozuna, the highest rank in all of sumo, first I have to be the best high school wrestler there is. Did he say Yokozuna? What's your name? Oh. I'm Mozuki from the sumo club. I would love to have a bout against someone driven enough to be practicing during their lunch uh, break. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you doing? Could you do me a favor? Huh? Hand me my bag. I need my Mawashi belt. Oh, sure. Wait, you're changing out here? No one's looking. One thing's obvious. This dude's done some major training. But where do you get all those scars from? If you're warmed up, want to start? Uh, okay. He's way intense about this. All right. What's wrong? Is that all you got? You want to see what I'm made of? Not bad. You didn't do so bad yourself. You said your name was Ushio, right? I'm kind of surprised I never heard of you from any tournaments before. Yeah, well, that's a long story. I haven't done much competing. Just a few back when I was in elementary school, that's all. Oh, gotcha. Kinda feel like I shouldn't have brought it up. But that's the whole reason I want to enroll at this school. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry for missing the morning practice and making a bad first impression. Morning practice? You mean you're actually joining the sumo club? Of course I am. You're for uh, real? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it, we got a new club member! It's not a big deal. It's so totally a big deal! <laughs> well, before you pass out, how about you take me to see the dojo? Huh? Um, you see, the thing about the dojo is... He was gonna find out sooner or later. Looks like the rest of the club's inside. What's up? I didn't say it would be pretty. Uh, I remember hearing this school had its share of delinquents. Who are you calling a delinquent, short stack? Does he come with batteries? Ozicky! <laughs> Who gave you permission to come wandering around here? No, no one! I just... Uh... Quit stuttering and speak up! Pick that up. Huh? A dojo is treated with respect. Do not defile it. Pick up that trash right now! Hey, dude. Uh, a word? Do you know who you're talking to, shrimp? <clears throat> not at all. Do you? <sighs> What are you mongrels howling about? You must back! And here I was thinking somebody had stopped by looking for a fight. How about you tell me what's going on, Ozuki? Uh, well, I... Uh... It was this half-size punk! Just came in and started a fight, no warning or anything! Say the word and I'll just go ahead and... Oh. Lesson one, you're an easy target. Hey, shrimp, is everything that idiot said true? Yeah, most of it. I hope you know what you're getting into. <sighs> I got an idea what you can do with your free time. Yeah? How about all you take up sumo wrestling instead? Tons of fun, well? <laughs> Fat guy's <laughs> hugging, hitting our idea of fun. Uh, Looks like uh, he uh, wants yeah. to fight. So sorry. He didn't mean any disrespect. Right on cue. Odachi's resident coward. Odachi? The kid's a middle schooler thinking about joining the sumo club next year. <laughs> he said Odachi high. We need to go. Like now. Doesn't he even know what school he goes to? So, Yuma, what now? I really embarrassed myself back there, huh? What's the deal? Why are you letting them walk all over you like that? It's just the way things are. No one can stand up to Yuma, even though he's only a second year. I suppose knowing karate would stop a lot of people from talking back. Wow, you could tell? Yeah, the guy actually won the Kanto tournament back when he was in middle school. If those weren't club members, where is everyone? Well, after you join, that'll make a grand total of two. Uh the Ishigama High School Sumo Club only has one member? Uh, no, but the Odachi High School Club does. Uh, ah! I was at the wrong school the entire time? I think most people would have noticed, and probably used the front gate. This was all a mistake. Makes sense. For real, though. I mean, why would someone with actual talent want to enroll here? Sorry I didn't pick up on it sooner. It's not your fault. You deserve better. A hotshot like you ought to be going to a powerhouse school. I could say the same thing about you. Huh? I could tell from our bout. It's your legs. Obviously, you've put in the time training. Uh... That sumo ring. You're the one who built it, right? Oh, yeah. There's not a weed or pebble visible. And like I said before, the dirt's packed nice and tight. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it from the moment I saw you. You're a sumo maniac, just like me! <laughs> as long as you keep up sumo, I know we'll see each other in a tournament. I can't wait for that day. <laughs> <laughs> no way! How did I end up back at Odachi High? Ozuki even drew me a new map! I'm a mess. Not to mention I kept getting distracted and used up the entire day. Well, whatever. I'll just thank him for the map and head home. What happened to your ring? Ushio! It's destroyed! There's nothing left! Who did this? Even the bale is in pieces. 
Time to quit, huh? I can't continue practicing sumo at the school anymore. I didn't care when they called me lame or fatty, as long as I had this ring. Some place of my own. I really wanted to have an official bat here one day. <laughs> now it's gone. They stole it. Took it away from me. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, manual labor shirts up. Yeah, but it feels good working up a sweat. How would you guys know? Hey! <laughs> that bag weighs a ton. The hell's in there? <laughs> well, don't you feel any remorse for what you did? Remember, God is watching! What are you talking about? Don't play dumb! Your thugs destroyed the sumo ring! Ah. Uh... Now things are making sense. Guess the boys got carried away. Then it sounds like it's your problem, you jerk! Of course. I take responsibility for their actions. So, what you gonna do about it? I want a duel. If I win, you have to give up the dojo. A duel, huh? Okay. But if we're gonna do this, you play by my rules. Deal. Then it's settled. Good. See you at the dojo. Sure, I'll be there after I change. Better not run. You wish. You're gonna fight him? He gave me no choice. I'm gonna win that dojo back for the sumo club. Huh? It's between me and him. You'll be fine. That's not what I'm worried about right now. You don't know what kind of trouble you've gotten yourself into, man. Huh? We're talking about Yuma. Playing dirty is a specialty. Trust me on this. He's gonna do whatever it takes to make sure he wins the fight. That's it? No problem. After all, I'm gonna be a Yokozuna. What's with you? I'm saying don't take this lightly. Would you stop talking about being a Yokozuna for one second? You're not even tall enough to look the dude in the eyes. I'm sure you know already, but you have to be at least 167 centimeters to pass the medical exam and become a sumo wrestler. And you look to be shy of 160. I know you love the sport, but you can't be a pro wrestler, much less a Yokozuna. Look, I hate being the one who says this, but there are some things in this world you have no control over! I'm sorry I couldn't give you a bigger body. Anyway, you should go while you still have a chance, okay? I'll see ya. Like that's gonna stop me. Mm -hmm. So, you didn't run. Where's your pint-sized amigo? He's not going to show up. What? I'm asking you. Please let it go, just this one time! Do what? He's the one who wanted to fight in the first place! I know and I'm sorry, but I'll do anything you want to make it up to you! What kind of crap are you pulling? It's an interesting proposition. It is? So if I have this straight, you'll do whatever I ask. Uh, uh yeah. I want you to give up Sumo. <gasps> it's my life! I'm not sure how you know each other, but you came here to protect him, right? Then you better be prepared to lose something of value in exchange. I knew it from the moment I saw you. You're a sumo maniac, just like me. Okay. Hmm. From this day forward, I'll never... Huh? You shouldn't make promises you can't keep. Well, ready when you are. Ushio? <laughs> What's going on with his outfit? <laughs> Someone tell him his butt's hanging out! <laughs> Maybe he wants to make it easier for you to kick it. What the hell? I told you to escape, dude! Like I would ever run away from a fight. I imagine some people would have taken your advice and left you to the wolves. But they could never become Yokozuna. You need to have three things. A strong spirit, technique, and body. And unfortunately, I'm on the short side. So I can't very well let my spirit be weak, can I? Ozaki, don't let anyone make you quit sumo. Huh? Huh? The kid's a poet, not a fighter. I mean, did you hear that speech? Lovely. Now then, why don't we see if your spirit is as strong as you say it is? If I remember right, you said the fight would be played by my rules. Ten minutes. You just stand there. And if you endure my punches that long without fighting back, you'll be declared the winner. Or as we like to call it, the famous Dachi High Human Sandbag. What kind of insane fight is this? 
Let's get it over with. <gasps> You're not gonna back down after hearing the rules. All right. <laughs> hey, you'd better be counting those ten minutes. <clears throat> Just who the hell are you? I'm Hinomaru Ushio, and my name will echo through history on the day I become a Yokozuna! <sighs> Listen up, you punks. If you think you can beat me, bring it on! Don't retreat. Don't back down. The ring is four and a half meters across. Nothing exists outside of it. I'm taking this body into fights where if one hand, one knee touches the ground, I lose! If I can't win now, then when will I? Hey, there's something big going down at the dojo. You want to go check it out? The human sandbag again? That's nothing new. No, listen. Uh, are you serious? What's with you? Break! Uh, damn you, kid. What are you made of? Time's up? That can't be right. I even added five minutes just to be safe. No way. Hey, maybe it's just me, but that felt like more than ten. What's it take to knock you down? That's a stupid question. In sumo, you lose if anything besides your feet touches the ground. I've worked hard to make sure I never fall. You didn't think those weak punches of yours were enough to put me down. It's gotta be some kind of trick! No one messes with me! Time's up, which means I can fight back now. I take it you've never experienced sumo. Ready for a taste? Spirit. Are you serious? He just took down Yuma with a single hit. Hinomaru, Ushio. Uh? The two-time elementary school champion? He was so strong, they gave him the moniker of a demonic national treasure! Onimaru Kunitsuna! Uh... So, Yuma, you appreciate sumo now? We had a bet. Take your flunkies and get lost. You think we're just gonna leave? This isn't over until you fight the rest of us! What? You do know what a duel is, right? There's no way he can beat all of us! All of you shut up! I had 15 minutes and I couldn't drop him. He took me out in one hit. I lost, and that's all there is to it. Hmm. Damn, how'd that shrimp beat me? If you want the answer, you should try the sport. I'm gonna be the best wrestler in Japan. If you ever want a rematch, I'll be happy to take you on. <sighs> Finally, a dojo. It's like a dream. Pinch yourself, because it's real. Things should have always been this way. But still, I can't believe all this time you were Onimaru. You told me there are some things in the world that can't be helped. Oh, yeah... This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to win. Then I'm going to win some more until I'm the best high school sumo wrestler there is. That'll show everyone it's not the size of your body that counts. And then... I'll make the professional sumo league bow their heads to me! You know what? When you say it, I start to think it might happen. It's not something I joke around about. I'll see ya! Uh. Uh. Please take one! Sign up! Oh, Sign so you're gonna join the basketball club? club? Be a Smart pro choice! Like me. Oh, sorry. Didn't expect to see you out here. I don't get why you even bother. No one's gonna join your sumo club. I'm gonna prove you wrong! I think maybe they'll end up being right. No! This year it's gonna be different! <laughs> That's right! <laughs> the dojo's in terrific shape. <laughs> Ushio, what are you doing back here? Well, there's not so many sumo maniacs like you around. So I decided we're both gonna dominate the competition this year. You mean it? You're joining the team? I'll be counting on you, Captain. 
Yes! Great news! You don't know how pumped I am right now! <laughs> what do you say we celebrate by having a match? As captain, I totally agree. Sumo. Since ancient times, warriors clad in Mawashi belts have waged battles within the ring. It is one of the few combat sports without weight classes. Thus, student wrestlers who are heavier and larger in stature have a distinct advantage over the rest of their competition. Among them, there are those with the potential to achieve the rank of Yokozuna. These athletes receive the name of a sword from Japan's national treasures as their moniker. Like I'm still no match for you. I can tell you spent a bunch of hours working on the basics. You've been holding your own during our matches. I can't believe I get to do sumo in the dojo again. Yuma and his thugs were using it as a personal hangout before our latest club member went head to head with him and won it back. Man, I need an official bout. Yeah. Hey, Cap, when's the next tournament coming up? Hey, I'm dying to compete too but our club still only has two members in it. We're gonna need at least three more people to join us before we can enter any tournaments. Then there's nothing to worry about, because we're gonna get a ton at the club sign-up day tomorrow. What makes you think that's gonna happen? I've got a plan. Just leave everything to me. Okay. What goes hand in hand with Sumo? Chonkonabe stew, of course! When they get a taste, we'll have to turn people away! Damn. What the hell are you? <laughs> sure we're howling in your sleep, Yuma. Probably having nightmares about getting his ass kicked by a freshman. <laughs> that kid. I'm gonna be the best wrestler in Japan. If you ever want a rematch, I'll be happy to take you on. <laughs> He's out of his mind if he thinks he'll be the best in Japan. Nothing better than working up a sweat on the soccer field! Stick around for a game of target practice! Sign up for the sumo club! No prior experience required! I hate to say it, but I'm getting the feeling high schoolers aren't into sumo these days. Don't forget, we have a secret weapon. Oh. Hey, you guys, we're giving away free Chonko stew. Uh, never heard of it before. Uh, I see why. Uh, this crap is awful, but I eat it all the time. It's a lawsuit waiting to happen. Uh. What could you even put in here to make it taste this bad? The usual. I mean, I added some extra garlic and protein powder for nutrition. Huh? Uh. Uh. Hmm? Yeah, think I'm gonna find a crowd of people to hand out these flyers to. Well, looks like I'll have leftovers. Mm. Delicious. Uh -huh. mm. Mm. A little salty, slightly bitter, and totally original. Yeah? So I'm not crazy. Go ahead, have as much as you want. If you're sure. Definitely, thanks, bro. You know what else you've been missing? Sumo, why don't you sign up? Join your club. Different combat sports would boost my prospects, but Sumo's not on the list. Prospects? Uh. Second year Tihiro Kunasaki Wrestling Club. Remember the name, because I'm going to be America's best mixed martial arts fighter. <laughs> First year Hinomaru Ushio, future Yokozuna. I'm going to be a sumo pro. Hold up. I was dead serious when I told you I'm going to be the best. Then you turn around and make a joke? Not cool, man. No joke. I was dead serious, too.
I've got a feeling we're two of a kind, Ushio. Cut from the same cloth, or whatever it is people like to say. Hey, you know what? Here you go. Huh? You're the kind of guy who will appreciate this. It's a competition offering a unique training experience and recruits club members. Oh, cool. You should stop by if you got the time. See ya. Maybe I will. That guy seems pretty motivated. Yep, with zero interest in sumo. After volleyball is finished, the wrestling club will be holding an exhibition match. We're falling way behind schedule, so tell everyone to pick up the pace. Ma'am! Ma Ma'am! Bro, I want to join her club bad. Hmm? Don't you know who she is? That's Reina, last year's Miss Dachi High and the current student council president. Huh? For real? <laughs> the freshmen are already noticing me. That didn't take long. Still, this year, things are going real smooth. Probably have that freshman to thank. You know, the one from Sumo Club who took care of those puns. Just shut up, dude! How dare you mention that in front of Reyna! <laughs> <laughs> So, how have the crowds been? Pretty consistent with what you're seeing. How about you? I handed out flyers, but I'm starting to feel like it's just a waste of paper. Oh, man. Oh, actually, a guy did stop by and handed me some kind of event ticket. Oh, yeah. I saw a huge crowd hanging around the gym watching whatever's going on inside. Now I'm depressed and jealous. Well, since no one's stopping by here, want to go check it out? Supreme! Invincible! Oh. The strongest! Ivan! With his arm drag finisher, the Chihiro Special Number One! The Karate, Boxing, and Judo Clubs have been defeated! Who will be next? Chihiro can fight, I'll give him that much. That's a little bit of an understatement. Last year, he went on to become the national champ in wrestling. So he's the strongest guy in our school? Even more than Yuma? Strong, yeah, but, uh... Wait! Huh? I don't believe my eyes! The champion's giving the loser a lesson in where he went wrong! He's pretty much the most obnoxious guy I've ever met. Odachi Ai's own Mr. Untouchable. Still, he's in a combat sport like us. And check out the crowd! They're totally into the show! Who is crazy enough to challenge him next? We have a volunteer from... The Sumo Club? Did he say... Good. I've been waiting for you. I don't care about sumo. On the other hand, your enthusiasm intrigues me. Um, hey, Ushio? Isn't it tragic, Captain? Everyone writes off sumo before giving it a chance. But maybe they need an up-close and personal demonstration. And then they'll finally appreciate it. Hey, did you hear? Mm. That short kid from the sumo club is taking on Chihiro in a one-on-one. -on -one. What? You're kidding. The freshman who beat Yuma? Yeah, back when Yuma was considered the strongest guy at Dachi High. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> ah! Does that shrimp have a death wish or something? I'm going to bring sumo to you. I want you to see it in person, up close. <laughs> I invited you, after all. But what about your rituals? I mean, can you do sumo in any old gym? <laughs> Professional sumo is part ritual, but it's also part entertainment. Down the road, I'm going to have to put on a show for a packed Kokugikan arena. I see this as good practice. <laughs> You're actually game, aren't you? Uh, yay. Are you sure you want to do this, Brosif? I mean, we're talking about the national wrestling champ here. Beating him would make our club look good, but... I'm sorry if I lose. Huh? Promotion is partly why I'm doing this. But it's also a rare chance for me to face a top-class athlete. I want to see if I have what it takes to win. Fighting him will make me stronger. Stronger? Besides, wrestling matches take place inside of a ring using only your bare hands. It's not that different from sumo. Wrong, they're nothing alike. With throws in judo and pinfalls in wrestling, you're vulnerable to a fatal blow. You're completely defenseless. Now let's take a look at sumo. 
If you leave the ring, you lose. If your hand touches the ground, you lose. What a waste of a fight. A sumo victory is just so lame. You can't be called a true winner until you've subdued your opponent. I'm going to be a mixed martial artist, so compared to that, your sport seems kind of wimpy to me. Wimpy? <laughs> Here's my suggestion. You fight under wrestling rules, sumo for me. I lose if I step outside the circle, or if anything but my feet touches the ground. You lose if you're on your back any longer than one second, but your hands and knees are free to touch the mat. Gas! What's he thinking? He's made a list of rules that have given his competitor the upper hand. This guy. No oh, muscle, no brain. <laughs> and yet, this could work to my advantage. You're not doing this because you underestimate me. All right, then. But I still have my own pride to consider. Oh. <laughs> there. Now you have something to grab. Thanks. The crowd's excitement is absolutely electric. What's your take, Ozaki? Uh, what? You're asking me? Hmm? Reina says she wants to ref the match. Breaking news here. The guest referee officiating this fight is none other than Reina, our student council president. Thank you. You're too wonderful. What, what's she doing? Do you even know the rules? I don't mind her refing. Did this guy actually beat Yuma? I don't know how he pulled it off, but I refuse to accept it. Wrestling versus sumo, the sports battle of the century. The crowd is holding its breath, waiting for the sound of the be- Huh? Begin! Supreme! It's off! And there's a special high-speed, no-motion tackle! See hero special- <gasps> If this were sumo, you would have just died. Let's equate losing with dying. In my sport, this is fatal. Wimpy? Afraid not. What a challenger! He just made a mockery of the national champ's signature tackle! Stand up. You're not dead yet. Well, not in wrestling terms, anyway. <sighs> Far from it. I've got a lot of fight left in me. If you want to kill me, you're gonna have to break my neck! <laughs> he blocked that too? Fine. Low flying airplane throw! To hero special number four! The champion's unleashing a flurry of brutal attacks! But instead of toppling his opponent, he can't even drop him to his knees! How can you be having this much trouble, Kunisaki? Incredible. If you get knocked down in our sport, you lose. So that means there's nobody in martial arts who's more impervious to falling than a sumo wrestler! <laughs> We divide our attention between standing and ground moves, but they dedicate their entire training to remaining upright. Still, how can he last so long on one leg? Is this it? The challenger has been on his back foot the whole match. And like that, a barrage of attacks! I just faced off against the boxing and karate clubs. Pummeling me isn't gonna get you anywhere. An armbar throw counter! The challenger has gone full offensive! over thigh scooping body drop! He keeps backing up after knocking me to the ground. A sumo wrestler to the very end, huh? He's underestimating me. Something's changed about him. You're a strong opponent, Hinamaru. But you're obsessed with sumo and refuse to stay on the offensive. And that'll be your downfall! You're finished! I'm winning this match here and now! Chihiro special number one! There's no way he's getting out of this one. Impressive technique, but... Oh. He countered? There's no way! You're not the only one here with a special move! Ah! Right underhand throw! Demon wheel! <sighs> what we're competing for isn't the survival of our bodies. It's about spirit. When you've spent all your power, pride, and resolve only for it to be useless, 
and you see your opponent still standing in the ring. That's a sumo wrestler's death. I didn't expect you to counter that. While I could continue to fight, I'm too disappointed. I accept defeat. In the contest of wrestling versus sumo, a fierce battle between combat sports, our winner is Hinamaru Ushio! <laughs> this can't be happening. My plan was to make an unfair call, ensuring Kunisaki was the victor. You actually won! <laughs> so how much do Mawashi belts cost? Huh? That's kind of a specific question. Well, I'm obviously going to be needing one if I plan on joining the sumo club. <gasps> Whoa, you're serious? Let's see. Incredible core strength, the power to push opponents back. Those are skills I'll need as an MMA fighter. And if you love the sport, then it can't be that bad. You've convinced me to try sumo. So sign me up! We got another one! Awesome! <laughs> We're excited for you to be a part of our team. Welcome to the club. Wait, you're not serious? But it's sumo! Freaking sumo! And, look, I don't know what your deal is, but seems like you got some kind of grudge against them. <laughs> some kind of grudge? That doesn't even begin to cover it. Let me be clear! I will never forgive you, Hinomaru! Uh... Jeez, what do you do to her, man? I have no idea. You were incredible out there. Yeah? Thanks for saying. So guys, you want to give it a try? Uh, yeah. It's not really for uh. me. <laughs> Losers. Well, that's disappointing. The gym was packed and we didn't move anyone else to sign up? I kind of feel like I'm letting Sumo down. I excuse mm -hmm. me? Uh, if you'll let me, I'd like to... Join the Sumo Club! Uh, huh? huh? Wa watching you fight... Inspired me, Mr. Hinamaru. Sumo is amazing. Uh, uh. What is he, some kind of idiot? There's something about being in a sumo ring, like a shot of adrenaline to the heart. Uh, Yuma. That kid down there knows what I'm talking about. He glimpsed it during today's fight. What are you saying? You've been weird ever since that freshman beat you. I need you to go back to being my badass big brother and take care of things. Kick the crap out of Hinamaru. Uh, sorry, but those days are done. I've decided I'm going to take up Sumo to defeat him. You too? I can't go into this half-heartedly. He's on a totally different level. I won't get there unless I'm committed. Is it worth the trouble? All this effort for him? If you want to know the answer, open your eyes. Man, we worked our butts off yesterday and only got two new members. So what? We're not giving up that easily. After morning practice, we'll hand out... Uh -huh. I've never seen the dojo this clean. About time you showed up. Huh? What are you doing back here? You're the one who invited me, idiot. To find out why I lost, remember that? And on the subject, losing doesn't sit well with me. I've made up my mind. I'm going to beat you and become the best in Japan. What are you, dumb? I'm saying I'm joining the sumo club. I have no objections, but it's up to our captain. <clears throat> oh, but I don't... You're bowing to me? I'm sorry for my actions. I know this is a completely selfish request, but... Allow me to learn sumo. Please. <sighs> Wanting to learn is reason enough. There's no way I can say no. <gasps> I never thought I'd see the day. Damn it! How long were you standing there? If I hadn't interrupted, we would have gotten to see the waterworks. <laughs> Don't you ever look down on me! So you've got five members. <clears throat> Who are you? Kirihito? You go to school here? I do. Only because I heard you were enrolled. He's a friend of yours? You must know Sumo! You're joining too? Yes, but not as a club member. Huh? I assume you plan on entering a tournament now. 
But as things stand, you'd be eliminated in the first round. <sighs> How the hell would you know? He doesn't realize who he's talking to. No need to worry, though. <clears throat> Under my guidance, this club can make it to nationals. Sumo. Since ancient times, warriors clad in Mawashi belts have waged battles within the ring. It is one of the few combat sports without weight classes. Thus, student wrestlers who are heavier and larger in stature have a distinct advantage over the rest of their competition. Among them, there are those with the potential to achieve the rank of Yokozuna. These athletes receive the name of a sword from Japan's national treasures as their moniker. Indeed. This is Ega University High, one of the top schools for sumo. You don't actually expect us to just jump in and have practice bouts with their team. Wait out here if you want. But... Suji, <laughs> hold on! Some of the best wrestlers go here. Let's see what they've got. Of course. There's only one way we're going to make it to the national tournament, and that's by having bouts with one of the top schools in Japan. So he was serious about going to the nationals. I assume you're planning on entering a tournament, but as things stand, you'd be eliminated in the first round. Uh, How the hell would you know? He doesn't realize who he's talking to. No need to worry, though. Uh -huh. Under my guidance, this club can make it to nationals. Who says we can't get there on our own? Yuma Gojo, third year. Huh? Skilled in karate, Kanto tournament winner. Chihiro Kunisaki, oh. second year, national wrestling champion. Well, to be fair, everyone's heard about me. Shinya Ozaki, third year, captain. <sighs> you lack experience with official bouts. Still, your quiet dedication and persistent training have honed your physique. So. Did you research all of us? Hmm. Um, my name's Kei Mitsuhashi. I'm a first year. Any prior sports? I know it's not much, but I've been playing the flute since I was six. <gasps> <laughs> and lastly, Hinomaru Ushio. Yeah, hey again. So what are you doing here? Uh -huh. Is he a friend of yours? I'm Kirihito Suji. And starting today, I'm supervising the Odachi High School Sumo Club. What? Man, who died and made you boss? Have you even been in a match before? Cause I ain't taking orders from no beginner, you got that? How many bouts have you had? <laughs> I've never heard of a student being a club supervisor. Leaving out the most important part as usual. You always do that. Sounds like you guys go way back. Since elementary school. Kirihito and I used to do sumo at the same dojo. Um, obviously, you still keep up with it. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, so you just talk big. When I said Dachi High will make it to nationals, I meant it. Ugh. The first step towards that goal is having practice bouts with Aegu University High next week. No way! Ega High? Uh, are they good? Good? You have no idea who we're talking about. They're only the toughest school in all of Kanto. Second place in the Inner High last year. An all-around powerhouse school. Oh. So that's a yes. I like the sound of this school. Sir, question. Is it essential that I compete? A sumo team consists of five wrestlers. You are part of the team. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But I've only been doing sumo a total of seven days. You monsters! Mm -hmm. Forcing this colossal burden on my brother is heartless! But we've all got one. What's in here, anyway? Chiba's specialty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Souvenir peanuts. Who needs that many nuts? I have a question. What are you doing here? Uh, well, because I... 
because she worships her brother, duh. <laughs> well, who even gave this guy permission to set this up? I never agreed to you being our club supervisor. Yomura. Uh. So, you all made it. Meet Ega's team captain. <laughs> Thanks for hosting us. No sweat. Huh? Here he is, just in time. He seems like an okay guy. Um, yeah, I guess. I was worried the wrestlers at an awesome school like this would all be jerks. You do realize Mawashi belts are our uniforms, right? Why are you even doing sumo? Don't you realize how embarrassing this is? You don't like it, get lost. What did you... I'm the one who gets the orders here! Okay, everybody. Let's start Holy getting warmed crap. up. These guys go to high school? They're the size of a high school! Whoa, check those arms. These dudes are seriously jacked. Of course, they're Ega. Odachi High School? Never heard of them. Who's the little guy? A grade schooler? And that one's scrawny as hell. Are they making fun of sumo? <laughs> National treasure, Onimaru Kunitsuna. Take him down! Spirit! <laughs> Spirit! Oh. You know, I hope we're getting something out of this. Well, matter of fact. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> They're way too strong for us. It's embarrassing. Uh, I know him. So he goes to Ega. Man, it's been years. Maybe I should go say hi. I'm sorry. At least you survived. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Looks like it's all up to me. Here comes my sumo debut and first win. <laughs> Spirit! What kind of move was that? Wrestling move. Power! Yeah! He's intense. That's one word. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Hot uh, five for the king. Uh, you got lucky, that's all. Come on, guys, get ready. It's Ushio's turn. You're up next. Good luck. What the? Ushio? Where'd you go? Hey, Sosuke! You listening? <clears throat> Sorry, what is it? Hinamaru's here. <clears throat> Hinamaru? Who's he? What are you waiting for? They're having bouts! Shun. Yeah? You do realize I can't take part in this. What do you mean? I'm going home for the day. Home? You're nuts! Excuse me. Don't worry. It's my fault for not looking. It really is you. Kuze, been a while. I didn't know you went to Ega. National treasure, Kusanagi sword. You said Odachi High? I've never heard of it. They haven't participated in official matches yet. Huh? But I swear, this team will make it to the national tournament. Maybe, maybe not. I guarantee practice bouts between our teams would be of equal benefit to Ega. How is that exactly? Onimaru Kunitsuna. 
He's in the Odachi Sumo Club. The elementary school Yokozuna? I heard he didn't grow in middle school and quit sumo for good. He didn't quit. And he's a lot stronger than he was back then. <sighs> he's going to become a high school... Strike that. A professional Yokozuna one day. If there's anyone who can motivate your guy, it's Hinomaru. Yeah? The slumbering national treasure will awake. The Kusanagi sword. <laughs> there's a rumor circulating that Ega doesn't have a star wrestler on its roster this year. If you're going to win the inner highs this time around, it's crucial to have Kuze up and running by then. These two old friends? Not really. They competed against one another during an elementary school tournament. Still not doing any bouts? Yeah. See him? That's Yokozuna Yamato Kuni's son. He's definitely his father's boy. But I heard the other one's no pushover either. Begin the match! <laughs> 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 What are you waiting for? Bring a stretcher! Quickly! No bouts? Isn't that too harsh? Lots of kids get hurt doing sumo. All he needs is to learn a little restraint. Our son is exceptional. But if his talent forces us to teach him restraint in the ring, I'd rather he never have another bout with a student. So tell me, how long are you going to let your father's words hold you back? <laughs> I have a confession for you, Kuze. I may have been an elementary school Yokozuna, but I never once faced a worthy opponent. Well, Kusanagi Sword, are we going to fight? I cannot defy my father. Huh? There's nothing holding me back. Don't you? You're kidding. After what he said, we can't let him off the hook that easy. <laughs> All right, then. I'll show you a bout that'll ignite your fighting spirit. Who's the other hobbit? He's a size of baby face here. My name's Kei. Kei Mitsuhashi. I can tell you this much. You don't get into Ega Sumo Club without having some kind of skills. You've no idea. That's Shunkarya. A first year. And he's the former middle school lightweight champion. Wait a minute, lightweight? I didn't think sumo had weight classes. I mean, there are a ton of amateur tournaments that operate that way. But the inner high and pro league ones Hinomaru wants to compete in are actually open weight. Hmm. So for smaller guys like me, I guess we don't stand a chance, huh? Not true. Shun competed in the open weight. And he made it to the national quarterfinals last year. <gasps> he was hindered by his stature during middle school, same as Hinomaru. The difference was Shun experienced success much sooner, because he responded differently to their mutual stumbling block. For someone used to fighting larger, powerful wrestlers, it'll be a difficult match. Hinomaru Ushio. <laughs> I admired your Yokozuna style. How you attacked head on, forcing opponents into submission. But I have my own way of winning. Spirit! Watch out! Wow, he's going low on Hinomaru. Just like he did when he won the lightweight class. Shun intends to use that style against anyone in his way. He's determined. Now he's forcing him to back up. That's unreal. He's surging forward so Hinomaru won't be able to grab him by the belt. the ground. Here it comes! First he'll arch his back, then he'll extend his knees! You're done! 
blood trip. Damn, he's good. It's over. What the hell? Demon wheel. He recovered. Demon storm. No wow. way. That didn't work either. He can't use Demon Wheel, and Demon Storm isn't strong enough. If neither move works separately, then I've only got one choice. I'll use them together! Hundred Demon Takedown! I won't let anything stop me! I'm gonna reach the peak of professional sumo and be a Yokozuna! But what about you? You're fine just being the son of one! You're kidding! His dad's... Oh, crap. But you said... You're strong, Hinamaru. But you're about to run headfirst into a brick wall. You just woke a sleeping giant, and his name is Sosuke Kuze! Backwards. Whoa, his punches are insane. He's using that grip. What said Kuze off to make him this bloodthirsty? He's gonna break his arm! <laughs> the pain alone would make most people try to pull free, but he moved closer and forced to release! <sighs> Father... Our son is exceptional. Not just me. There's another. A Yakasugi sapling. They're chest to chest! It comes down to this. It's about to get ugly! Yamada! What's going on? That's not on? good. Uh, oh. <gasps> Training's over. I told you already. The Yokozuna let his son join in the condition he wouldn't compete in any bouts. And you go behind my back? Wow, talk about gloomy. Ushio. Today was the first time I disobeyed my father. A Yokozuna's word is absolute, not to be challenged. Why'd you do it, Sosuke? I don't know. Like I needed to go up against him. Uh. <laughs> so, in other words, 
He gave you your fire back. If the fight had gone on and we weren't stopped, I would have. Come on, quit brooding. Your head on Yokozuna style approach was a stupid idea. And yet, it suits you best. So I'll just have to teach you how to win while still being a complete idiot. <laughs> what? Idiot? Show up for the start of morning training. What do I find? Frickin' seaweed! Just get back to work, Yuma! I'm gonna hurl! Uh -huh. Better out than in, buddy. <laughs> Gross, bro! Keep our oceans clean! Less chit chat, more hustle. Remember, hiring this boat costs money. Dictator. All right, let's get started. <laughs> I think I just bruised my butt. Have you heard of Jean Cocteau? Huh? He was a French writer and artist who called sumo the art of balance. You try to maintain yours while disrupting your opponents. Now I get huh? it. We use the boat's rocking to strengthen our muscles. Should improve our balance a lot. That's precisely the point. <laughs> huh? I knew this had something to do with our training. You'd have to be an idiot to think the seaweed's not part of it. Huh? A handful of this stuff and suddenly it becomes the same width and toughness as a mawashi belt. Ideal for practicing our grabs. No, the seaweed is just seaweed. Huh? You sure? <laughs> it's still just morning and I'm already beat. I can't wait until class so I can catch some shut-eye. You still remember that day, don't you? Hmm? You were in the arena? You should have told me! I didn't get a chance to watch you compete, seeing as how quickly you were eliminated from the match. <laughs> Just wait until next time. Are you there, Kirihito? Tell me this. Do you like sumo? Uh, yeah, of course I do! How could you even ask me that? Nothing's better than a Yokozuna-style victory. You haven't won since you started middle school. <laughs> Is losing fun to you? That may be how you want to fight, but isn't there a more practical way of winning? Just because you work hard doesn't mean you'll be successful. I know. I've heard it before. Master Yamato Kuni said the same thing. I didn't know that. When you met him your first year of middle school? Yeah, way back. I couldn't believe I was allowed to have a lesson with him face to face, then. Now, show me some of your moves so I can see what you're made of, boy. Yes, sir! His last year's elementary Yokozuna. Small for his age. Doesn't look like he's grown much since then. You're right. Probably why he hasn't been competing. Gentlemen, choose your words more carefully. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what they say. Even so, don't you think it's foolish to attack an opponent directly when your height is a clear disadvantage? Master Yamato Kuni, during your sumo career, you met opponents head on. That's how I choose to live all aspects of my life. <laughs> well, that goes for me too. I promise you, I will wear another Yokozuna belt. Nothing will stop me. Oh. Starting today, practice for three years. And after that, what happens next? We'll meet again, and then you can show me the kind of life you've decided to live. I haven't changed my mind one bit since then. It's impossible. I won't. Yeah, big surprise. Which is why I prepared for this eventuality. I did a little research, just out mm -hmm. of curiosity. You know, scoping out what all it takes to become a sumo pro. Are you aiming for the Sekitori level? My goal is mixed martial arts, not sumo. But check it. To go pro, the wrestlers have to pass a physical exam. The minimum height is 167 centimeters. But that means... Yeah, I know. He'll never be one of the pros, no matter how hard he trains. It's totally unfair. Then 
why does he keep pushing himself? Is it just because he loves Sumo that much? Where on earth does a kid find that kind of motivation? I've made individual training regimens. Please follow them. No deviating. You made one for each of us? Excuse me. Huh? Hmm? You're taking part in the tournaments alongside us, aren't you? We're grateful for your help, but doesn't this cut into your own training? I won't be competing in any bouts. You're sure you don't want to take my place on the team? Since I'm a rookie, I could trade with you. You've done sumo before. Plus, we want to increase our chances of winning, so what gives? Why are you sitting out? One more thing. If you've got what it takes to lead us, you should prove it. You're a real pain. What? If you need me to show you I'm qualified, I'll have Mitsuhashi beat all of you. No! <gasps> trade spots not fight in your place don't worry do what i say you'll be fine <laughs> come on is this some kind of joke a real comedian i'm going to enjoy this <laughs> not happening definitely not gonna win Spirit! Remember what he said. Watch his hands. Do it now! <laughs> Sorry. Nice going, Kay. He waited until the moment Yuma's feet were square on. Damn it. How'd I lose? Shall I explain? When you hand slap, you're putting all your strength into your upper body. The legs can't keep up. Stepping aside's enough to throw off your balance. That's all it took? Your normal sparring partner shares some of the blame. That idiot never pulls away. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda hard to argue when you're the one on the floor, huh? Now then, I'm curious, what lesson do you think you can teach me, Professor? Professor? Mitsuhashi. Huh? Being Yuma's one thing, but he's facing off with the national wrestling champion. Does this guy even have a weakness? Uh, an inside ankle sweep. Shall I explain? Yeah, please, Professor. Your footwork is sloppy and all over the place. When you take a step, it should be flat. Work on pointing your toes outward and shuffling your entire soul when you move. Yes, sir. It's up to you. All right, don't fail us. Uh, sure. Spirit! <laughs> Allegram? Looks like I'll have to push him back. No, not like that. Grab closer to the ankle. Got it! <laughs> not bad. I did it! Sure did. But how? Your legs are strong, Captain. <laughs> However, your upper body's weak. You didn't push him back hard enough, so he was able to get close and take you down. I admit it. He really does know everything. It's so obvious. I completely understand now, Professor. Huh? In order for us to win, we need to research our opponents first and discover their weaknesses. But there's one thing we lack. The brains! Well, say something! No one who competes at the national level has shortcomings as glaring as yours. <clears throat> Why would they? They're balanced, experienced wrestlers. The top of their game. Come prelim time, you'd be a team of novices with only a few months of training under the belt, struggling to make it through the first round. <clears throat> but that's why you have me. With Mitsuhashi's help, I showed you all areas to improve, not weaknesses. <laughs> With what time we have left to train, we'll hone the weapons each of you possesses to a keen edge. Even if you're not well-rounded, all you need is one killer move. If you have that, you can become specialist sumo wrestlers and reach the national level. What do you mean? Your turn, Hinomaru. You're a skilled wrestler, but there's always room for improvement. 
I'll change, and then we'll begin our bout. A little slim, but the dude definitely works out. So is he competing? Both of these guys were in sumo together all the way back in elementary school. I know it's been a while, but was Suji any good? I thought they were supposed to be friends. Are you sure you want to do this? You should know I'm not going to hold anything back. There are times I don't make myself clear, but you talk too much. I'm taking this seriously, so it's best you leave the attitude outside the ring. I will take a page from your book and attack head-on, though. Fair warning. Otherwise, you won't get the point I'm trying to make. Hold up. That's a spider stance. Can he even stand up from a position that low? Let's do this. Uh -huh. He's fast. Hinomaru was forced into making low contact. He cut off his charge! No way! How's he doing so well? Ushu pushed him off with a neck grab! Those are some heavy blows. This is the style of sumo you're talking about. But don't forget, if you don't win, you can't call it Yokozuna style! Awesome! An arm grab counter! This guy's got some crazy techniques up his sleeve. Same hand, same grip. It's just like Ushio's. What do you think you're trying to prove? You know how this will end. But if you want to see what three years of training looks like, be my guest. It's over. Here comes the finishing move. Combining a throw with a turn. Hundred demon takedown. Just because you work hard doesn't mean you'll be successful. I still regret my words. Why did I say that? He practices more than anyone else. And the only thing I can do is question his devotion to Sumo. I'll never say those words again. I found a way you can be successful and not let all your effort go to waste. Ugh. They're both doing the same maneuver. You couldn't defeat Kusanagi this way. So I'll take your sumo and make it a thing of the past. He doesn't really think he can beat Ushio with his own move. Here's your lesson. This is your full potential. A throw. A turn. Something extra. A triple combo technique. Damn it. Been a long time since I've seen the ceiling. I take it you... Don't need me to explain. It's more than just a simple turn and throw. It's three attacks combined into one. That's your ace. Your one opportunity when there's none left. So you took his technique and added something on. Makes sense. I'd take a triple combo over a double any day. Yeah, you'd think so. But using that move has a huge risk. Huh? How come? Think about it. It's difficult enough combining two moves. Imagine adding one more. There's no coming back after that. If it doesn't work, then you're out of options. So this secret weapon could still end up costing the entire match. Is it really worth it? Thank you, Kirihito. It's a gamble I'm willing to take. Used to be a time. I rejected your sumo. Now I want to see more. Mm -hmm. Charging at Titans and knocking them to the floor? It'll have its very own name, Hinomaro Sumo. <laughs> Got a nice ring to it. Do me a favor. Clean up while I catch my breath. Great news! I guess you get to be bench warmer after all. That was so incredible! He's a great coach and an amazing wrestler. Dachi might just become the best sumo school in Japan. Oh, his glasses. Mr. Tsuji! <laughs> Group competitions are gonna be a breeze. Me, Hinamaru, and the prof are surefire wins. Hey. Unfortunately, that's not gonna happen. Uh -oh. <gasps> Kirihito can't compete in group competitions. So now you know what my flaw is. <sighs> He's got weak lungs. Even though sumo bouts typically don't last long, they're super intense. 
20 seconds. <clears throat> That's his limit. The amount of time that his lungs will hold out. No, you can't. Any longer than 20 seconds, I'll drown. There's no way I could last an entire tournament. Not when there's several bouts a day. I cursed fate for making me this way. Lost the will to keep going. Even quit sumo. But then... I saw something. An idiot who had every right to give up like I did. Yet continued fighting. I felt pathetic. I couldn't do sumo. But I had to find a way to stay involved. That's why you want a coach? Yes. Because I want to see Hinomaru succeed. You never gave up! Huh? But how can someone like me who's not even at the starting line compete? Accept it. You're a sumo wrestler, Kay. Uh? After practice, I've seen you training in the park. I... I only do that because I feel like I'm falling behind the others and need to... The club's fifth member is you, all right? Man, talk about a tough break. Not able to compete just because of something you can't help. Well, Hinomaru's in the same boat, you know. Mm -hmm. Come on. Everybody here knows you're too short to be a professional. Seriously, dude? So why? Why train for something that's never gonna happen? I'll tell you. He doesn't meet the Pro League requirements, but there's still a way he can join it. How? The student who wins the inner high is named the High School Yokozuna. They're invited to participate in the All Japan National Championships. Never heard of it before. It's a tournament for amateur wrestlers, including everyone from college students to adults. If you're the winner, you receive preference and enter the Makushita division. And preference is what? It's a system for all incoming members. Normally, you'd start off unranked, but the champ skips ahead several divisions right up to Makushita. Hmm. But I still don't see how that makes Hinamaru tall enough. Yeah, I was wondering about that, too. Captain, the rule. There's more to it than that. <gasps> Once an amateur wrestler receives preference, they aren't required to pass any physical exams. <clears throat> so height doesn't matter. But in order to do that, you're going to have to be the best high school sumo wrestler. I'm asking you, will you please allow me to be your coach? All I want is for him to realize his dream. I was in a bout with a student from another school. I realized that I went against your wishes. I ask your forgiveness. And how was it? It felt good to remember how much I love Sumo. There's other competitors out there that I'm dying to meet in the ring. I want to defeat every one of them and become the top high school sumo wrestler. Then turn professional and show I am the son of Yamato Kuni. That's how I intend to live. For the first time, you've expressed your own dreams. <laughs> live as you wish. Yes, sir. By the way, the student you had about with, do you happen to know his name? Hinomaru Ushio. Hinomaru. Interesting. Appears the boy has been training hard these last few years. Come on, stop bowing, Suji. I get this is a big deal for you. It's not just Kuze. There's more like him. Other national treasures that you'll have to defeat. The technically gifted Mizuki Sada from Ishigami High, the giant from Kanazawa Kira, Tenma Hikage, and the strongest high school Yokozuna in history, Shiro Tenoji from Todori Hakuo. Way more than I expected. This is getting good! I plan to cut them down to size and earn a Yokozuna belt. That used to be my only goal. What changed? It isn't just about me anymore. We're gonna be the best sumo team in Japan! <clears throat> like all of us? Suji. Yes? I have a formal request for you. Please become the coach of Dachi High Sumo Club! 
We've been relying on Ushio to carry the weight. But that's not good enough. Obviously, we want him to reach his personal goal, but together we want to be the best team in all of Japan. Please help us get to that point. Osaki. Prepare for hell starting tomorrow morning. Like that's supposed to scare us. We'll work hard! Looks like we're harvesting seaweed again. Again? Just remembering it makes me want to... No puking in the ring, Pee-wee. Keep pace with the goldfish as it turns. They've gone crazy. Two, one. Okay, stop. Hold the water in your mouth. Now, spirit! Are these drills or some form of mental torture? That's just great. Oh, Yuma, what have they done to you? I give up. Slapping the ping pong ball does what? Watch. I'm keeping my back straight and using my legs to stabilize my strikes. Apparently, it'll prevent opponents from knocking me to the ground. Who told you that? No, wait, don't answer. I already know. Him. Why are you even taking orders from that guy? He makes you do these insane exercises while he just sits on his ass the whole time and watches. Yeah, I'm sure it probably looks that way to an outsider. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I don't like him much either. But it's for an entirely different reason. When we've got our backs turned, he sticks his neck out for us. But hey, I figure what he chooses to do on his own time is his own business. And I don't listen to anyone I don't agree with. The thing is... Oh, if I'm gonna pull off advanced techniques, I gotta master my footwork. Uh, need to force my body to remember. This is a different beast than the wrestling I'm used to. Watch the fishbowl and imagine it's the sumo ring. Holding a mouthful of water trains me to finish a match as quickly as I can while holding my breath. When you break it down, the exercise makes total sense. Everybody's thinking the exact same thing. More than half the team's never done sumo before. If we did training like other teams of wrestlers, we'd have zero chance of becoming the best in Japan. That's why we're taking this route. The drills may look bizarre, but they're designed to help us shake off anxieties and hang-ups. We're learning the guy never explains things, but it's not important, as long as we feel it's right. For me, my body's telling me one thing. If I follow him, ultimately, I'll become stronger. And does he feel the same way? No, no, your movements are becoming too erratic. I mean, even your captain's beating him. This is supposed to make him less anxious? It is, take a look at his face. One more time! There's something that I read a while back about how the best instructors are the ones who are able to instill a sense of confidence in their athletes. If that's true, then he's a first-class coach. Okay, everyone, gather around. As you probably know, it won't be long until the tournament. So on our upcoming day off, we're going to train at Ishigami High School in the next town over. You think we're ready for that? About time I get to show off my sick moves again! I might actually be able to win about if I'm up against the first year! Ishigami's one of the top sumo schools. They came in second place at last year's Kanto tournament. Expect even their first years to be strong. Also, national treasure Mikazuki Munichika goes there. He's the middle school Yokozuna. The middle school Yokozuna? So that's where he ended up. Sounds like a good opportunity to try my new and improved 100 Demon Takedown. Hold up, huh? You're going somewhere entirely different. Hmm? If you want to perfect your new technique in time for the competition, then you're going to need to square off with a wide range of difficult opponents. With that in mind, I want you to head to this address. Hmm? This is Ishigami High? Not to freak you guys out or anything, but everybody says this is the most dangerous high school in the entire prefecture. Great. We finally get a day off from school and this place is where we decide to spend it? 
You keep acting like you're being forced to come along. Um, hey, where's Kunisaki? I thought he wanted to show off. That muscle head failed his midterms, surprise, so he's having to take a remedial class. That sucks for him. He was so psyched about coming. The hell do you think you're doing? This is our turn. <laughs> yeah! Looks like we got fresh meat. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I must be at a barbecue because you're smoking. Why don't you ditch these losers? Just try it. Get you a matching uniform and everything. <laughs> I'm gonna assume you were only trying to shake her hand. Cause you wouldn't mess with a young lady, right? Wouldn't dream of it! I was keeping these trespassers off school property! Actually, we're only interested in meeting with the sumo club. I swear I didn't know! In that case, let me be the first to welcome you. Let's clear a path for him, boys! <laughs> So, you're a club from a different school. You've even got the stereotypical cute manager. Uh, whoa, there's no way in hell I'd manage these losers. It's him! It's Saga! Mm -hmm. You're right! He's a total snack! Uh, <laughs> sorry, I can't give you guys the tour. But the dojo's that way. You can't miss it. Gotta run! Every school you go to, there's the nice guys and the crazies. <laughs> 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 Hey, coach, is that some kind of drill? They're doing tire flips. Very nice. One that size probably weighs around 150 kilograms. Just flipping it over gives your whole body a workout. Huh? 150? But training-wise, you have other options. You can hit them with hammers or simply push one along the ground. These guys are serious. Just so you know, everyone you see working out here is only a first year. Uh, with bodies like those? No. Don't get intimidated. You! Who are you with? <laughs> Only club members are allowed in the training yard. Pardon. You're Connor Moore, the club captain, yes? We're sorry for barging in. Huh? Practice with us? First you waltz into our club uninvited, then you expect us to have bouts with you? Wait, you didn't tell them we were coming? So, what school are you from anyway? We're from Odachi High. Odachi High? I heard Onimaru was enrolled there and he got Kuze back in the ring. Did you bring him along? He had some things to take care of and couldn't make it. Huh. <sighs> what good's it gonna do us to practice with your second tier wrestlers? <laughs> you think Onimaru's the only one worth watching on our team? Hey, maybe we should just quit while we're ahead. Let's go back. Relax, Captain. I'll handle this. I've got practice dealing with the easy to provoke type. <laughs> that guy threw himself at a tire that weighs as much as any heavyweight and managed to stop it dead in its tracks. For some reason, the impact didn't knock me backwards. Maybe all that seaweed harvesting we've been doing has increased my core strength. First years! I'm only gonna tell you once! Watch it! <laughs> We're, We're sorry. sorry! Apologize to this guy, not me! Oh, it's, you know, not necessary. Please, Please forgive, forgive us! us. <laughs> so what do you think of our captain here? I'd say Onimaru's not the only wrestler on our team you should be interested in fighting. Why don't we let them join in? They bothered to come all the way out here. Hmm. Please, like Smooth Talk is gonna win me over, but we do need to make up for what happened. Come on! Hurry up before I change my mind. <sighs> so this is where he's at. <laughs> well, Onimaru, it's time we met. What a waste. I wanted to bring the hurt on somebody today. Great, what can you do? Guess I'll just play with the goldfish or something. Huh? Hmm? Kunisaki! Are you here for the goldfish too? You got a student from another school hanging around inside your club room. Oh yeah? Guy thinks he's the ultimate badass. You gonna tell me what you want, tough guy? Huh? What? Oh. Wake up, crop circles! You should have told me you were asleep. I looked like an idiot! Whoa! Dude's got serious balls. Oh, 
My bad. I fell asleep. I didn't know how long I'd be waiting. Ishii, hi. Hey. I bet you can help me. Go and fetch Onimaru, would you? Huh? I hear he's not bad at sumo. Oh yeah, I'm Ginosuke Araki, by the way. So, I guess you could say that I'm here scouting out your club. Scouting, huh? I get it, drawn to a challenge, like a moth to a match. Wait, a flame? Ugh. You're in luck, cuz I'm him! Ah! You are? That's perfect. Man, and luck's usually not on my side. I didn't even have to look that hard. Wait, I can't call myself lucky. It's a long story, too complex for you. But I want to be the king of mixed martial arts. I was told Ishii High has the strongest sumo club around, so I jumped at the chance to enroll there. But then I heard about Onimaru, and how he went head-to-head -head with Ega High's national treasure, Kusanagi. Thought I'd come by and size him up. Are people really talking about that? I was interested in sparring with you, but I'm wasting my time. Do you even lift? Oh. Obviously, the stories I heard about you were exaggerated. Don't get me wrong, I'm not calling you weak or anything, but if you gave Kusanagi a run for his money, well, you must be the one with all the luck. Hey, good fortune can be considered a skill if you don't have any others. Guess if I want to fight someone worthy, I'm gonna have to wait for nationals to roll around. Sorry for intruding. <laughs> All right then, don't believe your eyes. But trust me when I say this. If you came here looking for a fight, today is your lucky day. Huh? <clears throat> well then, I think our team's warmed up and ready to start sparring now. Okay. You'll be the first one up, Gojo. Yeah. Then Mamiya will start for us. Get in there. Got it! Keiichi Mamiya, second year heavyweight, 182 centimeters tall, weight 166 kilograms. The real question is how effective are Gojo's karate slaps going to be against him? He's a mountain, and up close he's even more intimidating. Spirit! There it is! My slap actually pushed him back. Gojo, a minute of your time? During matches, you should avoid grabbing your opponent's belt. What are you talking about? That's like a fundamental of sumo. Wrestling like everyone else won't give you the edge you need to win, though. What I'm saying is, you have to play to your strengths. Karate? Listen closely. I want you to fight to your heart's content. <coughs> it's working! Thanks to my training, I can match my strikes to my opponent's movements and never miss. Whoa. Rough around the edges, but his strikes have a kind of raw energy to them. Yeah. They're way too good for someone who's just starting out. But still, I was going easy on you because you were a beginner. This isn't good. Once Mamiya grabs your belt, it's pretty much over with. <laughs> Damn it! He'll need more work before that tactic is effective. Club Captain Kanamori, Vice Captain Sanada, and this Mamiya guy. Obviously, all three are going to the tournament, and we'll have to fight them down the road. And there's him. Ishihai has that other fighter. But who'll be their fifth member? Someone stronger? One arm shoulder throw! Whoa! He knows judo? Uh, that's the way you want to play it! What? Strongest! A leg grab! They're awesome! Hang on a second. Uh, liar. You're not Onimaru. Uh, oh, that was a test! You passed! Huh? Your techniques are different, and you're like twice as tall as he's supposed to be. You can't fool me! Congratulations. Congratulations. Figures. Just when I thought my luck was changing. So, who are you really? I'm Chihiro Kunisaki, future number one mixed martial artist in the entire world. What? MMA? You're like me. 
Uh, you're like me, Gengaro. Who's Gengaro? Using sumo to get better at martial arts was all my idea. Back up, it's Gnosuke. Who is? Me, I'm Araki oh, Gnosuke. Oh, gotcha, they're both idiots. Hey, what's going on here? So you're the punk trespassing on school property. Let me I guess I should go. We'll finish our bout another day. Trust me. You know, maybe it was luck I met you after all, Chiharu. It's Chihiro! I'll show myself out. Later. Only one month before the Inner High prelims. I need more time. If I'd studied, I could be over at Ishigami with the others training right now. I'm never failing another test again. Okay, Captain. Huh? Enter the ring. I'm sure. I'll give it my all. He stopped that tire single-handedly. I'd have to guess he's the strongest member they brought. In that case, I'll hey, send out- Hey, sweet! Looks like we're having training bouts, huh? You punk! You think you could just stroll into practice whenever you want, huh? I showed up, didn't uh, I? The guy from earlier. He could have told us he was in the club. Come on, Captain, I wanna have a turn. Put me in the ring and let's see what happens. You're late, then you ask me for a favor? The only thing you're doing is groin stretches for the next hour! Huh? But you know I have trouble with those. I'm begging you, Captain, have a heart! What's the harm in letting him play this match? <laughs> Let's be honest here. How often does he feel like doing anything? Don't keep mothering him. He's never gonna learn at this rate. Sanada, you big softy. Seems they chose your opponent. You got this one in the bag, Ozuki. That's Mizuki Sada. <laughs> or rather, Mikazuki Munichika. <gasps> <gasps> But he seems so easygoing. How am I supposed to beat a national treasure? When it comes to a tournament, we need to win three bouts to defeat their school and move on. <sighs> now let's assume that Hinomaru and Kunisaki win their matches without a problem. That still means at least one of you needs a victory, or the path to nationals ends right then and there. I want to win, but how? <sighs> Remember during practice? You were able to keep up with Hinomaru, weren't you? That wouldn't have happened if you weren't getting better. Does Suji really believe I can do this? Hmm? <laughs> he thinks he can mock me because he's a national treasure? I'll show him how hard I've been training! <laughs> You're not getting a hold of my belt. Oh, man. He's just toying with Ozuki. You're bigger than he is, so what are you waiting for? Knock the living crap out of him! I hear you, but if I miss, then it's over with! Hey, wait, I know that guy. Huh? We were on the same sumo team in middle school, but the dude never won a single bout. How pathetic. I'm surprised he hasn't quit already. Jerks. Just watch. <laughs> 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 What was I thinking? I don't even know how to win. What am I supposed to do to bring down a national treasure? Get your head in the game! Remember your training with Hinomaru! <sighs> it's no use. No matter how many times we spar, I'll never beat you. We finally have enough members to compete for real. But I'm the captain and I'm holding everyone back. <sighs> Dude, what the? You asked for it, brother. You want me to stop, then don't sell yourself short anymore. You've been doing stomps for about five years now, right? It clearly shows. You've got a physique anyone in sumo would be proud of having. You're stronger than you know. If that's what Ushio believes, I just need to grab his belt! <laughs> he recovered his stance from that position? I can do this! What's that? He's trapped in an arm hold. It's a maneuver that immobilizes an opponent's attack. And given his abilities, there's no doubt it's extremely painful. He's got Ozuki right on the joint. When he uses that technique, nobody can grab his Mawashi belt. His opponents can't even get anywhere near it. You know, you'd think sooner or later people would realize there's a reason it's so pristine. It was a good try. You almost got your hands on it. This hurts so much, I can't even breathe. Push away from him, quick! Man, Rod's for not breaking yet. Because of our water training. I don't want to lose. I have to keep fighting. Okay. It gets stronger. 
Otherwise, I can't go to nationals with Ushio! You got this, Captain? Keep pushing him out of the ring! How long you gonna mess around? Finish it! Know what? It didn't do half bad. Crescent Moon! What kind of move was that? He threw the captain like it was no big deal. Do me a favor. Onimaru Kunitsuna, give him a message for me. Just tell him I'm looking forward to facing him in the ring. That's Kirihito for you. Always has a plan. Home of top-ranked pros and renowned for its intense practices, the Shibakiyama Stable. That's Kirihito for you. Always has a plan. Here it is. The Shibakiyama Stable. Home of top-ranked pros and renowned for its intense practices. My first stop in conquering the pro sumo world. Ready or not, here I come! All right, keep things moving along. They're so intense. What are you waiting for? Push! And Master Shibakiyama is as sharp and intimidating as ever, even after retirement. What lovely form, but remember to keep your chin a little bit lower next time, okay? I didn't expect that. I appreciate you coming all this way to watch our training, Saki. My pleasure. It's an honor to spend the next two days at your stable. It's weird seeing the Master acting so upbeat. Must be because we've got company today. <laughs> That's for sure, but I guess you didn't hear there's another student stopping by to have a trial with us. And apparently he's some kind of high school hotshot. You think we should be worried? <clears throat> he should have arrived by now. I can personally vouch for his skill and guarantee you one day he'll be the top-ranked sumo wrestler. A Sekitori in the making. I want him for my stable. Master, he's coming this way. Oh, it's about time. <sighs> I'm so sorry about being late. I got turned around on my way here. Oh, and thanks again for letting me train with you today. I get it. You're like his assistant, right? So is Ushio waiting for you to announce him? Huh? No, I'm Hinomaru Ushio from the Odachi High Sumo Club. Do I know him? No, there must be some mistake. No. But, I mean, just how tall are you, son? Oh, 152 centimeters, sir. You can barely even reach the light switch! Calm down. The master spirit took a total nosedive. Can't blame him. Look, the kid's already here. Let's humor him. Besides, it's just for one day. <sighs> hey, your footwork's not bad. Ushio, was it? You can call me Terahara. I was a high school sumo up until recently. As your predecessor, I'll be your sparring partner. Don't hold back, all right? Yes, sir. I stretched, but I'm still feeling kind of stiff. Is it my nerves? <laughs> The atmosphere's definitely mellowed out since Hinomaru showed up. Everyone's way more relaxed. <sighs> Jeez, I know we're just sparring, but these guys could at least set an example for the kid. They're trying to put on a show for him. He's a fan of sumo, after all. Might as well let him have some fun until he leaves. If you feel warmed up enough, then let's step inside the ring. Yes, sir. Actually, before you start, you want to try your luck at a little competition we're throwing? Mm -hmm. Every kid who shows up to one of our practices gets a shot. We call it the Shibakiyama knock em out Challenge. You push one of us out of the ring, guess what you could take home with you? That's right, official stable merchandise! Whoa. You want to show the kid what you've got, Terahara? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Talk about a size difference. Uh, just do the best you can, Ushio. Don't worry, kid. You won't go home empty-handed. I'll step out of the ring after you've struggled a bit. Tara, I recommend you take this seriously. Right. Sir, here I come. He's only a kid! 
Even though I'll never turn down Shibakiyama stable merch, my sumo team needs me to bring home more than just souvenirs from this trip. The thing I really want is a full-blown Shibakiyama session. Hinomaru should be training with top-notch sumo wrestlers right about now. Hard to believe. At the Shibakiyama stable, that right? Yeah. And speaking of which, why'd you choose that one, coach? Even among the pros, they're renowned for their training. Before he retired, the stable master was famous for his tough practice sessions. The man wasn't exactly blessed with a godlike physique. What he had were fearsome attacks, which earned him the nickname Firecracker. In his prime, he even gave Yamatokuni a run for his money. Despite his small stature, he fought head on. Additionally, throughout his career, the man never altered his charge. Remind you of anyone we know? Yeah? I want to hear what the master thinks after watching Hinomaru fight. And there's also another sumo wrestler there I'm hoping he'll get the chance to meet. This stable has a reputation for its intense training, especially when I was at the top of my game. Even so, many complained about the regimen and left. Here I was thinking you were like those other boys, head full of dreams and a heart with zero ambition. I admit, I misjudged you. Accept my apologies, Hinomaru Ushio. The Pro League won't permit someone of your height, yet you're besting Sandame division wrestlers. He's too much for you to handle? Then stand back! Sometimes when you grab a Mawashi belt, your technique shows cracks. A move, maybe? No, I have a more important Let's question. Let's go one more time! What is that gleam you have in your eyes? Yeah! Bring it! His enthusiasm is infectious. It's completely shifted the mood. Impressive someone so young is able to do that. Do you know who our guest is? Uh, that's Hinamaru Ushio. He's visiting for a one-day trial. I remember hearing he was coming. He's not half bad. Hey, Nori! Quit crouching there like a creeper! Get your ass in here! Forgive me. It sounded like you were having such a productive session, I didn't want to interrupt and break the momentum. Actually, to tell you the truth, I couldn't tear my eyes away. The ninth-ranked Magashira, Sainoyama! Good morning, Sagittori! So far, Ushio's been fighting trainees from the Makushida division and below. I, I mean, not to say they're pushovers, but they're second and third rate pros at best. There are 700 elite sumo wrestlers, but only 70 in the Jurio division and above are Sekatoris and can tie their hair in an Oicho top knot. Plus, only they're allowed to wear a white Mawashi belt during practice. If you wanted to meet one of the best, Ushio, here he is. The boy created a mood similar to a practice session for a Sekitori. I wonder... Now that an actual Sekitori is here, will things get even more tense? <laughs> Good morning. Thank you for your assistance earlier. No, thank you for letting me attend! Good morning to you, Master. Hmm. Sekitori! It'd be an honor to have a bout with you! Hmm. Slow down! You only just arrived at practice, Ushio! You read my mind. I'd also like to do it. Huh? Sekitori? It's uncommon. But you've piqued my interest. <sighs> Is this the opportunity you were hoping I'd get, Kirihito? Even the weaker fighters gave me a workout. But let's be honest. Kusanagi was on a completely different level. Ordinary opponents won't do. I need to fight wrestlers who will challenge me. Like Sanoyama. I'll admit we underestimated you when you first walked in. However... Now, Spirit! He's not moving. You made the same mistake, boy. I found it. Nice. Can we go another round? This is what I came for. 
I'm not making any headway. His legs are so flexible, my attacks have no effect on him. Then in a flash, he turns his body into a boulder. Ugh! The might of a pro. You should be like water. My master taught me that. Your form must be as agile as fluid and strike with torrential force. Be like water, huh? Whereas your sumo is like fire, continuously raging. You could say it's heroic, but you might also call it sloppy. Thank you very much. I understand the range of your abilities. Sekitori, please wait! Any further bouts would be a waste of both our time. I have one duty, and that's achieve the rank of Yokozuna, a glory my master was unable to reach during his career. But I'm only here today! Please, just one more bout! Haven't you had enough? I'm at a loss as to what spurs you on. Even if you can't best me, you shouldn't feel ashamed. I don't know a single person here who dare call you weak. I fear you'll be moderately successful in high school, Sumo. Being moderately successful isn't good enough for me! I intend to become a Yokozuna, same as you! That's my reason for not giving up! Like me? Your dream is born of childish idealism. Meanwhile, I speak knowing full well how long and arduous the road actually is. And you think we're the same? You requested one more bout. Very well. Maybe you think you'll have a growth spurt or your luck will suddenly change. But I'm warning you now. Your words were an insult to sumo wrestlers. And I'll make you pay dearly for it. <laughs> That expression, he means business. Don't back down. This is exactly why I'm here. It's my last chance of finding a way to evolve. I need to do something different with my charge. Gotta be realistic. I don't have the skill yet to overpower a Sekitori. But I'm out of options. I'll go low and fast as possible. He's in a spider stance. Keep experimenting till you find what works. Now, spirit! Oh, man! Side slaps are banned in amateur competitions. Interesting. I used his knees as a cushion to absorb the impact. After all my previous bouts, I don't have much strength left. I've got to be like water. Fluidity varies your rhythm and dictates the tempo in a bout. But you forgot. Fire doesn't just rage. It flickers and burns. This is it. This is what you came to my stable to find. Kirihito went through the trouble of finding me a damn good sparring partner. I can't waste this opportunity. If I'm reaching the top, it means devouring you! Some incredible force is erupting from within him. Tori pushed Ushio to the ground first. But look at his knee! He still went down! My body was moving on its own. It wasn't the same as what Kirihito did, but it felt so natural. It must have been some kind of new technique. I almost had it. I was nearly there! Damn! Damn! As we agreed upon, that's our final bout. Thank you for sparring with me. I expect to see you here again tomorrow. Uh, Your sumo intrigues me, and I'd like to see a bit more of what you can do. I may not look it, but I'm a real curious guy. I'll be here. Count on it. So, did you have fun at your remedial class? Uh, some punk called Gangaro from Ishigami stopped by. Gangaro? Huh? Hello? Uh-huh. Wait, you're staying? Sinoyama's already agreed to spar with me more tomorrow. So the master said it made sense if I stayed overnight. Think you'll learn it? Your new move? I'll let you know when I see you. Later. Was that Hinamaru? It was. He's spending the night at the stable. Seems he's training tomorrow as well. Guess he made a good first impression. We have to work hard too. Gotta help him carry the weight. Good, cause that's my specialty. If you want to help, don't fail any more tests. I'm a C-plus student now. They may think you're cheating. <laughs> Authentic sumo stable Junko Nubby Stew. Kid, you did good out there today. Thanks a lot, sir. Grab a seat and pour a bowl. 
The Sekitori's still eating, though. Today's an exception, so chow down. Yes, sir! <laughs> the apprentices usually eat last, so you shouldn't feel bad. I know, but... It's still kind of awkward. I understand you're a national treasure, Onimaru Kunitsuna. Are you serious? It's not that big of a deal. Why are you being so modest? I heard you held your own against Kusanagi. Wait a minute, who told you? Please, I'm a high school sumo club manager, which means gossip inevitably finds its way to me. By Kusanagi, you're referring to... Sosuke Kuze, a national treasure, yeah. The son of Yamato Kuni, the former Yokozuna. A legend? There's no way. He's a popular topic of discussion these days. They say he's gonna shoot through the ranks if he turns pro. So you're in the same generation as he is, are you? Tough break, kiddo. <laughs> Who is stronger, me or Junior? Uh, well, all I know is I did a lot better fighting against him than against you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds right. Hey, I don't see your chopsticks moving. Stew's a three bowl minimum. Yes, and sir. And after you've eaten your fill, we snooze. <laughs> We're off to buy groceries for dinner. When you're an apprentice, yes, there's no shortage of chores to do. The thing is, it's a lot of fun. I know it's not all about cutting loose. You're living to compete after all. I bet each wrestler has their own private doubts and anxieties. In fact, I'm sure of it. I made for the longest time, I wanted to be a part of this. Oh, awesome. A member of the pro sumo world. I'm not here to goof off. Not when I haven't accomplished anything yet. But still, if only for a short while, let me soak up this feeling until I have to leave. <laughs> I didn't mean to wake you up. Sorry about that. I couldn't sleep and decided to run drills. I wanted to revisit everything I felt today. If that makes sense. You're too excited to rest, I get it. I want to be a pro, and spending the day here only reinvigorated that desire. On my days off, I've been arranging to stay at various sumo stables. My brother wants to turn pro, the same as you. While he's busy practicing, I've been scoping them out for him. Yeah? So, tell me the truth. Who was stronger? Sinoyama or Kuze? Well, obviously, the Sekitori has more power and better technique. And even though I appreciate him agreeing to spar with me, truthfully, if they were to fight each other at this moment, I couldn't say who would win. Maybe Kuze is looming in my mind after our bout. I knew I wanted to fight someone who'd be similar in height and technique. If I can't take on a full-strength Sekitori, then I can never. Now I understand. Uh it seems this friend of yours chose Sainoyama as a stand-in for training against Sosuke Kuze. Master, you're up! After fighting with the Sekitori yesterday, I imagine there's plenty you want to work on. So, we better start sparring right away. Huh? When everyone said I was past my prime, I defeated the higher-ranked Yamato Kuni. I promise there's still one or two lessons I could teach you. What's the matter with you, son? I don't take my shirt off for just anybody, you know. I guess I'm confused why you're invested in my future. I'd understand if I was a sumo wrestler destined to turn pro, but I'm a... well... Chalk it up to another habit of growing old. But when I look at you, I see myself. In my youth, I was called small, helpless, but I still fought with passion to become a Yokozuna. I only made it as high as Sekiwake, and though I was praised for my accomplishment, I never achieved my actual dream. I passed my ambition on to Sinoyama, thinking height was what held me back. But after watching you, I have one more dream left. To see someone our size become a Yokozuna. Realize that dream for me. That was a bit long-winded, I admit, but I'm saying I believe in you. When you're ready to turn pro, find me. I'll be waiting for you, kid. Sir! What's Hinomaru doing up? Ah! The Master's awake too! And practicing with him? Looks like everybody's too excited to sleep. Ah, screw it! Let's start practice now! Yeah!
medical student getting the pro stoked. Hinamaru Ushio, huh? Thank you for everything! Man, that was so much fun! <laughs> and having someone around to talk to who was my own age made things easier. Thanks for coming. It was good to meet a fellow sumo enthusiast. If both our schools win enough bouts, we'll see each other at nationals. Well, I can guarantee I'll be there since I'm going to become a high school Yokozuna. I certainly hope you do. But since my brother's also competing, you may have to hold off on your dream until the next year. Wait, you told me you were a sumo manager, but never what high school you go to. Totori Hakuro. Totori Hakuro? You mean... I'm Saki Tenoji. Anyway, it was good to meet you. <laughs> the sister of Shido Tenoji, the national champion! I thought Ishigami was sure to be the winning team from Chiba, but I learned something new. All right, Onimaru Kunitsuna from Odachi High. Guess I'll see you at the top. I'll be waiting. Tenoji, Kuze, and Sada from Ishigami. Before I meet them in the ring, I need to perfect my new technique, so I can beat them all! Thought I'd find you here. Uh, hey, Ushio. There's not a trace of the old ring left behind, huh? Yeah. The name's Hinomaru Ushio. Before I can be a Yokozuna, the highest rank in all of Sumo, first I have to be the best high school wrestler there is. Good times. It feels so long ago. Hard to imagine it all started here. Back in the days when the sumo club only had one member. Now we've got six wanting to be the best in Japan. Honestly, I'm kind of scared. Hmm? I'm a third year, so if we lose today, that's it for me. I'm done. But I don't want this to end. I want to keep sumo wrestling with everyone in the club. <laughs> Listen to me whining again. I must sound like a pretty sad excuse for an upperclassman. When the school made fun of you, you could have walked away and shut down the club. If you hadn't been so committed to keeping it alive, none of us would be here now. You're stronger than you know, Ozuki. The club only exists for one reason. You fought as hard as you could to keep it around. I'm not gonna let today's bouts be your last. We'll breeze through the prelims onto nationals. You're coming with us, to the top. Right. The pledge! As their official spokesman, I certify each sumo wrestler here trains to cultivate their spirit, technique, and body. The ring is 4.55 meters in diameter. Once inside, we will fight to the best of our abilities. Declared by me, Tsuyoshi Kanamori! We saved you a good seat, Reina. Over here! Look at the turnout. I didn't think the audience would be so pumped. At this time, we'll begin the fifth match in round one of the tournament. Yo! Up here, Hinomaru! We came out to cheer you on! <laughs> Did you forget we're incognito? So try blending in like me. Your costume's way louder than my yelling. First in the ring, on the west side, from Odachi High School, Ushio. On the east side, from Kashiwa Technical, Ito. Odachi High School? I've never heard of them. Same, but the other one's a real powerhouse and has gone on to nationals before. Look at the size difference. It's so one-sided. <laughs> Hands on the ground! <laughs> Spirit! His reaction time was too slow. Not quite. <laughs> that kid. He's using Sanoyama's charge. <laughs> Arm grab, underhand throw! Demon wheel, rear attack! 
Down he goes! No contest! Not bad. He threw that guy around like he weighed nothing at all! <sighs> One down. And now that Onimaru has given them a taste of what he can do, it's time for us to do the same. I think we ought to show these schools what Dachi is capable of. Yes, sir! Hold on a minute. That short-ass kid... I'm pretty sure he's the same guy who took on Yamato Kuni's son. Are you serious? You wouldn't know by looking. So we finally get to meet Onimaru Kunitsuna. Strength-wise, he's not that bad. Make sure you reach the finals, because I'll be waiting. Where do you think you're going? Oh, I've got a magazine interview to do. Ciao! Is it Jackass Monthly? Hey, look who's fighting next. Spirit! Tea Hero Special, number 13! Interesting technique. An outer thigh propping twist down. Told you, Chihara's moves are pretty dope. Is this the same guy you ran into while you were suspended? Great. Our secret weapons introed himself to the competition. <laughs> Unleashing chaotic thrusts! Oh, strikes are lightning fast! Screw this, I'm backing off! It's one thing to back off when you're winning, quite another when you're on defense. <laughs> He's definitely improved from the last time we saw him. Otachi's stronger than I thought they'd be. And since they won three bouts in a row, they're in the second round. Based on what we've seen so far, the rest of the team must be incredible. Or, or not. not. <laughs> you did fine. Don't let it get to you. Now I understand. Dachi front-loaded their roster with the best wrestlers they had. Huh? Don't believe me? Check out their sorry excuse for a captain. Do you see how freaking terrified he is? That guy's a bully's wet dream. Just shut up and watch. <laughs> it's these later bouts that could prove to be the most important ones. Huh? Spirit! Huh? <laughs> He railroaded him. People can transform if given the chance and become something great. And I know who gave him that opportunity. Dachi High's sixth member, Kirihito Suji. I think it's safe to assume they're no longer a one-man team. Don't hold back against them. See that? They're watching us closely. Yeah, these jerk-offs are probably realizing they're in for a fight. I've got no problem with that. We'll see him in the final round. Oh, hey, there you are! Ushio! Mizuki Sada. Figured we'd run into each other eventually. Would have been better to meet inside the ring first. Jeez, you make it sound like we're about to get married! Oh, about your semi-final match. You better make it quick so you can save your strength for our fight! Been looking forward to this, haven't you? You've no idea. Middle school sumo was a major bore without an equal round to keep my skills sharp. I wanted to tell you something before about Onimaru Kunitsuna. How thankful I am you made it this far. You say that now, Mikazuki Munachika. But you'll regret it later. Your blade's about to get tarnished. Sorry in advance. Match over. Odachi High, on the west side, wins 4-1. to one. Hell yeah! Yes, we made it to the last round! Finals, here we come! Sure, but that scrawny kid could end up being a big problem for them. You could literally replace him with anyone and they do better. He's weak, but still charges straight at them. Don't you realize you're not Hinomaru? To be blunt, Ishigami's team this year is strong. Maybe the best one they've ever had. We could make a tactical call and pair Mitsuhashi against Sada. Give him an easy win while we focus on the other bouts instead. But still, they're a nationally ranked opponent. There's no such thing as a perfect plan against them. We'll need every win we can get. 
This is one pit stop on our journey. We'll face them head on and win. Who'll be the best team in Japan? Odachi High! On to the final round. On the west side, Odachi High School. First in the ring, Kei Mitsuhashi. Second, Chihiro Kunasaki. Third, Yuma Gojo. Fourth, Chihiro Kunasaki. On the east side, Ishigami High School. First in the ring, Keichi Mamiya. Second, Genosuke Araki. Third, Tsuyoshi Kanamori. Fourth, Yuki Sanada. And fifth, Hinomaru Ushio versus Mizuki Sada. Bow! Let's, Let's have, have a good match. match! First in the ring on the west side, Mitsuhashi. I'm ready. On the east side, Mamiya. So, uh, I'm no psychic, but I know how this is gonna end up. There's gotta be a hundred kilo difference between them. Somebody call an ambulance. I'll say this at least. It's kind of impressive an amateur with his physique can charge the way he does. But two months training isn't long enough to work a miracle. Dachi is basically a team of only four qualified wrestlers. Goes without saying, losing any bout at this stage is a setback. And yet, Mitsuhashi's expression tells me he hasn't thrown in the towel. And based on the way his teammates are behaving, they're counting him as their fifth member. What's more? No one can deny you've got guts, charging in head first like that. If you've got something to say, then let's hear it. Because I guarantee whatever it is, it won't make me feel worse. Your technique has improved considerably. However, you still won't be ready in time for the inner high prelims. <clears throat> uh, hands on the ground! Uh, right! <laughs> Should I laugh or cry? He must have gotten that from Onimaru. Planning on charging me head on? In a way, it's touching. Mamiya! Hmm? It's time. Show them how serious you are. Spirit! He's gone. Where'd he go? Spirit! He's gone. Where'd he go? A leaping charge. He didn't come up with that at the last minute. It requires practice. <laughs> a change? What kind? Well, strategy-wise, it's solid. Thing is, I know you, and you respect Hinomaru's approach. What I'm suggesting is entirely different. There's no point doing sumo if you feel like you have to compromise your style. And besides, you still have two more years. Let me tell you what I want. I know Hinomaru's worked hard to wrestle the way he does. But could you imagine if I waltzed into the ring, tried to imitate him, and then said, My bad, I wonder how I lost. No way. And not during the finals of a team tournament. I can't wait for the next two years. You think I don't know I'm a burden? But Hinomaru and the captain have always made me feel like part of the team. And Gojo and Kunisaki too. They could have found anyone stronger to take my place, but they didn't. So please, show me the way, coach. Show me how I can win for the team. The only thing that matters to me is helping them out when it counts. Respect on how I want to wrestle don't mean anything. If you had made the transition earlier, it's possible you would have already scored some wins. But then again, that wasn't your end goal, was it? There was a noble reason you kept losing over and over. When people see you, they immediately suspect you'll use a trick to win. You played the honest clown, and they lowered their guard. You saved this move for when it mattered the most. To help us beat Ishihai! Mitsuhashi! Win it! Push it out! <laughs> no way! He's too fast! He knew. I figured they had some scheme. 
the captain had warned me, I'd be in trouble. Don't give up! I've almost got it! Damn it. Honestly, what did you expect? That's how it should have played out. Yeah, still, the kid took on someone three times his size. You're new to this whole sports thing, aren't you? Did you think you'd win just because your brain's the biggest muscle you've got? That's pretty arrogant if you ask me. <laughs> Kurisaki! <laughs> Nicely done! After that, doesn't matter how big your opponent is. Push him out! Just one problem. You only get a few goes before they catch on. You're right. That's why we're gonna save it for Ishihai. You actually think you've got a chance against them? Hey, no worries. It's not like anyone's actually expecting you to win. The Captain and Gojo are getting better every day. We can rely on them. Just treat your match like it's an individual competition. Sorry, Chihiro, but I'm not going out there just to make memories. Huh? I'm on this team, and when we promised we'd be the best in Japan, that includes me. After I get a win and help us go to Nationals, you'll thank me. Mitsuhashi! Guys, I'm so sorry. What are you talking about? You did great out there. You jumped way too far. You got freaked out and screwed up. Even if he was expecting it, you should have gotten yourself in a better position. Oh, too soon, Kunisaki. What am I gonna do with you? Well, you better make it up to me during nationals. Now I get it. This is what makes it a team competition. Chiharu, what's up? This is the first time I've ever wanted to win for someone other than myself. On we got a lot line. riding on this second bout. On Damn straight. A judo champ versus a wrestling master. A combat sports showdown. All right, Gengaro, it's time to settle the score. My name's Genosuke. <laughs> Whatever, at least we're fighting. Well, I would have preferred an individual competition. Huh? I'm just preparing you for Dachi High's second loss. You're toast, buddy. Cause all that pressure to do well for your team's gonna screw up your game. Meaning what? I wanted a duel with you free of distractions so we could get at the truth. Who is the strongest? <laughs> this is a team competition, but come on, it's just five individual bouts. No point viewing it any other way. Yeah, I get the picture. If something doesn't make you stronger, you toss it in the trash. Uh huh. You don't have to worry, because I'm always at my best, Mutsuguro. Punk! I'll make you remember my name! Spirit! Huh? How come they're not moving? Do something for crying out loud! What is this, performance art? The crowd's turning ugly. A lot of the spectators here are only interested in watching wrestlers fight each other, but they don't realize these two have honed their techniques in extremely separate disciplines. Neither one wants to launch into a reckless attack, and both know they're at their most vulnerable when they get in close. But I have a feeling he'll make the first move. Kunisake on the offensive! A takedown! Good. Lower attacks are harder to counter with judo. So predictable. Underestimate me, you'll lose. Arguing which fighting style's better is a complete waste of time. When I beat Chiharu, it won't prove judo somehow makes you more powerful than wrestling. If you're strong, you'll win at everything you try. But I can't think about any of that now. The cheers of the crowd, they're cheering. The judo champion title. The expectations of the upperclassmen, the days I spent training. Noise, all of it. Throw that garbage away! The only thing that matters is destroying the opponent in front of you! He's countering with the inner thigh throw! Kurisaki! I know your type. I used to be the same as you. The old me was obsessed with my own strength. But not anymore. My team's already under my skin, and they're not going anywhere! He countered with a hip throw! For the past month, I've been doing foot exercises, making my toes overpowered. 
Now I can hold on to the ground. I win! <clears throat> He did a front flip in mid-air! It threw him off his balance! Put pressure on him! Oh. A sweeping grab! That's a judo sacrifice throw! Crap! He's using all his weight to pull me down! There's not a single wrestling move that'll get my ass out of this one! Look at his focus! It's not human! Meanwhile, my head's a mess. This would make or break. But here I am thinking about everything except the contest. My life's flashing in front of my eyes. Why am I thinking about this junk? Have I gotten weaker? You're not done! He's right. I'm just getting started. Even if my thoughts are weighing me down, I'll shoulder them and use them to grow to win! Demon Wheel! Technique at the last second. And not only that, it's Hinomaru's. Yeah! <laughs> Dachi High wins his second bout! That was judo versus wrestling. So I guess one style of fighting is better than the other? You're reading it all wrong. This wasn't a battle between two different types of combat sports. If this had been a judo match, Araki would have come out on top. And if they were wrestling, Kunisaki would have the advantage. But this is sumo. We witnessed an important event here today, Terahara. The first cries of a newly born sumo wrestler. We make a pretty good team, Short Stack. If you hadn't lost, I wouldn't have been able to tie. Thank you so much, Chihiro, sir! Ah, pick slap! You should have used well, He's that not running his mouth, you can see how skilled he is. <laughs> yeah. I promised I'd do my part, didn't I? Hmm. You should be thanking me, since now we can afford one more loss. What? You got something to say, no strip? <laughs> Don't be mad at me just because you're facing a stronger opponent. You think I'm shaking? Well, I've got news. That was a hell of a display you guys put on. I have zero intention of letting anyone down. There's one thing on my mind, winning this match. Third bow. On the west What's he side? think he's doing? He lost, but he's not getting out of the ring. Hey, kid, let's move it. Huh. Hey, you're overthinking things. You should stick to your strengths. Now it's our job as your teammates to make up for your loss. One day, you'll have to do the same for somebody else. I expect you to pay attention so when that time comes, you'll know what you should have done different. I mean... Yuma can't lose. Sure, he's facing the god of war, but come on. My brothers won every one of his bouts today. Kanamori on the west side wins! You can't deny he's got skills. He's captain for a reason. Kirihito, what's the plan if we have to face him? From the scars on his face, I'd say he's the type that charges in head first. The bout we just saw should serve as a cautionary tale. If he gets close to you, there's no stopping him. We have one win and one loss, so now it's best of three. A good opening move would be Man, smacking his chin as soon as we charge at each other. Even if he's stronger and has more training than me, it doesn't matter. A solid hit to the face will leave him disoriented. No way I can afford to lose and burden the captain and Hinomaru with winning two bouts in a row. Why have I come this far? If I'm not the better man, then I'm not one. Spirit! That, that wasn't, wasn't a grab. grab. He, he slapped, slapped him? him? Brutal! That was Captain Kanamori's cannon slap. <laughs> Yuma Gojo. Yeah, I know you. Leader of the Dachi High Gang. Ishigami is the nexus of low-life scum in the prefecture. So we hear about what's going on at other schools. Lucky us. 
Not like you care, but our club has a long history of being forced to deal with your kind. The gangs used to harass us non-stop. It got to the point we were barred from entering competition because of the trouble they were causing. If we don't stand up to them, no one will. Just ask Sonata. When will you walk in garbage heap stop getting in our way? Fight back, Yuma! He's gonna get knocked out of the ring! Am I gonna lose? And be defeated like a chump? My opponent's stronger. It's over. But I knew that when I entered the ring. So what am I doing here? Why did I step inside to begin with? Let me be clear. You're not my student, I'm no longer your teacher. I've done enough damage training a thug like you. Wait! Come on, Takani, please! The least you could do is hear me out. Take another step and I'm calling the police. Cops? You're not serious. I can hear you from there. So, you joined a sumo club. Uh. A well-mannered young man with thick, long hair brought me some baked goods and made a request. Well, are you going to let someone younger do the talking for you? I beg you, let me be your student again so I can continue my training. I know I'm guilty, and that I've wasted valuable years of my life. I finally realized that after picking up sumo. Takane, I need you to become my instructor again. The classic story of a lowlife seeing the error of his ways and seeking redemption. There's nothing that pisses me off more. <clears throat> Some punk-ass kid goes around stirring up trouble for a whole load of people, then does one decent thing and wants everyone's praise. It's a bunch of crap. What about the people who do the right thing every single day? Did you show them respect? <laughs> What's done is done, no going back. It doesn't matter if you regret your past. Nothing will change the fact that I taught you karate and you used it to hurt people. <laughs> Get lost. You're interrupting my class. Damn it. There's not much time left for me to do the right thing. Huh? You're still here? Please! I'm out of time. I need your help. <gasps> I have to win my prelim matches, not because I want the praise, but so I can help my team succeed. I stood in Ozaki's way for years and ruined opportunities he could have had. I know I can never give him those back, but right now I need to do whatever I can. The only way I can atone for my past is by winning. So why come back here? You could have gone to any other dojo. It would have spared you the humiliation. Because I don't want to take the easy way out anymore. Never. Yuma. <clears throat> How about letting someone else share the blame? As your instructor, I failed you by not finding the proper way to channel your talent. <clears throat> Get your karate gi. Then your lesson begins. I'll teach you special techniques, the kind that'll help you in sumo. Rule one, you don't attack first. <laughs> Karate, offensive move, twist and press. He pulled him forward. Well done. Hold up, that move, it's a karate flip and switch. I knew a technique I only just learned wasn't gonna be enough to make you fall. Get ready. Take him down. Eat this, open hand lunch punch. <sighs> no way, he blocked it. He forced me back with his head? They've got the advantage now. Don't underestimate us, Mr. Karate. <laughs> the flipping switch is out, and he blocked my punch. One option left. When it lands, this technique can be quite powerful. If you can pull it off. It depends on your resolve. And your heart. Remember why you're here. What you're ultimately fighting for. You can do it, Yuma! A low kick? It actually looks more like a leg sweep to me. He must be getting desperate if he thought that pathetic move was going to budge the captain. Uh-oh. 
he wasn't trying to sweep my leg. I've still got a job to do, and I won't rest till it's done. He used it to gain speed. I have to help make this sumo club into what it wants to be. The best team in all of Japan. For Trick Break Palm! Direct hit. Kanamori! It's working! Keep wailing on him! Beat his ass! My reaction time was too slow. As much as I hate to admit it, you're actually better at thrusting strikes than I am. But that's it! No way in hell I'll let you win this team battle! Three years of high school sumo has led up to this moment. My final inter high. We've put together a group of wrestlers whose power is on the same level as the national treasures. Mark my words, the strongest Ishigami high team in the history of the club will go on to become the best in Japan. My final duty as their captain is to make that dream a reality! Uh... <laughs> Backward belt throw! <sighs> Damn. with only one arm. That's impossible. <laughs> At your current strength, I doubt I'd lose to you once, even after a hundred bouts. But I can't deny that last strike of yours was savage. That makes one win, two losses. Doesn't look good. Dachi High's got their backs to the wall. Bow! East! Nice fight. Sorry, Mosaki. Fuck up, dude. I'll win this and set the stage for Ushio. Uh. Get a load of you, acting all tough. But this is the first time where a loss means your entire team is finished. You're trying to hide the fact, but I can see right through your stomps. You're out of your element. I have to win. Otherwise, everyone's hard work will be for nothing. Showing weakness is unthinkable. If I fail, those two will blame themselves. I can't let them down, not when so much is on the line. After all, I'm their captain. Win it for them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know, I got worked up again. No one can deny you're a nice guy. <laughs> Is that a roundabout way of saying I'm unreliable? Since you brought it up, yeah, the Ishihai captain is way more reliable in a fight. <laughs> but here's what you do have. A team made up of your former nemesis, a complete novice, and a self-obsessed wrestler, and your heart's big enough to accept every one of them the way they are. We agree unanimously. Only one man can captain our sumo club. That's Shinya Ozaki. None of us can say we've been through as much as you. And because of that, we want you to beat Ishihai. More than anything, we want to see your hard work rewarded. For you to emerge triumphant. You know what you need to do, Sanada. Yeah. <laughs> But do I think it's going to be an easy task? Nope. Fourth bout! On the west side, Ozuki! On the east side, Sarada! Sada, the team match ends here. Sorry you won't get a chance to play the hero. Not like it's any skin off my sack. Though I was expecting us to have already wrapped this up with three back-to-back -back wins. <clears throat> I guess somebody here didn't get the memo. Hey, shut up, man! I'll kick your ass! Don't take these guys lightly. Sanada, same goes for you. Got it. You don't have to worry about me. I take Ozuki seriously more than anyone here. Push, push, easy high! Push, push! Don't let them Ishii rattle you! Push, we believe in you, push, Captain! Push, Hands on the ground! Reset! Places! A false start? He charged before Ozuki's hands were on the ground? Jeez, don't scare me like that. I thought we were knocked out of the competition. He didn't do that on accident. Yeah, Ozuki was building focus for his charge, and now it's shattered. There's a chance being knocked down rattled his confidence, and now his head's filled with thoughts about losing. 
That was low, Sonata! Face off like men! I knew it. He can try hiding it, but the dude's got the blood of a criminal. I've heard the stories about him, you know, all of them. Sonata was never a part of that crowd. Huh? But I understand why some people might get that impression. Hands on the ground! Hold on a minute. Is he even ready? Captain! Be sure to take a breath! Spirit! <laughs> oh. Wasn't knocking him over supposed to break his focus? I was one step behind. It was at that moment you awakened. For you, the match had already started. Even I'm surprised at how calm I am. I mean, Sonata from Ishii charged at me, which means he considers me an equal. Ushio, guys, I'm going to win this! You may have gotten the first hit, but don't expect me to let you win because I'm a nice guy. He forced him to lose his grip! Not good. And he had such a great hold, too. Out of the pair, Sonata has the better technique. And yet, that won't determine the winner. Eclipse his skill with your heart, Ozaki! What are you talking about? Of course Sonata's a delinquent. Huh? After the whole night of blood spray incident, he became infamous all over the school. He defended the sumo club from the gangs, took on over a hundred thugs single-handedly. In the version of the story I heard, it was more like 30 dudes. <gasps> The guy was still outnumbered. If you two wouldn't mind, could you put a lid on it? A bout's going on. We're sorry, sorry sir. sir. We probably wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. You're quitting the sumo club? What are you talking about? What's wrong? Are you angry, Kanamori? Confused, more like it. I thought you were into sumo. You know I am. I don't think there's another person alive who loves it more. Sorry. I've got my hands full at the moment. I'll give you details when I see you. Wait, don't hang up! What's your problem, Psycho? We told you it was all just a joke! You were going to set fire to the dojo. Does it sound like I'm laughing? It's time to show you what happens when you make a good guy snap! That call last night is making sense. You quit so the sumo club wouldn't get in trouble for this. Instead, all the blame had fall squarely on you. Why is your fist hamburger meat? Huh? Oh, that. You think these lowlifes deserve the honor of being taken down with sumo? Half the time I don't understand Sonata, but what's clear is that the love he has for sumo in the Ishihai Club is greater than anyone can imagine. His throat! Ozuki, drop your weight! <laughs> Those attacks aren't giving him any room to breathe! Sonata's being absolutely merciless against Dachi High's captain! Merciless? Maybe so, but even that isn't enough to bring him down. <laughs> they don't know the strength he possesses. It's completely unlike my own. Man, I'm having serious sumo withdrawals. The suspension can't end soon enough. Hmm? What's he doing? I heard he can't use the dojo because a bunch of thugs took it over. Really? That's one determined dude. So you've had trouble with delinquents too? Well, I feel for you, brother. But unlike you, I took a stand and forced them out on my own. At first, I thought his training was all for show. I figured he'd quit soon. But he kept it up. Any feeling of sympathy or disdain I had vanished and was replaced with something new, fear. I pride myself on loving Sumo more than anyone, but I've got to imagine being in his shoes, totally isolated, training by myself. Would I be strong enough to go two years without cracking? Could I keep doing stomps and enjoy it? As insecure as you are, have you ever realized how insane your endurance is? Sonnet is all out of attacks. Now what? When the captain's defending, it's like trying to push your way through a brick wall. True that. Till now, he's always lacked patience during a bout. He'd charge forward at the wrong moment. But he's learned not to rush things, how to control the pace, and when to go for the killing blow. They're canceling each other's moves. This battle won't be determined by strength. Since they're both evenly matched in that category, it's gonna come down to what's in their hearts. Whichever one has more resolve will ultimately come out on top. 
Captain! Almost there, keep going! Take him down! <laughs> Honestly, that stuff about winning and being the best in Japan doesn't feel real to me, but... More than anything, we want to see your hard work rewarded. For you to emerge triumphant. If that's what they want to see, I'll make it happen! And use every last ounce of strength I have! Damn, I can't hold out much longer. My opening salvo left me out of breath. Now! Senator! That's it. Push him! End this! Is it possible? Am I going to lose? No, I can't. Because... I love Sumo more than anyone! <laughs> Ref, who won? Match! West Side is the winner! Yeah! Yeah! It's two to two! The next bout's gonna decide everything! Captain! Captain! Do it. I'm not crying. It's far too early to be shedding tears. Yeah, it's not over yet. Ushio, go out there and win. It's our turn to watch all of your hard work pay off. I'm ready. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Guys. It's far too early to be shedding tears. Yeah, it's not over yet. Ushio, go out there and win. It's our turn to watch all of your hard work pay off. I'm ready. Time for two national treasures to go head to head. All right, Bato, Enoki, I want you to watch closely. Sure. Not like it matters, though. These guys might be national treasures, but they're not in the same league as Captain Tenoji. Uh, I can't see a thing! This isn't a solution to the problem, Daniel! I'm only trying to get you a better view. I changed my mind! We'll begin the final bout of the Inter High Chiba Prefectural Team Competition. On the west side, Ushio. On the east side, Sada. Our spot in the final competition is riding on this last bout. How about you shut up, Araki? Huh? I'm sorry, Sada. I didn't want to pile this kind of pressure on a first year. Onimaru's strong. However, your Ishigami High's ace. Go show him what you can do. Don't you worry about a thing. I'll make sure our team makes it to the national stage. I've always had complete confidence in my athletic abilities. Hey, you know what? I've never given Sumo a go. You've <laughs> got to be kidding me. Don't do it. No one looks good in a Mawashi belt. <laughs> in other words, if some guy wore a Mawashi belt and actually rocked that look, he'd be cool. Maybe even the coolest athlete that ever existed. Because you wear nothing but a belt, you can feel the intensity coursing through your skin. I took to Suma way more than I expected. I wanted to fight all out against an opponent on the same level as me. One problem. As I climbed the ranks and became a middle school Yokozuna, my equal wasn't in the ring. You know what I heard? This Sada guy's belt is spotless because nobody's been able to lay a finger on it. Seriously? Have you seen anyone in this tournament grab it? Whoa, does Hinomaru stand a chance? Onimaru Kunitsuna and Mikazuki Munichika. About between two national treasures. Charge! They're equals. Ah! 
Why do you use a thrust and shove? At that range, Sada has a clear advantage. His arm holds could be a real pain in the ass. In that case... How do you like this? His slashes keep getting faster. His speed. I don't need to block every strike. Only some have real weight behind them. You're mixing them in with light attacks. All that's left is figuring out the pattern. And only countering the heavy hits. He blocked him! Watch out! How's he going even faster than before? I can't tell which is which. Every strike has power behind it. Check it out. Sada's smiling. Now this is fun. That feeling of uncertainty. I've been waiting for a fight like this. Onimaru, you wanted this too. What the hell are you grinning about? I'm only going to smile. Once I've taken your head for myself. <laughs> He's got him by the yard. Bring that punk out. <laughs> Now Sada's attacking. Only Maru can't get close to him. Those strikes are non-stop and sharp. Each hit's targeted to keep pushing him backwards. You were the one who dragged Yuma and the others into this sport. They're only here because they believed in you. You better win, Hinomaru. Crescent Moon! I was wondering when you were gonna do that. Did he just step into Sada's throw? You got him! Demon Wheel! He's really something. When did Mikazuki stop his throwing motion? While you're busy catching your breath, here's my second counterattack! Demon Storm! He's still standing after that? His demon wheel didn't work either. Like I thought that'd be enough to win. Hundred demon takedown! Damn, he's strong. This is Onimaru Kunitsuna. Even though he's the smallest wrestler I've ever faced, he stands taller than any competitor I fought. I've been waiting for the day I could face off with someone like him. But are you satisfied with just competing? Of course I'm not! I only want one thing! Victory against the strongest! You hear that? He's roaring. First quarter moon! A throat hold! Sada is being unusually aggressive. I've never seen that look in his eyes before. He let go of him! They're so fast, I can barely keep up! They really did save the best fight for last. He used his hand to counter the thrust. And took all the force out of the strike. Sada's signature power arm grab. This is bad. Onimaru's locked in. When's he gonna use that new move? Isn't this the perfect time for his triple combo? The new technique isn't quite ready yet. Uh -huh. We didn't have enough time before the tournament. Without it in his arsenal, can he really beat Sada? Dude's got this. If there's anything that gets his blood pumping, it's stacked up! He grabbed both sides! That's it. Believe, Hinomaru. You've trained like a madman chasing your dream to be a pro Yokozuna. And that entire time, your body's never betrayed you. So believe in it! The Hundred Demon Takedown isn't enough for this guy! If I don't beat him, how can I become a Yokozuna? You wanna see a smile? Wait till I win! 
It cut him off. You're acting like you actually expected to win. But your fun stops here. There's only room for one of us to shine in this ring. It's done. Own hand pulling over arm throw! Double moon! The lingering feeling of something other than my feet touching the ground. And everyone looking down at me. My feet are like weights. They're dragging me deeper into the sludge. People came out to cheer me on. I didn't want them to see me in that moment. Mom, how can you be proud of me? Is this as far as I can go? Is this all I'm capable of? Stop making that face. What do you think you're doing? I envy you. Your height and strength. Your talent. If you end up going pro, you'll go on to do great things. Anyone can see you were destined to become a Yokozuna. I guess... I wasn't. Like hell! His arm! It's going to break. Talent? Destiny? What a bunch of crap! No one decides my future but me, and I've already mapped it out! Watch! <sighs> he broke loose! If this was a contest between which of us is more talented at sumo, there's a chance I'd lose to you. But as far as this bout is concerned, I know one thing. Victory will be mine! Oh. Sada! <laughs> Got it! An underhand grip! This isn't good! Gotta cut him off! No, not his elbow! Uh. Optimal distance! Right footwork! Unbeatable form! Uh. <laughs> I'm not going to lose! There's his new technique! An attack on three points at once! They're watching! The sun overhead! And my team! They've seen your resolve! Your passion! Your fight! Now the only thing left to show is the road that lies ahead! After I beat Sada! After we beat Ishihai! This final blow carries our destiny on its shoulders! Hundred thousand demons drop! Westside wins! Yeah! Oh, shoot. You did it! You won! The final result, with a score of 3-2, the West Side are the winners! Congratulations to the Chiba Inter High Prelim Champions, Odashi High School! What a bunch of total badasses! Yuma's going to the finals! <laughs> <laughs>does it hurt to move? Hmm? Don't give me that. You're too reckless. You realize that you could have dislocated it? Man. Kirihito. Hmm? You gotta learn to relax once in a while. Relax? If you're going to be our coach, you need to act more stoic. <laughs> Not like the professor here was much help during our final bout. He definitely <laughs> struck the biggest victory pose out of all of us. Okay. Well, you could hardly expect me to show no reaction. In fact, 
I've got the perfect analogy. Hold up. It felt like I was a mother watching my children performing for the first time in a school play. Of course it was nail biting. Our mother? Yeah, I'm not sure I completely get it. I almost forgot you guys, but our team actually won. I'm not gonna let today's bouts be your last. The five of us will breeze through the prelims, then to the finals. And you're coming with us all the way to the top. <laughs> Next up, it's the finals. Damn straight. <laughs> that last throw of his. He realized in that moment his arm couldn't handle the weight, so he used the force of his whole body instead. You don't practice a stance like that. It had to have been pure instinct. Savage, bro. Damn. How strong are you planning on getting? I wasn't able to win a single bout today. I didn't contribute to the victory. Not even in the least. Huh? The two of us might be dead weight for the time being, but we'll show them what we got during the finals. Right. Every bout they fought was significant, even the ones that they lost. When a teammate was defeated, their feelings transferred onto the next person. And when it was that wrestler's turn, it supplied them with the energy they needed to win. They may have gone in to face their opponents as individuals, but none of them were truly alone. I know what you mean. If this hadn't been a team competition, there's no telling how the bouts would have ultimately played out. One thing's for certain. No one would dare accuse the other team of losing because they fought with any less passion. <laughs> I still can't believe we won! How are you managing to smile, cry, and eat at the same time? Hold up. Where did Kunisaki go? Your arm? Is it...? Oh yeah, don't worry. It's nothing serious. I put ice on it just in case. I'm certainly glad it wasn't anything serious. You're lucky. A partially dislocated shoulder. There may also be a hairline fracture. A standard was expected of me, and I'm sorry I failed to meet it. After being touted as a national treasure in the sumo team's ace, I let you down. It's my fault the third year summer is over with, that the team's road to the finals ended here. And to apologize, I'll give up. <laughs> so tell me, Mr. National Treasure, how do you feel? Like a disappointment. I'm pathetic. I've got a selfish request to make of you. I want you to spend the next two years in the Ishihai Sumo Club. So do I. Once these two graduate, we're going to need someone like you to make the team even stronger. Mommy. And don't say you gave it your all when today was the first time you ever tried being serious. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> Sada, your sumo journey, it's just begun. The team is in your hands. Yes, sir. You're all insane. How can you be talking about the future already? They kicked our asses! If I hadn't lost, we could have been champs! It's all my fault! That's what everyone's thinking, so just get this over with and say it! <laughs> Araki. You're the reason we lost today. <laughs> The fact you're smiling while you're sad makes it worse! <laughs> I'm holding back tears too! Your drama queen act is killing me! <laughs> <laughs> See, aren't you glad you made it? I told you Hinamaru Ushio was something special, didn't I? Well, we've got the match footage. He doesn't stand a chance against Tanoji, but he'll still want to see it. Hmm? I believe I'm the one who should hand the footage over to Captain Tanoji. Hmm. No way. I'm the best choice. Quit being a baby and uh, give it! What, what are you doing? Uh, Stop! Uh, You're gonna break it! Uh, Saki! Uh, Master! Terahara! Shh! You don't want to blow my cover, do you? 
Everyone knows who you are. That's Master Shibakiyama. Why are you dressed like that? Hinamaru sure is a beast. He's stronger since he fought Sosuke, and that's saying something. <laughs> He's not the only one who's been getting stronger. I'm glad I came to Dachi High. Not only did I find Sumo, I found my bros and won a team competition with him. Still, I've got one regret. The guy I want to fight the most happens to be on the same side as me. Huh? A new competition? Starting now? You're exhausted and you want to fight one-on-one? -on -one? Get real! I am worn out, but I'm not joking around. Think about it. Sada's not competing. With him out, Ushio will sail through the individual tournament. I feel kind of guilty, but luck's on our side. Ozuki's right. Without any competition, Hinamaru's sure to win. Me win? <laughs> you think? I'm not so sure. Hmm? Kunisaki? I want your best. This has to be a serious bout. My dream of becoming the strongest fighter lies beyond your fallen body. Dude, same team! Absolutely. I have zero intention of taking the easy way to the top. On that note, I expect the same from the rest of you. The gate to the summit's open to all. As for me, whatever you got, I'm willing to take. I want to win and be recognized as the best there is. These may be your friends now, but in an instant, they could become your greatest enemy. Moving speech, but let's see if you can back up your talk. Onimaru Kunitsuna. These may be your friends now, but in an instant, they could become your greatest enemy. Moving speech, but let's see if you can back up your talk. Onimaru Kunitsuna. Excuse me, is this the Odachi High Tent? Uh, yeah, but the team's already gone over to the ring. Oh, I miss them. You wouldn't happen to be their manager by any chance. Huh? Oh, me? No. It'd be normal to have a female manager for a sport like soccer or baseball, but sumo club? Come on! I get it. In that case, I must be abnormal. <laughs> Attention! The individual bouts are about to begin. On the west side, from Odachi High School, Ozaki. The individual tournament. Whoever makes it in the top three goes to the finals. When this is over, Ushio needs to make the podium. I was planning to sacrifice my spot to help him out. But if I go deep into the tournament, I might end up fighting him. Focus, Captain! Uh, Spirit! Uh, oh no! I started too late! Uh, uh, Westside wins! That was close. He almost got taken out. It's a good thing the other guy got excited and moved too soon. Going off that match, it's hard to believe he defeated the vice captain from Ishii High. Hmm. Seems like his drive to fight is centered around helping his teammates. I got a feeling he's nice to a fault. Huh? He was so concerned with the group tournament, seems he lost sight of the individual contest. <laughs> well, whatever the case, you can't make it to the finals if you're unable to face your friends. On the east side, from Odachi High, Ujio. There's our champ. No way Ushio can lose. Now that Sada's out, he's got this in the bag for sure. I doubt a waltz through this, given what happened. You talking about his arm? That's part of it, yeah. But after making it through today's gauntlet, can he stay focused through more belts? Spirit! It'd be a waste of time to worry about him. He looks ready to chew up and spit out anyone in his way, teammate or not. Do you guys think when it's our turn, he's gonna fight that way against us? It wasn't long ago we were all working as one. 
Now it's like we're enemies. You don't stop being teammates. A little conflict can be healthy. When you step inside the ring to face off, it's against someone who has a dream just like you. And they deserve all that you've got, because they're your teammates. If you want to call yourself sumo wrestlers, then shouldn't you demand the same respect? I want to face him at his best. And win. On the west side, from Odachi High School, Kunasaki. Spirit! You're kidding me. Look at his footwork. That's Sada's first quarter moon. That copycat. Hey, it's a good move. I'd get copying the demon wheel, but this tournament was the first time he's ever seen the first quarter moon. He picks up on techniques fast, but his knack for combat goes way beyond that. With Hinomaru at his current state, there's a chance. I never thanked you. You're the reason I joined the sumo club. Now I've grown stronger than I've ever imagined. You're next on my list. A stepping stone to becoming the world's strongest fighter. Yuma's oh, bout is coming up next. Take him out! You got this, Yuma! Spirit! Yeah! Yeah! Pushed out of bounds. Nice Goku one. on the west side wins. Nice going out there, Gojo. Thanks. I guess it's time, huh? Mm. On the east side, from Odachi High, Ushio. On the west side, from Odachi High, Kunasaki. Both of them are looking dead serious. It makes you wonder, just who are we supposed to be cheering for? I don't think there's anyone on the team who can decide which dream is worthier. Ushio or Kunisaki's. And if I keep winning my bouts, I'll end up fighting whoever wins this one. Place your hands on the ground! He's a different beast entirely when you face him in the ring for an official bout. Onimaru Kunitsuna, you're incredible! Spirit! <laughs> Here we go! That's my move! The inner thigh counter! The first quarter moon throw. Now this, he's got talent. He threw an attack. Up until this point, he's only been using grabs. There's no telling what's gonna happen next. Think he modeled that move off your cannon slap? <laughs> he's definitely got an appetite for any moves that'll help him win. And with so many talented wrestlers at today's tournament, it's been like a buffet of different powerhouse techniques for Kunisaki. The way he absorbs moves and keeps changing his style, it's completely different from the way he trains. But you need more, Kunisaki. You won't beat Ushio like that. He isn't just imitating the moves, so it's obvious he has skill. Even so, his versions don't have the same intensity as the originals. You can tell because Onimaru's body is barely moved. What would I do here? How would I take advantage of Ushio's stature without letting him grab my Mawashi belt? I try and... Uh. You thief! Whoa, now he's using a leg sweep? Not just any sweep, that's Yuma special! All of these moves have been a distraction to keep my options open. My real attack... Uh. Is this! He's going for a tackle from that position? Kunisaki's strong and has good technique, but his real weapon is improvising. Damn! Looks like I'm not the only one who got a power boost during this tournament! Chihiro, I swear, every time you exceed my expectations... You're not getting both hands on my belt! There's only one way to counter your improvisation. I have to be stronger than you! <laughs> Underarm throw, thigh-propping twist down! Demon Storm hand sweep! <laughs> oh, not bad. How many techniques does he have? Yeah, right? 
He saw Chiharu use it in the team bouts and turned it against him. You know, the most annoying part is, even though I lost, I'm not the least bit pissed off about it. <laughs> to be honest, I'm more stoked than anything. It means I've still got a long way to go before I'm the strongest fighter. Well, that gave me goosebumps. If his mind wasn't a mess already, it probably is now. Huh? It's okay. You're a sumo wrestler, too. You can respect him outside the ring and still be able to compete with him once you step inside. I want to fight Ushio. But that's not enough. I want to win. Please don't give out on me until this is over. Spirit! He knew it was coming. It's over. <laughs> Looks like his first official win will have to wait. Nice fight, Mitsuashi! Damn. I wanted to win at least one before we headed to the finals. How can I win there if I can't win in Chiba? Do you still have confidence in my coaching? Have faith in me. And I promise you'll win at the finals. You really have faith in me. You're our instructor, and if you believe I can actually win, then I will follow you, all the way to hell and back. Whatever hang-ups he might have had are gone now. Yeah. Our captain put his doubts behind him. I gotta catch up to the rest of the team by the finals. Westside wins! There's no turning back. <laughs> We're moving on to the fifth bout of the individual tournament. On the west side, from Odachi High School, Ozuki. On the east side, from Odachi High School, Ushio. A bout between the captain and vice captain of the winning team? This is gonna be insane! So who are you cheering for, Professor? It's Hinomaru, right? Huh? Let's be real. You enrolled at Dachi High to help him win, didn't you? So if the captain beats him, then technically you failed. I won't deny you have a point. But as your coach, I've watched you all shed blood, sweat, and tears equally. I wouldn't want the captain to lose for the sake of someone else. However... I want you to tell everyone that my arm's not as bad as it looks. What? I understand not wanting other schools to know, but hiding it from your own team? Absolutely. You think I'm gonna tell them to go easy on me because my elbow hurts? That's not what I meant. Why risk making it worse, especially in a bout with a teammate? <sighs> Respect. This tournament's important to everyone here. I won't hold anything back. That's how I show respect to my team. He never lets up, even against the captain of his own team. He kicked up the intensity, if that's possible. Yeah. Ushio, I can never thank you enough for what you've done for me. It's because of you my love for Sumo has grown tenfold. You opened my eyes to the joy of having teammates and winning against opponents. But those feelings don't belong here. They're for outside the ring. A spider stance! How come he didn't use that when we were fighting? Because you're unpredictable, so he wasn't sure what you were going to do. But against Ozuki, he's expecting to tackle. This is the last inner high I'm ever gonna have. Which means this will be my first and only official bout against Ushio. Hear it now! Bring it! No, he stopped on Imaru's charge with his chest. I've dealt with this every day of practice. You gotta do better! An underarm grip. Neither of his hands can reach the Mawashi belt. Hinomaru grabbed him back. His grip isn't as strong as usual. I'm guessing his arm must have gotten busted up more than I originally thought. If we continue fighting like this, his arm's gonna... 
What's wrong, Captain? Thinking of going easy on me? I'm warning you, if you do that, we'll both be disappointed! He pushed him all the way to the road! Act like this is your last bout! That's right! For Shinya Ozaki, there's never gonna be another match as important as the one I'm fighting right now! For me, this is the final! My main event! He oh. pushed him backwards! Now Shorty's about to get knocked down! He's pulling me down! I won't let him! Wait! A trap! He switched to underarm! Not today! He's not thrusting with his right arm. Looks like Onimaru injured it as well. You knew his arm was screwed up. So why didn't you say anything, Prof? If you had known, would you have approached the bout any differently? You want to know? Just look at the captain. This is getting intense. It's like he's a different person. The upper body and cardio workouts the professor puts us through took our game to a whole new level. But paired with the captain's lower body strength, it's made him a fearsome opponent. Still... You really think Hinamaru will let you in just because he's injured? Yeah, right. What do you think you're doing? You're using your busted arm! I can't complain about this kind of pain. Especially when I'm battling you. I had to fight alone in middle school. Against both myself and society. I didn't accept any help. Or anyone's advice. I thought no one could understand what I was going through. And I was fine with that. Until I saw that homemade sumo ring. Up until that point, I refused to believe there was someone out there practicing in harsher conditions than me. For the first time in my life, I felt like I had a brother in arms. My elbow's killing me, but so what? I'm not going to give my captain anything except the best match he's ever fought! Demon Wheel! Ushio's laying it all on the line to win this fight. Then why? Why haven't I been doing the same? I can take it! If this is a battle of endurance, I won't lose to him! That's the spirit, Captain! I don't see you any different than Kuze or Sada. Right now, you're my rival, pure and simple! Your grip's not tight enough! Hinomaru! Uh-oh. He's only gripping one layer of the Mawashi. That'll make it harder for him to apply force. He's standing his ground and trying to push Ozaki out. If he could manage a throw, he'd be in a much better position. That's what I'd do anyway. <laughs> But backing off isn't exactly Ushio's style. Ozuki's standing up straighter. That half pint had that much energy left to burn? He's going full power and not holding anything back, which means he's planning on using everything he's got right here. If I survive this, he won't have any strength left in him to fight! <gasps> Endure it! All I have to do is get through this, and I'll win! Sir? I know this sounds crazy, and maybe it's just me, but it seems like they're both having fun. They are. I can see it too. When it comes to their strength, they have a mutual admiration. I'm a little envious. What I wouldn't give to have fought Hinomaru head-to-head -head in a serious bout like this. No matter which of you wins, this bout is legendary! You're almost there, Ozaki! I keep forgetting I have to breathe. Both of you, tough it out.
to everyone else, the ring is just a rice straw bale. But for sumo wrestlers, it's the size of a fearsome mountain. Forced out of bounds, Ushio on the east side wins! Yeah! Don't tell me that wasn't an impressive battle. Ozuki held his own admirably, but in the end, Onimaru's tenacity won out. You know, you'll likely meet in the final bout. You scared? Please. Oh, man. I wish my arm hadn't decided to give out on me. Hmm. You better heal up quick. I need to train ASAP. Sada actually wants to train? After the match we just watched, I can see why. <sighs> man, I'm disappointed. I wanted to win. But in terms of matches I fought, it was the best I ever had. It's just the motivation I needed to push me during the finals. There's gonna be a ton of strong opponents standing in your way. But I know you're gonna beat them all and become a high school Yokozuna. Correction, everybody knows you're going to be a professional Yokozuna. <laughs> Wait, what have I done? Huh? Dude, is your arm okay? I got caught up in the moment and completely forgot about it getting injured earlier. <laughs> as soon as he steps out of the ring, he's back to being a teddy bear. Good luck, Hinomaro. We will now present the tournament awards. The champion from Modachi High School is Hinomaru Ushio. In second place, from Ishigami High School, Kanamori in third place. Congratulations, Ushio. I'll be seeing you at the finals. <laughs> Kay, everyone get close! Hinomaru, I know this was just a stop on the road for you, but you can still look happy about it. What? I am. Come on, guys, smile! You too, Shorty! <laughs> Say cheese! I feel funky whenever I miss my morning workout. <laughs> Ushio! Hey, fellas. Whoa, what's with the crowd? I'm not sure. There they are, over there! Our prelim champions! You guys rocked it yesterday! <gasps> Would all the members of the sumo club please come on stage at this time? That was a magnificent performance you gave, boys. The way you fought out there, I was so impressed. Well, in that case, could our club get a budget increase? <laughs> you got it. <sighs> Weird. I get them wanting to celebrate how great we did and all that, but why are they making it sound like they were there during the tournament watching us from the crowd? Hmm, I don't remember that much cheering coming from the Dachi High side of the arena. Plus, the freaks are more excited than they were back when I won the National Wrestling Championship. Which, no offense, pisses me off. Shanko! I need fur therapy for my anxiety! Oh. Breaking news! I've got the answer here! Why everyone's bananas! What's oh, yes? this? That's a video of yesterday's team finals. It's being shared all over social media. It's gotten so popular, everyone at school knows about us now. But who's the one that posted it? Zuchi? I wish, but no. Well, Reina? Uh, don't look at me. I'm sorry. The video that was posted, um, it was me. Huh? Cool, but why? You see, it's just that I was so inspired by the exploits of our school sumo team. It felt like I needed to share that feeling with as many people as I could. Well, that explains that. Thanks for supporting the club. I wanted to ask you, if you don't have one already, I'd like to become the Sumo Club's manager, if that's okay. Huh? We got a lady manager? Hell yeah! Whoa, is that a serious offer? Not only am I serious, I've fallen in love with Sumo. I was just thinking how another pair of hands would help out around here, and then you show up. Okay, freeze one sec! 
Manager? If you were so desperate for one, why didn't you ask the obvious choice? Uh, because we were all convinced you hated sumo, Rena. Uh. Ladies, instead of wasting time splitting hairs, why don't both of you join the club? Now the student council's in our corner! Oh no, he's scheming again. Seriously? You wanted to be our manager? <laughs> well, uh... Okay! We're gonna start with some light training, and then go celebrate winning a tournament and gaining new members. Yeah! Uh, barbecue? This is how you roll out the red carpet for the new girls? Why couldn't we go somewhere more upscale? This is our victory celebration, after all, and you only joined the club today. That reminds me. I don't think we caught your name at the dojo earlier. Oh, that's right. Chizuko Hori, a first year. Thank you for inviting me. No sweat. It's nice to have a girl on board to diffuse some of this bro energy. Question. Whose bout inspired you the most during the tournament? Whose bout? Huh? No fair, man! You're basically asking her to pick someone who won! You got a problem with that, baby face? Yeah, I do! And the name's Kay. I'll ask you to remember my many genius moves during that competition. Wait just a minute. Does she like... Okay, Reyna. Introduce yourself. Uh... Who am I? Please! Just two-time Miss Dachi High Student Council President, the incomparable Reyna Gojo! Yeah, like this face even requires an introduction. Uh, oh, uh, also, my brother, you must have been training hard, so I should support him, yeah. Uh, hmm? uh, Wait, you mean the two of your siblings? I had no freaking clue! All those headbutts must have caught up with him. By the way, what does a club manager do? They have several tasks. In addition to the stuff the captain and I have been doing, they get everything ready for the Chankanabe stew. Huh? <gasps> Shanko stew? We couldn't make it before since we didn't have the funds for it. But, is the principal really gonna raise our budget? Um, hello you guys, I'm the student council president. If your club needed more money, you could have just come to me and asked for it. What? You're the best, Reina! That's a huge relief! <laughs> yeah, I know I'm awesome. Thanks for acknowledging it. These two are so gullible. All right, we're on a timer, so let's continue this discussion after we finish eating. What do you mean, a timer? 2,000 yen gets you 90 minutes. At a buffet of over a hundred dishes. We're talking barbecue, sushi, desserts as far as the eye can see. Why didn't you say so? And it's all you can eat, is that right? Yup! Let's see who can eat the most in one sitting! Ha! You're speaking my language! Yeah! I think I'm gonna stick to this section. <laughs> High schoolers on their way back from club to be young again. All right, kids, prepare to satisfy your appetites. That's why I opened this restaurant in the first place. The joy of seeing patrons leaving full and happy. Let me clear away those dirty plates for you. <laughs> oh, sweet heavens! The meat! It's glistening to a golden brown! There. That looks about ready. Let's see. Oh, it's better than being the door party entire school! The ancient all-you-can-eat master said a person's true colors are revealed only at a buffet. This boy's plates exude a sensitivity and sincerity one would never associate with his brutish appearance. Does he descend from royalty? Behold, the greatest man to have ever graced a buffet! Patience. Flip the meat when the edges start to turn white. Wait for the juice to form on top. Time for my special attack! Rip! Tornado! <laughs> oh, delicious! What gives? That was supposed to be mine! Hmm? Are you telling me you weren't cooking it for your best friend? Who <laughs> ah! oh, let this beast out of his cage? He doesn't care anything about presentation. As long as the food reaches his stomach, he's content! Rest in peace, my poor sweet appetite! No, I mustn't judge. Everyone has a particular way of eating. Here, Hinomaru. Hmm? You've got to balance that meat out with vegetables. Right. Thanks a bunch. Save the chef routine for home at Gojo. You're not going to get your money's worth unless you scarf it down. Huh? Your money's worth? Well, young man, I guess you're saving up for a one-way ticket straight to hell. You must be tired of chowing down on meat. Growing boys should always have a bowl of rice in one hand. Thanks for looking out for us. Oh, and please have some of our rich Jiro noodles on the side. I made them extra large servings just for you, so eat up. 
Don't have to tell me twice. Ramen's one of the food groups, right? <laughs> yes, you fools, eat! This is how I protect the restaurant's meat supply. I won't let you get your money's worth so easily. Even though this one could prove to be trouble with his ravenous appetite, he's no threat without the support of his friends. Oh, man, I've got food triplets. Is that good just for show? How are you stuffed? I'm actually not that big of an eater. I'm done for like the next couple days. Me too. Your fate is sealed, sir. Good luck making up the difference on your own. Remember, the buffet is a team battle. Too bad your weak lineup wasn't enough to see you to victory. You'll never defeat the mighty Mr. Stamina Jiro, master of the buffet. Why is it you get paid more than us again? Come on, it's too early for you to be quitting. Don't forget the reason we came to a buffet. This is a victory welcome party and training session all rolled into one event. Your assignment is to consume twice the calories of Pro Eats. 20,000. What are you waiting for? Wolf it down! 20,000? In all seriousness, though, the captain's the only one on the team who weighs over 100 kilograms right now. The rest of you need to do your part and pack on the weight. Huh. All right then, gentlemen. Eat everything inside! <laughs> what is going on here? If we leave anything on our plates, we have to pay a penalty, which comes out of our team's pocket. Mitsuhashi, you've got your work cut out for you. Thanks a lot, Satan! Oh, God! My nightmare is becoming a reality! <laughs> No more meat! I can't stomach another bite! Excellent! That's one victim down! Looks like it's time to move on to the sweets! He's got room for dessert! This is impossible! They were ready to collapse and now they've all grown a second stomach! I've gotten jaded. It's been so long since I had a worthy adversary. Very well, my nemesis. Hope you're ready for the big guns! You know, some of us have to work. Oh, reached my limit. Kill me. I'm gonna hurl. If you blow chunks, our sacrifice will have been for nothing. Victory party. This feels more like torture. <sighs> There's no way around it. Looks like we're gonna end up paying the penalty fee. Success! It appears the cheap cobs I loaded them up with are finally starting to work their magic. I must say, Jiro, that was masterfully played. What fee? I haven't thrown in the towel. Ushio. Look, I know you want to one-up me, but this isn't the way to do it, bro. See, the trouble is I got a high metabolism. Gotta keep eating or the weight falls off. But you're at your limit, Hinomaru. You don't have to prove yourself. The legendary Yokozuna Yamato Kuni forced himself to get bigger so he could compete against foreign sumo wrestlers. But the thing that's equally important is I won't allow myself to leave food on my plate. <laughs> Because anyone who wastes a single bite isn't worthy of becoming a Yokozuna! Inhuman! How could he fit all that food into such a compact frame? I must admit defeat. Congratulations, you monsters. You win. What is even going on here? <laughs> He's so cool, don't you think? Thank you for your business! Before you go, mm -hmm. may I have the honor of knowing who did I serve tonight? Uh, who, us? We're members of the Dachi High Sumo Club. <laughs> yes, the Sumo Club, of course! That explains everything! Best of luck, Dachi High Sumo Club! Mm -hmm. Yeah, you too. Listen up. Yesterday's tournament showed us what we each need to work on before the finals in less than two months. Let's give it our all, guys! Yeah! yeah. Good food, good service, five stars! How can you walk so fast? I'm gonna puke. Oh, <laughs> Hold it in, Mitsuashi. What we each need to work on, huh? I mean, how are you feeling, Chizuko? Don't tell me this girl actually finds that shrimp. Uh, what do you want? I think we need to talk about Yuma. Huh? That was one heck of a battle. Good luck, Dachi High Sumo Club. And don't be afraid to never come back. Uh, 
Up to this point, we've been focusing on individual training, so now I'd like for us to break off and work in groups of two. Training in pairs? So first up, we have Gojo. I'd like you to partner with the captain. <clears throat> Why us? It's quite simple. Since the captain's heavy, practicing with him should help you learn some ways to avoid being grabbed. Whereas you need to work on grabbing your opponent, Captain. Gojo likes to fight at arm's length, so it'll be good training for you. Mm, I understand. I'll work with Mitsuhashi on improving his strength. Sir! Next up, Kunisaki and Hinomaru. <laughs> the point of this exercise is to establish communication with your partner. So be observant and tell them everything you notice. Sir! It's gonna be good to finally get to know you, buddy. Here, I'll start. So you got any brothers or sisters? Um, when he said everything, I think he meant sumo. How long's that rod been up your butt? Well, looks like we're partners. Let's work hard, all right? Sure thing. You need to start being more forceful with your charge, Yuma. I heard the first years had something going on and we're gonna be late, but what the heck's keeping everyone else? Did Kunisaki get another detention? Mm. I'm their manager now, but I'm too nervous to go inside. Is it just me or is Yuma not acting like himself? Huh? During the individual contest, he was lacking motivation. Not that long ago, Yuma was eager to fight me. I think it's because of the captain. <sighs> It doesn't make sense. If they have bad blood, then why do you partner them up? Get to know each other? Huh. I already know what Ozuki thinks of me. Damn. What's up? You not feeling well? There's no power in your thrusts. I'm fine. It's nothing. Don't give me that. Tsuji said we had to open up and communicate with each other. And I just told you nothing's wrong. If that's the case, then you need to hit me harder. Otherwise, neither of us will get anything out of this. I can't hit you harder! <sighs> yeah, I'm done. Like you said, this is no way to practice. I'll tell Coach to get you a new partner. Okay, but why? This was a perfect chance for us to get to know each other, man. If there's something you want to say, please just say it. <laughs> this isn't your fault. It's mine. The whole damn thing's my fault. What I did to you haunts me every minute of the day. When I cleaned the dojo and bowed my head, I thought that would be enough to set things straight. But it wasn't. Now that I've experienced the joy of winning at sumo, I realize how much I've taken from you. There's only one thing I know. I have no right to be here practicing with you. No right to enjoy sumo as much as I do. For real? That's what's been bothering you all this time? <laughs> Well, to be honest, I pretty much put our entire past behind me after you bowed your head and asked to become a member of the sumo club. I mean, sure, I was hesitant at first about being on the same team, but I got over it almost immediately. As soon as you started, it was obvious how much you enjoyed sumo. And watching the whole transformation from you hating on the sport to becoming a fanboy was sort of its own reward. <gasps> Besides, if all that stuff hadn't happened, we might have never spoken to each other and you wouldn't be here now. If things had gone a little differently, there's a chance the club might not have made it. We used to be completely ignored, but now no one could stop talking about us. So if you look at it that way, I'd say everything turned out all right in the end. <laughs> if you're really that worried about making it up to me, then how about we make a deal? All you have to do is keep on enjoying sumo. Sound good? Do you think you can handle that? <laughs> Looks like it worked out. The captain forgave Yuma a long time ago. Everything that happened was all water under the bridge. That's one of his greatest strengths. Ozuki's a nice dude, but Yuma won't ever take advantage of him. And your brother's got a serious side that won't let him open up easily. 
before finals. I needed to be sure he understood one thing. There'll never be a time he's not welcomed at our club. <sighs> Hinomaru! Wait, do you mean you planned this all along? <laughs> Who can say? Hey! Quit your slacking and get back to training, you two! Uh, Ushio! We weren't talking about feelings. <laughs> Here's the truth. I invited Yuma to join not because we were desperate for members. I figured he'd get a win at the finals. So if he joined, he'd help the captain and the rest of the team out. <laughs> now, I want you to charge at me using full force. Right. He's always been a sumo wrestler I've admired. But now that I'm viewing him as an opponent, I'm getting chills. I can't even picture how I'm going to win. Shido Tenoji, the high school Yokozuna. We haven't figured out a solid plan of attack yet. Well, nothing I can do except keep training. Damn it. Will that be enough to win? Hinomaru, wait up. Hmm? Hey, Master. Oh, is uh, Hinomaru there? I can hear you, sir. You don't sound that happy about it. Oh, we are. It's just we were watching videos of Tenoji, so... That good, huh? <clears throat> I'm thinking the Dachi High team should come over and train with us this weekend. <laughs> the wrestlers from another stable are joining us for a joint training session. You'd also get a chance to fight someone at the Ozuki level. A real-life Ozuki? We're honored, but I thought you were gearing up for the July tournament. We'd be a distraction while you were preparing. If I thought that, would I have mentioned it? When an adult makes you an offer at a time like this, you should accept Yes, sir! But wait, isn't the July tournament in... Now you're putting the pieces together. I'll see you when you make it to Nagoya. I'm thinking the Dachi High team should come over and train with us this weekend. <sighs> Wrestlers from another stable are joining us for a joint training session. You'd also get a chance to fight someone at the Ozuki level. A real life Ozuki? The Dachi High Sumo Club has arrived in Nagoya. Miso cutlets and chicken wings? No! Settle down. This isn't some pleasure cruise. Remember, we made this trip so we could train. Looks like we arrived way ahead of schedule. And the Master's got a meeting, so we won't see him till later. Fine. We'll have our own team meeting then. What? Loosen up. I mean, come on. We're in Nagoya, dude. Chihiro's got a point. It won't hurt to save the meeting for later tonight. I want to see Nagoya Castle. The castle? Really? Could you please talk some sense into them? Great idea. Let's go! Huh? Making a quick detour won't hurt. Come on, what do you say, Kirihito? Look up Stoic in the dictionary and you'll find Ushio's picture. So if he's excited, it must be good. Getting ready for the final tournament is going to be demanding, physically and mentally. This may be their only chance to relax before then. They might as well enjoy it. All right, let's go check out the castle. <laughs> yeah! Huh? Where'd uh, the others go? Ugh, sightseeing doesn't really do it for me, but food on the other hand. I second that. I'm dying to try Nagoya cuisine. Uh. High school sumo? <laughs> you mean those national treasures the fans are besides themselves over? It's a bumper crop this year. We're talking a once in a century pool of talent. Regardless, this year's high school Yokozuna will most likely be Tenoji again. Yeah, the kid's good. Don't get me wrong. But it'd be a mistake to dismiss Yamato Kuni's boy, Sosuke Kuze. Call it a hunch, but I think he's got what it takes to make it all the way to the top. One or two notable wrestlers doesn't automatically make it a standout year. I would describe it differently. Given the number of talented fighters, it's more like the Sengoku era. Hmm. <laughs> I'm loving this! How could anyone pick getting food over seeing a castle? 
I don't get why this is fun, but at least you're enjoying it. By the way, what was the name of the person who ordered its construction? Miyamoto Musashi? I'll be the first to admit history's not my strong suit, but even I can tell you're way off. I believe it was Tokugawa Ieyasu. He had it built for his ninth son. Yoshino, if I remember. Whoa! I'm impressed! You know, I've always been an admirer of Yoshino for how honest he was. You two are a couple of history buffs. Come one, come all to the Sengoku period! I am the great Maena Keiji! Who is brave enough to challenge me to a sumo bout? Ah. Oh, pick me! I'm brave enough to fight with you, Keiji! Hold up. You realize he's an actor, right? So try not to kill him. Uh, this guy looks pretty eager. All right, you! Sure. I uh, hate to tell you this, but KG was pointing at me, dude. Not to mention that I raised my hand before you did. Huh? I think it's pretty obvious who he was picking. We made direct eye contact and everything. Like you can even see anything! Look, I traveled all the way from Chiba to be here! Sorry if I don't bow down, but I came here all the way from Ishikawa. The same place as the Maeda family. Why don't you catch the train home and go wrestle someone more your style? Like a toddler, maybe. What was that? As a history buff, I refused to leave! And Keiji was from Yamagata, not Ishikawa! All that aside, it'd be insulting for someone short as you to fight against Keiji. Nobody should underestimate a legend, and they should never underestimate Sumo. He's so big! That's just gonna piss off Hinomaru even more! What? Who here's looking down at Sumo? I'm talking about you. Who else am I looking at? <laughs> Well, if that's the way you feel, then we should have a bout. And whoever wins gets the chance to take on Keiji. Fine, but if you get hurt, you can't hold me responsible. Well, this is an unexpected development, but I'm all for it, so go right ahead. Even when he's relaxing, somehow he ends up sumo wrestling. I don't know what's going to happen. I just hope no one gets injured. Get ready, positions! This guy. The Sengoku era, huh? For some reason, you seem to be neglecting another very important name. If we're talking about promising high school students, you're absolutely right. It'd be a mistake to overlook him. I was thinking it wouldn't be a terrible idea if we invited him to participate in our little training session. His name? Now, Spirit! <laughs> Hands down, he's the strongest and closest to being a Yokozuna. And don't forget who his brother is. The Ozaki Daikesho. He pushed Hinamaru to the edge with one hit! How's this happening? And here of all places. I figured that'd be enough to finish you. Not bad. <laughs> that thrust is insane! If it lands, it'll take my head off! It's him! Reputed to be the best high school sumo. Besides those strikes, he has an Ozaki for an older brother. National treasure, Odenta Mitsuyo, AKA Tenma Hikage. Enough, Hinomaru! Now's not the time to try and show off your strength! You're wrong! It's not about me! Just the opposite! I want to see what this guy's got! It's not just Tenoji and Kuzi I need to defeat. I need to see how far my strength will take me at the finals! And you're the standard of comparison! Odenta! He's got him! Do it! If I'm going to the finals, I need maximum strength! 100,000 demons! <sighs> What's this sinking feeling? Come to think of it, why do you let me grab him so easily? Is it a trap? If I throw him, Will I lose? What's wrong? I'm waiting to see your throw, Onimaru. Tenma! You idiot! I found you! Who do you think you are, competing in a bout when you didn't finish cleaning the hall? Being a national treasure's gone to your head. Uh-huh. I can understand why you would be thinking that. If I hadn't already cleaned the hall, Captain! Maybe he'll listen to you instead. I tried, but there's no one home. 
Looks like one of our club members has been going around starting trouble again. I realize you two were in the middle of a bout, but you'll have to excuse us. Don't worry, you can finish your fight during the finals and get the chance to use that triple combo. What the? What do you mean? He made it sound as if they were anticipating the combo. Ikage's stance was clearly inviting a throw. It's been less than a week since the inner high. Did they already learn how to counter it? So you've gotten the chance to meet Onimaru in the flesh. What's your first impression? He's more cowardly than I thought. Too bad. But who can blame him? No one's anxious to watch their technique get ripped apart. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> you didn't expect us to let a bunch of high schoolers beat us that easily, did you? Huh? We, we thank, thank you for your hard work! Hey, Ushio. Uh, um, where are we going, Sainoyama? You're looking dejected. Does it have anything to do with you hitting another wall? It'll be okay. The only thing I can do is accept the fact my greatest weapon won't bail me out during the finals tournament. It's getting to me a little, to be honest. What are you talking about? The greatest weapon you possess is a heart that refuses to give up. <sighs> there's a reason the Master invited you to Nagoya. He believes there's something here that will help you smash through that wall of yours. The Suzugatake faction, which our stable belongs to. More important, it represents what you desire the most. An ordeal that will make you stronger. We can see the whole sumo ring from here. Let's set up the camera. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, you and I are officially creepers. He gave specific instructions. Your assignment is to follow those two and record their training using this. So how come those wrestlers are training separately? It's almost like they think they're better or something. They are. Everyone in there has a white Mawashi belt, meaning they're all Sekitori. The Sekitori are Jurio-ranked sumo wrestlers and higher. They're considered the elite, even among the pros. Gah, you're like an encyclopedia. Didn't you only recently get interested in sumo? I did some research after joining the club. Uh, I'm their manager, after all. I have to prove I'm useful. Thank you all for your hard work! <laughs> I take it you're the national treasure. The one Master Shibakiyama keeps talking about. I'm Hinomaru Ushio! Thank you for having me! Yeah, yeah. Spare us the gratitude. What are you doing here? Isn't this a critical time for us to prep for the upcoming Nagia tournament? I thought we came here to get some quality training in before the contest started. And now we have to babysit? Yeah. I don't remember agreeing to this. <clears throat> in professional sumo, rank is everything. Even if you are some big shot kid with a promising future, in this tent, that means absolutely nothing. <laughs> you don't even have a rank. To us, you're on the level of a worm or lower. Well, I doubt they'll be very welcoming. Huh? You didn't get their approval? The Sekitori are a proud bunch, but for a legitimate reason. They got to where they are now because they fought hard for it. You can't become one if you don't have pride. The sumo ring is sacred ground where the only thing that matters is the wrestler's current rank. I led him to the straw bale. Whether he steps inside is up to him. Entering and finding something to grasp onto, that all depends on Hinamaru's determination. Not going to bail him out, Sai? <laughs> He'd thank you for it later. I assure you nothing will make him leave. And I won't apologize for bringing a bona fide sumo wrestler to you. Well, if I'm such an eyesore to all of you, then just push me out of the ring. Ranks everything, huh? Fine, so be it. All I need to do is prove I'm worthy to be your training partner. How about you be the judge? Decide right now what my rank should be. Hmm. He's lost his mind. That guy looks super tough. Yes, his name's Mionishiki, a Megashira. 
Which means he's a higher ranked sumo than Sinoyama. Oh wow, really? He's in trouble. Ushio's never managed to defeat Sinoyama before. <laughs> he's an eighth ranked Maigashira. Can I defeat him? Focus! I need to give this all I've got! If I don't, I'll regret it! No more disappointment! A spider stance? What a child. Come. Spirit! Well, he's hanging on, so that's something. I keep having flashbacks to my bout with Hikage. Why'd I stop myself mid-move? I was afraid, scared of losing everything I've accomplished up until now, even though it's practically nothing. No, kill your fear. If I want this technique to be successful, I have to put my life on the line. Do not fear death. Step forward. Everything my body and spirit have to give needs to go into this. 100,000 demon drop. <laughs> Did that really just happen? Uh, hell yeah! It's not dead. The hundred thousand demon drop is still alive. How do you like my junior apprentice? Slightly more intimidating than a worm, wouldn't you say? So that's him. <laughs> the boy Kariyama's been going on about. No one can deny he's one interesting kid. I just threw a Makuuchi sumo wrestler. Which means that sinking feeling I had from my bout earlier was only in my head. It isn't real. But the power of the hundred thousand demon drop is, I can use the technique against Hikage. After watching you, I admit, you have quite a unique style. What do you say we fight next? No, me. You can wait. If he wanted their attention, he's got it now. Was I imagining it? Or were they all staring at me? Despite my doubts, it looks like he's earned the right to train with us. He has, and yet, he's only made it to the starting line. And now, welcome to the ultimate ordeal. <laughs> Close. How about we just say we hit the ground at the same time? Man, incredible technique. What's going on? Did I make a mistake? Hey, I'm next up. <laughs> Spirit! This technique's a triple combo that's all or nothing. If it's not done exactly right, I lose. And done! I guess that's that. Wait, let's go again. One more time, please. It won't matter, but if you want. He lost. Again? So was his first win only a fluke? Damn it! I think I had the right timing there. You don't want a rematch, do ya? <clears throat> Mionishiki. <clears throat> this is the same exact feeling I got when I was fighting Hikage. Like I'm sinking. Ignore it! There! So long! Even Mionishiki defeated him. Now you know the truth about your move. Sure, you caught me unaware during our first bout because I'd never seen a technique like that used before. Should be pretty obvious it's got more than its fair share of weaknesses. We Sekitori spend our days analyzing moves and having our own dissected. We can't be fooled twice. Thanks for the amusing distraction, but it's time for us to get back to training. Yeah! yeah. Having his move predicted like that must be humbling. He didn't do half bad considering he fought against elite sumo wrestlers. It's not like a high schooler could size up his moves that quick. While it's true professionals have spent years learning to counter various techniques, even a move they've only seen once. What if a technique happens to be recorded and analyzed over and over again? It's entirely possible the exact same thing could happen during the finals. My spirit and body have reached their limits. My secret weapon's been defeated. Does this mean I can't get any stronger? So he really can't become a Yokozuna then? I mean, his body, spirit, and technique have all peaked. <laughs> Shows how much you know. 
techniques developed, an individual can spend their entire lifetime refining a skill. There is no end point, young lady. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Remember what Sanoyama said to you, idiot! I can't give up. Think for a minute. There must be something I can learn from the Ozuki while I'm here. Show me your face. You've got as much life in you as a worm, but that'll do. Hasegawa! Huh? I don't go by that name anymore. <clears throat> I'm going to borrow this little demon for a while. What? Thank you for your hard work! Oh, you're way too loud. What's he doing here? Did Master Shibakiyama send him? The Sekitori are acting strange. Is this old geezer important? What are you waiting for? Huh? You should go with him. I wish you and I could swap places. I'm actually envious. Uh -huh. Oh. Huh? One of the girls can come too. You. The sassy one. Let's go. What? You mean me? Excuse me, sir, but where are we going? You'll protect me if this guy turns out to be a weirdo. Look, I don't know what's going on, but I don't have a lot of time to waste while I'm in Nagoya. I was planning on staying in the tent and training with the Ozuki. We've arrived. <gasps> this place is a mansion. Who exactly are you? Open it. <coughs> it's dusty. You want to train with the Ozuki? What's so great about them? None of them are champions. <sighs> But if you insist, I'll let you decide. I'm a nice guy, after all. You can either go back to the tent and train with the others, or if you prefer, you can be instructed by a former Yokozuna instead. That's a big deal, right? We'll hone that technique of yours until it finally becomes an actual weapon, you idiot. Hundred thousand demon drop. You'll make it a real weapon? Well, yes or no. Do you want to train under a former Yokozuna or not? Decide! <gasps> I'd be honored to train with you! <laughs> How long will you be in Nagoya? For one week. Alright, then the two of you will be spending that entire week here with me. Huh? I get why you want him here, but why do I have to stay too? Before I take you on as my apprentice, there's one thing you must promise me. Both you and the young lady. Uh... You will do exactly what I say and without complaint. And you will never ask me to explain myself. Do we have a deal? Who's that man who took Ushio and Reina away? Hmm? Judging by your reaction when he showed up, I'm guessing he must be somebody pretty important. Important's a serious understatement. Can't say I'm surprised Ushio didn't recognize him considering how much he's aged. That man is a former Yokozuna by the name of Shunkai. He was not only a skilled wrestler, but also a great trainer. Two of the athletes he coached attained the rank of Yokozuna. <laughs> he trained two Yokozuna? Well, I gotta say, I didn't see that one coming. From what I heard, he quit the association and walked away from Sumo. Think the kid'll be okay? If the rumors about the old man are true, I wouldn't last three days. Same, Same here. here. <laughs> Thanks for all your hard work. <laughs> hey, look who finally showed up. He's a lot different than that half-pint national treasure. This guy's even taller than the Sekatori. One glance and you know he's the real deal. I appreciate the invitation. Too bad for Ushio. I see why he's in such a rush to improve. But now he's training with a former Yokozuna. Even the Sekitori were intimidated by him. What terrifying trials will he face? <sighs> no way we'll be able to pull this off! We don't have a choice now! Our training started and we gotta see it through! <gasps> Excuse me! Pardon me! So sorry! Make some room! Ridiculous! Please, what the hell kind of training is this? The first task of your apprenticeship is to go fetch us some food. Huh? I'm hungry for curry. You have exactly 30 minutes to serve up enough for all three of us. Yes, sir! No way! 
can't make curry on that kind of budget, and with a half-hour time limit? He told us using our heads was part of the training, so there's got to be a way. You made me wait that long for this garbage? Yes. My apologies, sir. No toppings. And you missed your deadline. You'll have to do better than that. <sighs> Walk his dog, water his flowers, do his damn laundry. Where's the actual sumo? We've been stuck doing chores all day long. Well, it's all part of the training. <sighs> Still not done? What have you been doing? Twiddling your thumbs? I I'm sorry, Master. Whatever. Just get the area around the sumo ring ready for use. Huh? What? Why are you looking at me like that? Don't you want to practice? Yeah! Thank you, sir! It's about time. <sighs> thank you for all your hard work. Hello. Sorry for dragging you out here. <gasps> Gonryu! The fifth-ranked West Maigashira! Your training partner for today. Now show him your triple combo. Yes, sir! See? Interesting move, don't you think, Sekitori? Mm. Okay, little demon. Sir? Use your triple combo to win a bout. You may not use any other technique to win. Uh, right. Uh. That's all you've got? No advice or anything? <laughs> he knows the element of surprise is gone once the other guy's seen it. This is no different from the practice session earlier. You've been at it for 15 minutes. That's enough for today. Uh, what? It's over? Damn it! Here are your bags. Well, how's training going so far? Like you can even call it training? The geezer is crazy! He offered to help, but all we've been doing is menial labor. I say we just call it quits and head back to the rest of the team. This was only my first day. I can't back out now. If I gave up like that, I'd leave with nothing but regrets. Keep an eye on him for me. Huh? There's only so much I can do. Master Shunkai sure lived up to the rumors. Don't know how he roped that kid into training with him, but I feel sorry for the guy. He's making him do all these ridiculous things just so he can enjoy the spectacle. <laughs> Supposedly, he turned two wrestlers into Yokozuna, but I'm betting it had more to do with their natural ability. I mean, there were plenty of others he trained who couldn't deal with his stupid stunts and abandoned ship. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Now there's this kid. You'd think the poor sap would have realized what's going on. And what's with that technique of his? We're not doing gymnastics here. He's so desperate it's laughable. Uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have spoken that way about you, sir. I don't care what you say about me. But you better make sure I don't catch you laughing at that boy! <clears throat> because you two have been blessed with larger frames, you'll never understand. Think about it. There's only so much the boy can do with that small body of his. He needs that technique! Do you still think this situation's funny? He's giving his all! Never laugh at that! Now he expects us to make an eight veggie stir-fry with a hundred yen? Yeah, right, not at these prices. I wonder if this coin's supposed to represent me, and the veggie stir-fry is my goal. Learning how to wield the hundred thousand demon drop. Like a riddle of some kind. Huh? Well, whatever the case, I'm gonna put my faith in him. I've decided I'm seeing this through, even if he asks me for the impossible! Uh, oh, come on! Seems pretty plain to me. That looks like a three veggie stir-fry. What happened to the other five? We failed. I'm sorry, Master. You should at least try it, though. It tastes a lot better than the curry did. What makes you think how it tastes is important? Uh -huh. What was the task again? Produce an eight veggie stir fry with 100 yen in 30 minutes. You didn't do so. <clears throat> I can tell something's bothering you, young lady. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, out with it. Go on. Is doing this stuff really gonna help him? I would think it would be more effective just to tell him what to do. True, spelling it out is the easy option. And he'd even feel like he understood for a while. But gaining knowledge in that way is a fleeting triumph. The significance of it doesn't sink in. I realize this seems like a roundabout way of doing things to you, but thinking on your feet and working toward an end goal becomes a technique in itself that allows you to survive. <laughs> huh? 
Just one more bout, please. Sainoyama, sir. I think it's time for us to take a breather and get cleaned up a bit. We're not the only people who want to use the ring. There's no point worrying about the others. It won't make us any stronger. If that's the case, there's someone else you should probably ask. He'd make a better opponent for you. Your brother, the Ozaki Daikesho. I don't want to fight him. Why? Do you hate him? I wouldn't say that. I have respect for him. He hasn't ended a season with a losing record yet. He's a talented Ozeki. Still, he's reached his professional limit. The strength of the Yokozuna has broken him. He knows everyone was expecting him to reach the top, but he's given up on that dream. I find it disgusting. That's where we differ. I'll live up to any and all expectations. Is that right? I'll surpass Tanoji and Kusei. My own brother, too. I'll take his place and be the strongest Yokozuna. What's that shrimp up to now? I thought he'd be back here annoying us. Last I heard, he was still training with Shunkai, working around the clock to improve that technique he was showing off. Did he say Shunkai? As in the former Yokozuna? <sighs> you seem well informed. Tell me everything you know. <sighs> <sighs> Another day of indentured servitude. It's not all bad. Check out this bath. The Yokozuna must be loaded. So how come he's only able to cough up a hundred yen to buy food? You'd think he could spend more. That's quite the monologue. <gasps> you eavesdropping old pervert! Go away! I live here, so I think I'll go wherever I want, young lady. I must say, you're working a great deal harder than I expected you would. Well, it's not as if I can just give up and leave, or he wouldn't be able to practice with you anymore. You've taken a real liking to him. <sighs> what? Don't be stupid! It's not like that at all! Yes, I have to. His sumo style inspires people. Oh, he was just talking about sumo. I suspect you don't have a natural affinity for our sport, do you? Well... Yet you want to see him succeed in the ring. No one can blame you. Compared to other wrestlers, his fighting style has a certain simplistic charm to it you just don't ever see in professional sumo. Watching him throw someone to the ground who's twice his size, that would get even a dead man's blood pumping. I think the reason we're both so willing to help him is because we're right there beside him, wanting the dream to be real. Yeah, sure, I want to help him out and stuff, but it's not like I'm really contributing. That isn't true. Huh? You're here, aren't you? Let's not mince words. The kid's got a thick skull. I thought the two of you would compliment each other nicely since you seem to have a decent head on your shoulders. That's why I asked you to stay here in the first place. Similar to how he's inspired and influenced you, I was hoping you'd be able to rub off on him as well. Don't tell me the Master sent you on an errand this late. I was on the phone with Kirihito. Look at this! To get ready for tomorrow... I went out and picked up every last sales flyer I could get my hands on. Oh, wow. I usually just pull up deals on my phone, like this. Oh, you mean there's an easier way to do it? You're incredible! And you're out of touch. It may come as a shock to you, but the world's a bigger place than you think. Also, you don't have to use a payphone. I would have let you borrow mine. What I'm saying is you can ask me for help, you know? I mean, it's kind of my job, since I am your manager. <laughs> Huh? Whoa! Slow down! Reyna, you are a genius! Yeah... Aren't you going to help him today? You have a hundred yen and a half an hour to serve tempura over rice. Nah... It seemed like he was confident. Hmm? Huh? Thank you for all your hard work. <sighs> Did you need something? As a master, you successfully trained two Yokozunas. But perhaps more importantly, you have the distinct honor of being one yourself. That's why I sought you out, Shunkai. To teach me. Mm hmm Guess what? I... Uh, Tenma Hikage! What are you doing here? Go away. This has nothing to do with you, Onimaru. Do you know this mountain? He just stormed in. We had an unofficial bout the other day. Hikage, sure. I'm well aware of who you are. You're the little brother of the Ozaki Daikesho, aren't you? Then you must already know about my dubious reputation. 
It appears that the closer to the top a sumo is, the more poisonous things they have to say about me. I don't give a crap about rumors. If I don't think your training is worth my time, there's a simple solution. I'll pick up and leave. Hmm. Okay, hang on just a minute. You want to train under him? Then take a number. If he's smart, then he'll drop this runty loser and make me his student instead. What? <clears throat> Listen up, young man. That's not how you go about asking to become an apprentice. Remember, I'm the one who ultimately decides if you're worth training or not. Obviously. It's up to the apprentice to win his master's favor. I'll show you who's more deserving of your instruction. Me or Onimaru. The only problem we may have is this coward. He might be too afraid to accept my challenge. Ready when you are. Not so fast! <laughs> Idiot! What are you doing? I agree to take you in and this is how you repay me? You haven't perfected your triple combo technique. Go ahead and accept his challenge if you wish. But be warned, I'll kick you out. Then permit me to fight, sir. Hmm? We were going to eventually. I'll admit, when we had our first bout, I was intimidated by him. But I need to bury the old me. Just as I trusted and followed you, I'm asking you to place your faith in me, Master. I'll win this by using the 100,000 Demon Drop. Hmm. <laughs> Win me over, huh? He's more than two meters tall. Long arms, broad shoulders. His torso slightly compact, otherwise he's the perfect build. He does evoke a different kind of excitement than the little demon. Excuse me, Master. Huh? If Hinomaru fights, do we really have to leave? Don't ask me. That's just something I made up. Either way, if you don't talk a big game, you'll never get anywhere near the level of Yokozuna. Spirit! <sighs> His power's incredible! In this modern era of sumo sizes everything, you'll never have a career in the ring! Taking a step back from sumo has helped me notice some things. It's not just my right elbow. Now that I'm well rested, my whole body is overflowing with power! <sighs> Despite the little demon's physique, his body has a rigidity to it. He's full of surprises. Nice! Getting close! Uh, the last time I let you grab my belt so I could see your triple combo. But I won't be toying with you this time, Onimaru! It takes real skill to strike a target that low and minuscule with such intensity. Hey now! Forget landing the 100,000 demon drop. He's nowhere close to grabbing his belt. So you want to head back? Don't underestimate me! You're mistaken if you think I'm some pushover, Odenta! Don't forget! I fought another national treasure, Mikazuki Munachika, and grabbed his untouchable belt! He's got it! Now, show it to me. The answer you've come up with. Our ridiculous difference in height allows him to execute a shoulder throw while holding my Mawashi belt. It's a fearsome technique. But the third contact point makes it a double-edged sword. All I have to do is avoid the leg sweep. Your triple combo <laughs> dies today! I'll drive you into the ground! What? The hell? He lifted me up! Reverse hundred demon throw! Damn you! How dare you mock me! Uh. Yeah, maybe I got cocky because of the power of the technique. The hundred thousand demon drop is difficult. But if I can pull it off, I win. That way of thinking made my sumo predictable. That's right. There are plenty of ways to initiate the 100,000 Demon Drop! I can't get out of this stance! Before executing the technique, first you must set up your opponent. Even when they know it's coming, they can't counter it if they're off balance. Now that you're seeing the big picture, there's no limit to the ways you can initiate the move. As the name suggests, it becomes an army of a hundred thousand demons. His sumo style inspires people. Watching him throw someone to the ground who's twice his size would get a dead man's blood pumping. Hundred thousand demons rock! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. 
truly splendid. It appears you've discovered the secret to unlocking your move. Yep. And based on that, I suppose you finally managed to solve the food riddle as well. Yes, sir. The challenge was to take a hundred yen and come back with tempura over rice. You never said that I had to make it. All it took me was one phone call. Hello? Got your takeout courtesy of Tenemon. You wouldn't mind picking up the tab, <laughs> right, sir? I've only got one thing to say to you, little demon. You've passed with flying colors. Well done, Hidamaru. You know, we've done your laundry, so we might as well welcome your guest. This is someone who deserves the utmost respect. Huh? I'm amazed. I didn't expect you to stick with my old-fashioned training methods. It's only right that I reward you for it. I asked him to make the trip out here so Hinamaru can have one, and only one, bout with him. Oh, wow. I mean, even I know who that is. Yes, a current Yokozuna. A man at the apex of the professional sumo world. Man, you didn't even last five seconds. The bout was over before I had time to process what was happening. I can't remember anything I did or how I ended up down here. <laughs> as long as you're happy, weirdo. I mean, I just witnessed the power of a Yokozuna. You know, I feel sort of guilty. I'm the only one having these great experiences. Huh? I've practiced with a Shibaki on the stable, trained with a former Yokozuna, and just had a surprise bout with a current one. Being this blessed scares me to death. I can't help but feel something bad's about to happen. So he's blessed. There's nothing wrong with that. Hmm? Since he was shortchanged in physique, he could be rich in circumstance instead. When you reflect on all that's happened, do you actually feel like you've been blessed? Uh, yes, sir, I do. That's good to hear, because I agree. You're going to help me dream a good dream. Sir! But this summer, I'm focusing my energy on one thing, high school sumo! His confidence is being sucked down the drain, and whatever energy he had the first day is completely used up. Fighting against the pros must have overwhelmed him. It's without fail. Every time the captain feels intimidated, he tenses up and can't unleash his full strength. The finals are going to be a real challenge for him. I need to come up with a way to boost his confidence. Not only in the ring, but everyday life too. Hmm. Captain! You and I are going somewhere after training today. Huh? Hope you're ready! Suriko, you do that thing I asked you to? My name's Chizuko. Out of curiosity, just where exactly are the three of us headed to? Huh? Uh, I'm confused. This uh, one's yours, Captain. You want to be confident, right? Well, I got a surefire way, brother. Huh? I was planning on heading over by myself, but then I thought I can do some scouting and build your confidence at the same time! Kill two stones with one rock! You mean two birds with one stone. Wait, scouting? No, don't tell me! Alright, listen up, you punks! We're here to kick butt, you're welcome! <laughs> Okay, one more! Gojo's on a regimen his karate instructor set up for him, and Mitsuhashi's doing strength training. Good to see they're so motivated after our group session. I'm sure they value the opportunity to spend time with the pros, but thankfully they're hungry to keep improving as individuals. They may not know it, but losing at the prelims had a positive influence and will ultimately make their team better. They realized where they needed to improve. I hope those other two are staying just as busy. I'm pretty sure they're sorry for their actions and won't make the same mistake again. Ha 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 ha! For real, though. I know we're intimidating, but I never thought you'd call the police on us. Hey! What would you do? 
A pack of luchadors shows up on our doorstep acting like they're gonna wreck the joint, of course we're gonna call the cops! Another thing, isn't that the same mask El Ultimo always wears during mixed martial arts bouts? Hell yeah, he does. Nice. I didn't know Adachi had a female manager. Girl, you know you're a straight-up hottie with or without the mask. How about you drop me those digits? Cool it, ladies' man. Wanna lose your phone? He said we were here to scout. So why do we walk through the front door in these stupid masks? This is Kanesawa Kita High School. They always make an impact at the inner high. Even came in third in last year's finals. They're a sumo powerhouse! What do you say, Captain Aizawa? Hmm? We probably got time to spar with him for a little while. It'll be a good chance to show this chick my moves. Besides, since Onimaru beat Tenma, I'd say payback's in order. <clears throat> Absolutely not. Our team's here in Nagia for one reason, to get stronger. Sure, we could practice with a weaker school and actually help them improve, but what's in it for us? Weaker? <clears throat> Do me a favor. Tell Onimaru we're thrilled with all the success he's had. There's no greater motivator than being on the losing side. He's made Tenma want to become an even stronger wrestler. And don't worry, I won't tell anyone about this little intrusion. I'd prefer to beat you in the ring, rather than get your school suspended. Yeah, yeah. So what do we do, Captain? Huh? We, uh... Let's see. Since we're already here, why don't we have one bout? Maybe we could do some light sparring or something like that? <sighs> Listen, guys. We're training to be the best team at finals. We don't have time for light sparring with a second-rate school. There's no comparison. Our club has a rich history of champions. Whereas you... Well, you're a team of nobodies who made it this far off beginner's luck. I didn't expect us to walk out of there without saying anything. Kunisaki usually bites back, and even he was quiet. He called us nobodies. <laughs> hmm? Know what? I really can't take that lying down. <clears throat> I'm sorry! Go ahead without me, you guys! <laughs> <laughs> Guess it worked out anyway. <laughs> Their captain was dead right. Kita High's prestigious and crap, while well, we got practically zero history. The thing is... The captain founded the Dachi High Sumo Club, and he's not gonna let anyone assault our history no matter how short it is! You go and tell him who we are! Nobody can argue Kita High's got an illustrious past. But to say we're nothing, I refuse to let that stand. They have no idea what it's like to start a team from the ground up. We are its history! Two lonely years before I even found my teammates. And then at our first competition, we beat Ishigami by working together. And he has the nerve to say our team is nothing? No way I'll let that slide. <sighs> You're back. Forget something? Yeah. Actually, I had something important I needed to tell you. Kanazawa Kida isn't going to win this year, so don't get your hopes up. <sighs> Because Dachi High's sumo team is way stronger than yours! You'll find out for yourselves after we win at the finals! Um, uh, what I meant to say was... Don't look down on our school. And that's it. Thanks a bunch for listening! Guess I crossed the line again and said more than I should've. The captain's got more determination than anybody you'll ever meet. Plus, we're a team of badasses. Why would he keep quiet about us winning? He's not the only one. All of us believe it. We're the best club around. Yep. We're gonna emerge victorious. End of story. You got the wrong idea about us. You think we're looking down on you. But we've studied Onimaro. And the momentum that took you past Ishii. You don't know how carefully. Steal yourself, cause there's no going back. You said it, so now it's out there. I'm gonna make Dachi High national champions! Yes! Don't stop pushing! <laughs> nice work out there. Now, keep that flow in mind. Thank you for everything! You know what? You're lucky, Kay. Do you think just anyone gets a chance to actually spar with Master Shibakiyama? To be honest, I'm a little bit envious.
Well, I needed the exercise, and it was nice to be reminded I can still hold my own against high school students who are less than half my age. It was incredible, and your teaching's top-notch. The instructions are precise and easy to understand, nothing like coaches. <laughs> His explanations are so rigid and kind of rude, but I imagine he's got a lot to learn. Hey now, don't go comparing me to the master. <laughs> Experience comes with age. You may only be a first year, but you're on the right path. I hope. I've got a lot to learn, but I'm trying my best here, damn it. Cut me a little slack. <laughs> Don't beat yourself up over it. Sure, the whole teaching thing is new to you, but think about this. Who's the one who thought to put Dachi Hai in touch with the Shibakiyama stable? And as you can see for yourself, since I started training under you, I've been making major gains. Yeah. I can tell. You've been working incredibly hard. But I'm not the only one. We're all grateful for you. Thank you for your hard work. Huh? On behalf of the team, we're grateful. Hey, what are you trying to do, jinx us or something? Idiot. If you're gonna thank me, wait until we win. We still got a ton of fights ahead of us. Excuse me, Master? Hmm? Can we keep training just for a little while longer? Before we stop, I'd like you to spar with him. Huh? Me? What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, look. Don't even start. Is this because I said I was envious? You know about my condition. For real, I can only last 20 seconds. Any longer, I'm toast. Yeah, the whole team knows that. But still, that's 20 seconds you can fight. <gasps> Something's been bugging me for a while. Back during the prelims, why didn't you put yourself down as a reserve? Even in our own dojo, you haven't done any sumo since you fought Hinomaru. Why is that? Oh. As your instructor, that's what I had to sacrifice. Not listing myself as a team member shows you how determined I am. I made a promise. Coaching you would be priority one. I know. But even so, you still miss fighting, don't you? <gasps> I saw the intense look in your eye when you watched the captain at Hinomaru. That clenched fist. Was that really just how it felt as an instructor? That's enough! What's this about? Why are you trying to drag me back into the ring? Because I'm warning you, Kay. You better not be chickening out and asking me to take your place. You're acting like you don't know how I feel. I won't deny I missed the sumo ring. But so what? That's got nothing to do with the team. How can you say that? Of course it concerns us all. You may have different goals than the rest of us, but the important thing is that we all love sumo. I want to respect your decision to be an instructor and everything, but I just don't think this is right. Why do you have to give up so much for us? <laughs> you don't have to carry this weight alone. Nobody wants you to miss out on something you love just for us. I mean, geez, it's not as if we're that unreliable. <clears throat> and I swear I'm not saying this out of pity. Look what happened to Hinamaru. Any one of us could get injured. What I mean is, if we had a sixth wrestler we could rely on, everyone would feel a whole lot better. <gasps> and obviously I don't want to give up my spot, so you better believe I'm gonna fight to hold on to it. Now let's all buckle down, work as a team, and give it our best. I... I don't... Suji, come here for a second. Huh? Oh no, not right now. I don't have my belt on or anything. Don't worry about that. It's not like I allow just anybody to spar with me, so let's go before I change my mind. <laughs> Damn it all! I can't refuse an offer like that! Spirit! <laughs> Whoa! How can a middle-aged man headbutt this hard? Uh oh I'm so nervous, my breathing's off. At this rate, I won't even last 20 seconds. You know how I am, and you're still convinced that I can fight? Guys! Thanks a lot!
Master, are you okay? <laughs> Looks like I need to get Sinoyama to take you on next time. You're still a first year. You've got lots of time to try things out before you decide what you want. But I'd be hard pressed to believe you're not doing anything. You're in pretty good shape. I've just been doing <laughs> enough to maintain my muscle mass. Is that so? Now I can see why these guys are so determined. Yeah, Kirihito is way strong. No, oh, stop it. Our best formation. I don't know how much use I'll be on the team, but even as a trainer, I'll do all I can to lead us to victory at the finals. <laughs> <laughs> that week really flew right by, didn't it? You sure you want to head back now? Why don't you stick around and watch the tournament? We need to put all the lessons we learned to good use, and the only way is to continue with training. Hmm. You have a point there. You fight your battles, and us pros will worry about our own. Right! right. Okay, I'm gonna head straight over to the Karate Dojo when we get home. Meanwhile, we'll go to the school and train. I want to see what Hinomaru's learned from the trip. Before we do that, though, huh? I want to see that video again. The one of Totori. It's important for me to watch it. Over and over until my opponent's face is seared in my mind. If I'm going to face Tanoji head on, then I can't look away. Mm -hmm. You got it. Where'd Kunisaki and the captain run off to? I saw them both leave the train already. They must have had other things to do. That's fine. We all need time to figure out what areas we're lacking in. That's the only way we can become stronger. Is he doing sumo? What a total weirdo. I'm guessing he must have lost a bet. <clears throat> Mommy, what's that guy doing? Look away, honey. <sighs> this is really embarrassing. But if I could stay calm through this, then I'll be better for it. What I need more than anything is confidence. And I'm gonna find some! Hey, Captain, what's up? Yeah, it's feeling a lot better now. As it turns out, there was nothing wrong with the actual bone. Makes me wish I hadn't missed out on the individual contest. <laughs> I'm kidding! Take a chill pill. Anyway, I should be back in training tomorrow. See you then. What do you say we hit the sumo ring today instead, Mikazuki Munuchika? That's the best pitch I could come up with. I'm asking, will you please help me train? <sighs> you guys realize I'm not the captain anymore, right? Okay, back to practice. Yes, yes sir. sir! Hey, Captain Mamiya, how's it going? Oh, oh, Sonata, what are you doing around here? Check the TV. You need to see something. If you really want to remember Tanoji's face, this should help. <laughs> the hype for high school sumo is reaching a fever pitch. On today's segment, I'll be taking a trip and visiting the powerhouse that's favored to win the Inter-High a record seven times in a row, <laughs> Tochiri Hakuro High School. The Tochiri Hakuro Sumo Club is famous for being a place where Mongolian exchange students are trained side by side with Japanese wrestlers. They've produced many talented athletes, but perhaps the most notable one is today's strongest Yokozuna, Gino. In fact, he recently visited his alma mater in order to train with current members of the team. What? He only trained with Shorty for like a few seconds. But Yokozuna Gino's attention was specifically focused on cultivating the talents of the school's most promising high school sumo wrestler, Doji Kiri Yasutsuna, AKA Shido Tenoji. Hello, I'm Team Captain Tenoji. You're a tall one. Are you sure you're in high school? Believe me, there'll be plenty of people my size at the finals. I'm the favorite to win my third individual title this year, but it won't be easy. The competition's fierce. Come on, he's giving the most boring answers I've ever heard. You're so modest. But you've won every official match you've contested since entering high school, so what would you say is the secret to your incredible success? Secret? Let's see. I honestly don't feel there's anything particularly special I'd do. I'm not the son of a Yokozuna, or an Ozuki's brother. If anything, maybe it's because I have a greater love for sumo than anyone else does. There's nothing in my life I'm more passionate about. As a result, I seem to train harder than everyone else. That's how I ended up being the strongest. <sighs> yep. 
He's openly challenging the other high schoolers. His humility is genuine, but underneath that dignified facade is a demon. I see. Tenoji may just be a high school athlete on the outside, but inside he has the unmistakable spirit of a Yokozuna. Just our luck. Of all the eras, we're forced to compete against a prodigy. No, you've got it all wrong. Huh? If it weren't for Tenoji always being at the front of the herd, then everyone who's chasing after him wouldn't have become nearly as strong as they are now. I definitely wouldn't be where I am without him, so I'm grateful. That said, I'm still gonna take him down and become the best high school sumo wrestler there is! Get ready, finals. I'm bringing everything I've got. Are you watching? I've come a long way already. I just know I'll win the Inter High. seen this place since elementary school. Looks like we finally made it. I can't believe we get to do sumo here. Hell yeah. I'm all fired up. Don't let the nerves get you. All you have to do is wrestle exactly the way we practiced. You got it, coach. Guys, let's show them the strength of the Dachi High Sumo Club and go win this thing. Yeah! Watching? I've come a long way already. I just know I'll win the Inter High. That's three, which means he's won enough individual bouts now to qualify. He's in top form today, as expected. So, Onimaru's back, huh? Seems he really did invest three years into training. His patience is admirable. But he won't beat me as long as he has that look on his face. Then again, he's not the only one aiming to. Time to meet my challengers in the ring and defend my title. On the west side, Hayashi. On the east side, Tenochi. Decided. East side wins. Huh. I'm going to enjoy putting an end to Hakuro's reign. What do you think? Can you beat him, Sosuke? If I had any doubt, I wouldn't be here. 
Shido Tanoji, from Totori Hakuro, the reigning champ of high school sumo. I didn't think we'd draw him this early on in the competition. It's a tough match right out of the gate. You make it out to sound like a bad thing, but it suits me just fine. The whole reason I'm here is to upset the odds and do the impossible. I'll bring down Tenoji and show everyone what I already know. That there's another incredible fighter here today! What do I think of Ushio? He's got strength. And I have nothing but admiration for the guy making it this far, considering the body he was stuck with. Looking at me now, you would have never guessed. But I used to be quite small myself. I'm the only one in my family who isn't. I'm truly thankful to the sumo gods for blessing me with this physique. Ready! Hinamaru! I know there's no reason to tell you this, and you already know it, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Win this! Go out there and become the high school Yokozuna! I will. This is it. Your admission to the Pro League is on the line. Tenoji's someone I've always had immense respect for. He was both the middle and high school Yokozuna. I get to fight someone who's already walked down the path I'm traveling. On the east side, Ushio. On the west side, Tenoji. Today, I defeat the champion and take the crown. Their spirits are so intense you can feel them on the second floor. When I imagine what it's like in the ring, it sends chills down my spine. He truly is the Yokozuna of this space. An opponent with even the slightest bit of uncertainty would be engulfed by his aura and unable to fight to their full ability. However, that's only true for the weak-spirited. With the confidence and resolve Hinomaru's been steadily building for this day, he can take on even a Yokozuna. struck him despite his low stance and speed? He's fast. Went from a wild forearm charge to a precise grapple like it was nothing. No surprise. The boss built up momentum from the get-go. It's the captain's first time fighting someone so short. But he didn't hesitate for a second. He knew the exact moment to grab his belt. It's not just his stature. His skills equally impressive. Shiro Tenoji. Measuring at 188 centimeters, he's been blessed with size. But in elementary school, he wasn't considered imposing at all. You can't predict when your growth spurt will hit, or to what extent. So he trained in techniques that would help him survive against larger sumos. The road that Hinomaru is on, Tenoji knows all too well. But now, looking back at what he went through, it's almost as if the path he traveled was laid out by the sumo gods to make him the strongest wrestler in history. As though they picked him out of the crowd and said, You enter the ring. <laughs> you should know by now, sumo gods. Whatever ordeal you put me through, I won't stop! Stay out of this! Onimaru has speed on his side, and power too. But that's not all. He can shield his own belt and seize his opponents. He's been the same height for so long, he's perfected the art of blocking grabs. And then counterattacking. You'll never take this away from me! You listening? I love it too much! Sure, he's got the edge! No! Not yet! <gasps> I've studied your moves, Ushio, and I know all about your counterattack. Not only that, I'm aware its main purpose is to get a firm grip with your right hand. The left doesn't matter. So, by sealing off your grab, I can cut your offensive power in half. He's throwing him! And it's working. I see. Trying to create an opening for your right hand. Damn! In that case... Quick as a flash, you'll change it up and go for throat strikes instead. There. There's nothing you can do I haven't predicted. He's not reacting to incoming moves. He's anticipating them before they even happen. Say what you will, but he's done his homework. 
My brother studied every wrestler here. Tsuyoshi Kanamori. He's hard to shift once he buckles down, but he can't react to a fast attack. Even on your time off, you're watching sumo. <laughs> it's my hobby. I enjoy studying all different styles of sumo. Besides, a Yokozuna can still fall to wrestlers who are lower in rank than he is. If I'm prepared, I can't lose. He knows about the pressure of defending a title. That's why he keeps his ego in check and always researches opponents before a match. As a result, he's never lost a bout. Not once his entire time in high school. He's feeling the strain now. Grappling with somebody twice your size can't be easy. <laughs> This guy's not so tough. You're breathing hard. Having a rough time, Ushio? You poor creature. There isn't another sumo wrestler your size out there who can match your talent. But surely you noticed by now. No other sumo wrestler is suffering as intensely as you are. Let's get this over with. It's too painful to watch. He doesn't understand the first thing about Hinomaru. You said that you love Sumo more than anyone else. It's no secret. But I wonder, has anyone ever called you on that statement before? Preparing for this day has been several things. Difficult, painful, discouraging. But whatever I encountered, I never got burnt out on Sumo. Not even once! No one loves it more than me, including you! Onimaru, I can see the flames on your back. A double-handed grip! He's readying the Hundred Thousand Demon Drop! You spent too much time testing the waters, Tenoji. Once Onimaru's in that position, it only means one thing. Trouble. He needs to get him off balance before executing the technique. Fortunately, he's learned there are infinite ways to set up his opponent. Rock him back and forth! Left and right! Don't stop! Not until he loses his balance! Two-handed demon storm! <laughs> Sideways jerk! Yanking him back and forth. He used the same technique in Nagoya. I doubt there's footage of it, though. Before, he'd go straight from that stance into the Hundred Thousand Demon Drop. There's no reason to be scared of one-shot techniques. But if he's willing to use a powerhouse move like that as a setup, one thing's for sure. Even you'll have trouble anticipating what his next plan of attack will be, Tenochi. <laughs> Maybe facing off against him this early on was a good thing. If it had been any later, Ushio would have already showed his hand by now, and wouldn't have been in peak physical condition. He caught me with my guard down several times in the training hall. Once he's in that stance, even a pro would have difficulty escaping. He grabbed on! Damn, brute force! Ah! He's still flinging him around! Go! He doesn't have enough arm strength to stop your twists! Create a bigger whirlpool, and suck Tonoji in! Now's his chance! Finish him! Hundred Demon Takedown! <gasps> There's no way! Inamaru's technique! <gasps> Hundred Demon Takedown! It's weird seeing someone taller than Onimaru using his move. Like it's ten times more powerful than usual. He was biding his time, waiting for an opening. No one but a champ counters one throw with another. So this is your new style of sumo? Impressive. Seems those three difficult years of middle school provided you with more than just pain. Goes to show I don't know everything about this sport, and the fire burning inside those who practice it. Not yet. It isn't over. <laughs> You're even stronger than I imagined, Tenoji. I've always respected your strength. The first time I saw you fight, it was forever seared into my mind. Even though you were small, you were so powerful. I watched your bout over and over to the point I started dreaming about it. 
everyone around me had gotten bigger. Even if I wasn't winning, watching you that day made me feel like a giant. You showed me even guys our size can win. You may have grown, but you're still the fighter I measure myself against. The wrestler at the summit I have to defeat! Incredible. Which makes me want to beat you even more! There's the opening! He's pushing. He was expecting to avoid a throw. And the little demon took advantage of it. I've spent enough time admiring your sumo. I've got one last technique to unbalance you! It was a bluff. Tenoji resisted by moving his weight forward. Now, he can land it! No! No! <sighs> Whoa. He broke free! How could he evade it? He wasn't using all his strength against the push. Tenoji kept some in reserve to counter the next move. Ushio executed a perfect attack. Unfortunately for him, my brother's love for Sumo is more intense. He uncovers all the info he can on potential challengers and pours over it. But that's not his only strategy. He envisions all possible scenarios, every play they'll make, all the ways he could lose to them. Rocking side to side, exchanging blows, then a push followed by his triple combo. That should have meant victory for Ushio. One problem. My brother already anticipated it, and came up with a counter. He's a fearsome adversary. Whenever I imagine my opponents, I build them up to be something larger than life. Usually the worst case scenarios I base my strategies around are unrealistic. Usually. But not with you, Onimaru. Your blade was pressed against my throat. I used to be small, same as you, right up until my first year of middle school. I barely avoided wandering that merciless hell you've lived through these last several years. But you've made it to the other side, and here you stand. I'm in awe of you. The problem is you're wound up too tight. You want to be a Yokozuna, don't you? The absolute best of the best. If that's your goal, try to enjoy bouts a little more. If Sumo's your life, and you love it, then no matter what setbacks you face, there's only one thing you can do. You have to smile! Six-point torso slice! with that look in his eye. One last desperate act? Thought so. I expected nothing less. <laughs> That's what makes you so damn cool! The West Side wins! Tenoji is victorious with an arm lock throw! You've given me plenty to think about, Onimaru. I won't be celebrating this victory. Not out of gratitude or enlightenment, but respect for your style. Since he doesn't meet the minimum height requirements, his only shot at getting into the Pro League was to become a high school Yokozuna here at the Inter High. After that, he could enter the All Japan National Championships. And now that path is closed. It's over. Well, guess I lost. Dude was really strong, wasn't he? <laughs> no use crying over spilt milk. We got the team tournament up next. Just gotta shake it off. Besides, I'm only a first year. There'll be other chances for me to join the Pro League. It won't be the same. Tenoji will have graduated. All the work you put in was so you could beat him. So, for the team matches, what's the order? 
Where's Kirihito? You don't need to fight in the team tournament. <gasps> Captain, why not? Sorry? We talked it over and came to a decision. <laughs> Just as I thought. Were you planning on telling us? <laughs> I'm perfectly fine. This is nothing. Suji's calling for a taxi to come pick you up. Then you're going to the hospital. Did you forget about our promise? We're making Dachi High the best in Japan! Hey! The individual tournament, getting into the Pro League, that was my mountain to climb, but... Dachi High winning. We all dreamed of making that happen. What about you? And Yuma? This is the only year you'll be on the team. Don't take this away. Please let me help. I want to make at least one dream become a reality. I'm sorry. You don't need to apologize. Just get ready for the bouts tomorrow and the day after. <laughs> You're not done, Ushio. Your dream of joining the Pro League isn't over. Not as long as the team tournament's still up for grabs. Huh? Wait, I thought Shorty had to win his match. That was the only way he could become a Yokozuna and get a spot at the Nationals. Well, that's how it usually works. But more than one can earn that title. For the past two years, Tenoji has had so much success, he was the only one given the honor. Before him, though, there were two, sometimes three, who received the mantle. Okay, but at the pace he's been going, he's probably gonna be the only one selected again. Look, sure, we know Shido Tenoji has been unstoppable, but if he had his first defeat, it wouldn't matter if it was during the team tournament. <laughs> yeah, but there's no guarantee it'll work, though. Totori Hakuro might lose to some other school's team before we even draw them. Okay, maybe. Then we'll just take down whichever one beats Tenoji. Anyway, that's the strategy. I know it's got a slim chance of working, but it's the only one we got, so we have to try. The Master knows a good doc. They should get you fixed up in no time. While you're healing, we'll make sure to survive the team competition. You said getting to the professional league was your mountain to climb. But from now on, it's also our dream. You want to be the strongest high school sumo? We'll work to give you another shot at it. Show off. Let us carry some of the weight, too. You can count on it. We got this. Yeah, piece of cake. Let's do it, Ushio. We're going to win again and again and keep winning until those big shots finally take notice and are practically begging you to compete in the nationals. <laughs> Yeah. You don't need to fight in the team tournament. <laughs> Just as I thought. Were you planning on telling us? <laughs> I'm perfectly fine. This is nothing. Suji's calling for a taxi to come pick you up. Then you're going to the hospital. <laughs> you're not done, Ushio. Your dream of joining the Pro League isn't over. Not as long as the team tournament's still up for grabs. It's Shibakiyama! Open up, Doc! I heard ya, I heard ya! Keep it down, will you, Karuchi? You wouldn't believe the savage hangover I've got. Um, I'm not so sure about this. That's impossible. He pushed me out of the ring? It's not like he gave up on using strikes. Tenma's just been practicing, and now he's a grappling master. That concludes today's individual bouts. Team tournament preliminary bouts will begin now. Uh, Hinomaru Ushio, 15 years of age. This dump's worse than my place. Ah, 152 centimeters tall? He's tiny! Big deal. I'm still gonna be a pro. Ah, come on, kid. 
You know there's a physical, right? Get your head out of the clouds and join reality. I'm a busy man, and look how sunny it is. Shine on, Mr. Sun, shine on. Blue seas, white sandy beaches, tan taut bodies and colorful bikinis. Summer, and it's calling my name. Ignoring it would be criminal. <laughs> hey, first impressions aren't everything. <gasps> Gotta go. Ciao. Excuse me. Now what? You don't get it. My teammates are waiting for me to get back. I must be a magnet for bad luck. I mean, drawing last year's third place team in the first round? Come on. And three of the competitors we'll be facing participated in that tournament. Huh? That's not all. Among the competitors is national treasure Hikage Tenma. So what you're saying is, we could be seriously screwed here. For the next match, on the east side, Odachi High School. On the west side, Kanazawa Kita High okay, School. go get him. First bout, on the east side, Ozaki. Yeah. On the west side, Aizawa. Bring the pain, Captain! Yes! That's Ryo Aizawa, Swift Foot Pole. Although not the biggest, he's the captain of the formidable Kita High team. He's deadly. I'm not getting any younger. I don't see the point in wasting my time. Wasting? Your team's up against Kanazawa Kita High first round. Just between us, you don't actually expect them to win, do you? <coughs> hmm. The kid went into standby. Did you understand the question? Now that I think about it, I guess there's a chance they could lose. What? But the thought never crossed my mind until just now. Uh, spirit! <laughs> you know, hearing I wasn't needed at the team tournament was a shock. It made me nervous. But after I listened to the captain and saw the look the rest of the team had in their eyes, I suddenly felt relaxed about the whole thing. This isn't about them needing my help or how they can't win without me. I just need to fight with them. Right now, that's all I want. <sighs> well, let's see it. <clears throat> If you care about your career, it'd be better for you in the long run to sit this one out. <clears throat> yep, that's what a doctor with any common sense would tell you. <clears throat> I swear, I wish I knew where you got your moxie from. How about sharing it with the rest of us? <sighs> Listen, kid, I've treated a lot of sumo wrestlers in my time. Some of them were too messed up to even step foot back inside the ring. But that didn't stop them from coming to see me. Getting your arm back in shape will be easier than cutting a fart. <gasps> what is this? A spaceship? I never get over this room. By the way, when are you gonna bite the bullet and invest in a new sign, Doc? I like the sign. It's got a certain charm. This way, let's get that arm working again. That's surprising. Ozaki's the last person I could imagine going full-on beast mode. I guess that settles it then. Beating you with the prelims wasn't just a fluke. And he's only gotten stronger since then. Here I was thinking Onimaru's absence would be weighing on him. But apparently it only made him more determined to win. His expression and technique were full of spirit. There's a face that shouts, I'm Dachi High's captain. By the way, look who's up next. Your favorite fighter. <clears throat> Second bout on the east side. Gojo! <sighs> Before he joined the sumo club, he used to be a delinquent. Huh? But he's different now, trust me. Spirit! He was ready for the two-handed strike! That's Takumi Sarah. His strength is incredible. He placed fourth in the Ishikawa tournaments. 
think I'm intimidated? I withstand pinless strikes every day! Bring it! Yeah. Honestly, when I first met him during his kingpin days, I thought the guy belonged in an entirely different decade. But after we fought and he admitted defeat by bowing his head, I knew that he was okay. Before you can improve, you need humility. Without it, the thought of combining sumo and karate would be completely crazy, but he found a way to marry the two. We're expecting great things out of him. <laughs> He's too fast! Rather than pushing back, his opponent's ricochet. Each blow's hitting him in a completely different direction. Sarah couldn't make a grab against that karate-like snapping even if he wanted to. That was your mistake. You shouldn't have let him build momentum. Wearing me down, huh? Yeah, right. I'm ending you right now. Trip and strike. Castle break punch. Yeah! Yes! Yuma! Yuma, boss! That was awesome, Yuma! Looks like Kita High's washed up! A powerhouse team? Yeah, right! Both teams wanted to carve out an early lead. Two wins in a row is a huge deal. They're in a solid spot right now. Yes, but this next bout will be a problem. Their third opponent's gonna be a much bigger challenge, literally. It's all up to you, Tenma. Hmm? You don't need encouragement from your sorry excuse for a captain. And I know a national treasure can handle himself, especially against an amateur. But I want to say this to you anyway. Go out there and win! Damn it! I'm sorry, guys! What a bunch of pathetic teammates. Huh? A national treasure who fails to become a high school Yokozuna. A renowned school without a championship. <sighs> I don't know about you, but I'm here to change all that. Watch and learn. Yone, Komori, prepare for your bouts. <sighs> you better be paying attention. Ishigami won't win the finals next year if you don't come up with a plan for how to defeat this guy. Hey, Captain, which one are you uh -huh. talking about? Third bout, on the east side, Kunisaki. So your teammate's a renowned wrestling champion. Impressive. But he's only been doing sumo for a few months, right? And he's fighting someone like that? I don't like throwing the word around, but in his case, I'll gladly make an exception, because there's no other way to describe him. The truth is... Chihiro Kunisaki is a genius. He's got a 20 centimeter advantage over me. This must be what Hinamaru feels like all the time. Hmm. <laughs> Right, Mr. National Treasure. How are you gonna attack? At that distance, he's a sitting duck for one of the best strikers in high school sumo. Maybe he's planning on charging and going in low. Show me what you're made of, Kunisaki. Even Sada acknowledges your talent. I want to see what you can do against an elite fighter. Spirit! <laughs> Charging full speed, he wasn't quick enough! Did you really think you'd be safe if you held back like that? Nearly the entire sumo ring is within his range. His speed, power, they're completely unmatched. There's no better example than his flash attack. <laughs> Kunisaki's getting destroyed! Can't get in a single hit. I guess he was nowhere near ready to take on a national treasure. If I want to become a better fighter, my sumo needs a ton of work. <sighs> I realize I don't have enough time to get there on my own. 
So here's the plan. I'm gonna absorb your sumo style, and then soar straight to the top! <laughs> yes! Was he holding back all this time so he could evaluate Hikage's attack pattern? He sure had to take a pummeling to do it, though. The best strikes in high school sumo turned out to be more brutal than he was expecting. Of course he had a rough time seeing through them. Wait just a minute. Are you telling me between the prelims and now he completely adopted your style? The longer you spend wrestling with the guy, the more he starts to creep you out. I want more. Show me more! He may lack experience in the sumo ring, but he makes up for it with his powers of observation. That's the secret of how he's able to absorb techniques so quickly. It kind of pisses me off. Here I am, not making it past the prelims. But there are my moves. It's like I'm fighting. Mikazuki Munichika? So that was the heaviest blow in all of high school sumo. Well, if that's the case, there's nothing left to fear! He outmaneuvered Odette's strike! <laughs> An over-the-shoulder grab. His reach is incredible! Kunasaki has a stronger stance. He can do it! I can hear them all laughing at me. The expectations are high since I'm a national treasure. But here I am losing to a guy who was a plain wrestler till a few months ago. I've already told you I've got zero interest in watching my brother compete. He'll win, but only by just enough. And of course, there's no way he'll beat a Yokozuna. Hey! We all know the only thing he's focused on is remaining in Ozuki. It's truly pathetic. If he doesn't care about moving up the chain, he should just quit. <laughs> Damn! What was that for? You got no idea what you're talking about, kid. I hear that BS all the time, but I didn't think his own brother would go repeating it. Huh? I guarantee you, he's got no chance of winning this bout. Hmm? Seriously, I'm totally giving up rooting for Daikesho. Strongest Japanese sumo wrestler my ass. Yeah, bottom line, he just isn't hungry enough, so he's plateaued. What do they know? If you really think the Ozuki viewed the arena as some kind of comfortable safe haven, you better guess again. Even more reason, then. It'd be easier on him if he quit. I thought it was obvious. <gasps> he isn't broken yet. Far from it. <sighs> Have you ever wondered why you've always thought of him as weak? Maybe you're projecting your insecurities onto him. You've been avoiding looking at the Ozuki because you see yourself in him. You believe he can't defeat a Yokozuna only because you were unable to beat Tenoji. Maybe if you took the time, you could learn a thing or two from watching him. Your brother's far stronger than you think. If anyone's pathetic, it's me. Onumaro had that same look in his eye. The look of someone confronting a reality that threatens to break them. All I did was get annoyed and take it out on others. The only loser here is me. I want to be a strong sumo wrestler, just like my brother. Oh! An overarm throw! And from that stance, too! His reach is insane! <laughs> He's close! Come on! Dude's coming at me stronger than before. Guess that's why they call him a national treasure. I'm gonna eat you alive and push past my limits! A faint. High angle head chop. Lightning! So this is Dachi Heist Kunasaki. I see. His fighting instincts are sharp, but he's not ready to beat Tenma Hikage. Then again, perhaps that's why he challenged him. 
Even in sumo, there are wrestlers who evolve rapidly following an upset victory. He's trying to break out of his shell. Fighting isn't enough for him. Only an upset will free him! Strong yes! Yes! Tenma grab first! His right hand's inside, his left is high. The perfect grip! Yeah, boy! Get him, Tenma! <laughs> I thought you were working on a cross-grid sumo style. So how come you're ignoring the Mawashi belt so much? <laughs> the thing that scares me about you is that I have no idea what's going through your head. All that technical junk, thrust and punch, cross grip, blah blah. I can't beat specialists like you if I get caught up worrying about specifics. Huh? You said you're scared because you have no idea what I'm thinking about, right? Suits me just fine. That's my style of choice. I want to be unsettling! What's he doing? And what's this dark aura? I want to be stronger! Stronger! And the only way that's gonna happen is by causing an upset! That move, did he just... Neo Chihiro Special Number One! Shoot down! No? <laughs> <laughs> He beat last year's bronze! Dante High's unstoppable! People who let common sense control their actions place a wall between themselves and national treasures. They build them up as special. An opponent they have absolutely no chance of defeating. But Chihiro doesn't believe in walls. Only distance. That's why he can charge ahead without any fear. And the thing about guys like him is that they're usually the ones who cause an upset. A uh, kunisaki on the east side wins with, um, a kimono string drop. A kimono what? The hell is that? Wait, so you executed a technique the pros rarely use without even knowing what it's called? Unbelievable! He was operating on pure instinct! You're a scary dude, you know that? Sure, it may be a sumo technique, but it goes completely against traditional norms. So in other words, it fits kunisaki to a T. My national treasure name. Yeah, man. If you beat one, you gotta have a moniker. That's how it goes. Screw that. Those are only for guys who are interested in becoming a Yokozuna. I want to be the best mixed martial artist in the world, and nothing's changing that. Still, if I had to choose... And it's not like I've been thinking about it or anything. My official title is Chihiro Kunasaki, the National Treasure Eater! Kita High was knocked out in the first round? Zero wins, three losses in a row? That's gotta hurt. <laughs> I failed everyone. Snap out of it, Tenma. You still got the individual tournament and you can compete next year too. What about you guys though? This was your last chance. <laughs> Not one of you is pathetic. Not my team, the school, or my brother. All three of those give me pride. I wanted to show the world that, and I failed. <laughs> <laughs> don't hold back, Tenma. Why don't you tell us how you really feel? Look, everyone, including you, did the best they could. No. In the end, it wasn't enough. And that's a hard pill to swallow. People will tell us we'll look back on this day and smile, but they weren't here. They didn't fight. We did. A sweeping loss can be difficult to take, but your pain reveals how sincere the effort was. Victory is always preferable, but there's value in accepting defeat. 
Use this moment and grow as warriors. Match over. Odachi on the east side wins 3-0. You can't help but admit they make an impressive team. They're uneven, but they've got momentum. Don't underestimate them. I won't deny they're special, but how many have we seen just like them? This happens every year. The team gathers a little steam, wins a few matches, then acts like they've got what it takes to go all the way. Some wrestlers, well, they even become national treasures. We're used to devouring their kind and nothing's changing that. Right? Damn straight. Team tournament round three. <laughs> On the east side, Kabutoyama High School. On the west side, Odachi High School. <laughs> Yes! Yeah! Three for three in the third round! With yesterday's momentum and Hinomaru back, they're unstoppable! That left arm doesn't seem to be bothering him either. Odachi could be the champs this year. Fourth bout on the east side, on. Yamada. Didn't on we the just win side, three in a row? Kurisaki. Why are there more matches? Starting today, we have to fight all five bouts in each round. He got behind him! That's four! All right, this is it. Your national debut. Fifth bout. On the east side, Sato. On the west side, Mitsuhashi. Where's the rest of him? I saw this guy at the prelims. He makes a charge, then does a surprise leap. The shrimp's devious. Be careful! <sighs> Spirit! No tricks this time. Did you think we wouldn't catch on? Big surprise. But he never gives up. Good effort. I'll be fine. It's a matter of time. I'll win with a change-up. Hmm. Why are you yawning? You better have slept. I may have stayed up late watching some footage from the Nagoya tournament. Daikesha was so close to winning it. <laughs> Keep dreaming. Japanese fighters are weak. They don't stand a chance against Mongolian or Geno wrestlers. We get it, you made your point. But that's why we're here, right? To get stronger. Hmm. It's Kusanagi. Well, well, Dojikiri. I prefer Tenoji. I've never been fond of my national treasure moniker. Yours, on the other hand, Kusanagi, that's a way cooler sounding name. I guess being the son of a Yokozuna, people expect more out of you than the rest of us mere mortals. But hey, when you step in the ring, your father and moniker can't follow. Once inside, you're there all alone. Tanoji, you're wrong. As a Yokozuna son, I always carry that weight, wherever I go. <laughs> One thing's certain, this year's Inter High has no shortage of thrills. On the east side, Totori Hakuru High School. It was a matter of time. Here come the showstoppers. First bout on the east side, Enoki. Spirit! <clears throat> what the heck kind of move was that? It's a skill used in Aikido. Sumo's all about knocking your opponent off balance. Hakuro's wrestler isn't that tall and doesn't have a large frame, so he targets an opponent's center of gravity to compensate. There's a reason their team's the best. It's because they employ a wide range of techniques. I chose this school because of its colorful characters. Hakuro's team has my kind of people. What are you saying? Some specialize in the technical, like Inoki. Second bout! On the east side! Shudo! <laughs> while others are all about brute strength. Each one's different, but they're all experts. Every year, we have several interesting sumo wrestlers who decide to enroll at our school. Even international students from Mongolia. It lends the team some variety. We motivate each other to win. From the bottom of my heart, I'm glad to be part of Hakuro. They opened up the practice area. We should check it out. It's not going anywhere. Let's find Grub first. Sounds like you're in good spirits. Not even Hakura scares you, huh? Mm -hmm. 
Sada, if you're headed to practice, you don't mind if we join, right? <laughs> Come on, don't look so suspicious. After the prelims, we actually took a trip. Just to stop in Totori, nothing big. Wait, Totori? Then you mean... But if you guys would rather eat, then how about for dessert? Let me tell you what it was like taking on the great Hakuro High. <laughs> the 32 qualifying competitors will begin the final rounds of the individual tournament. Okay, let's get this thing started. I formally declare this the Ishi slash Dachi High sparring session to take down Hakuro. We're actually working with them? This is like full on treason, man! Why should we do them any favors? Mm. Hmm. He's right, we are a rival team after all. Why would you want to help us? Because when all's said and done, Ishihai's going to benefit huge. Yeah? How? No, Captain Mamiya. Please explain it to them in excruciating detail. Sure, leave all the exposition to me. I don't mind one bit. While it's true, this could strengthen Dachi High and bite us in the ass. If you keep pushing them, Hakuro will have no choice but to dig deeper and reveal their range, which will prepare us for when we eventually face off. You think it'll actually work? You benefited from testing Kunasaki's limits, isn't that right, Sada? Yeah, I can't deny it. I stole as much as I could from him. He's not the only one with an appetite for moves. <laughs> Don't expect us to thank you or anything. <sighs> Since we both get something out of it, I say we accept. Still, I hate the idea of giving Dachi High more opportunities to celebrate! Isn't that the truth? No offense, but it wasn't that long ago your team was pathetic. Ozuki was the only member and always lost the first round. <laughs> and now you're standing in the national spotlight. There's a word for that. Incredible. Uh -huh. Any animosity we feel for you as rivals is only matched by our respect. We aren't doing this solely for our own benefit. We want you to go far. Sound good? <laughs> I'm the stand-in for Tenoji? That's flattering. It's just so Ushio can visualize him. And out of everyone, your physique's the closest. I get you. If you don't mm. want to do this, you don't have to, Araki. Yeah, don't feel pressured if you're not down. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Leaving me out! <laughs> Having a double for Tenoji will go a long way for Ushio. I'm sure their session will help him grow. And yet... We can't start thinking Hakuro is the only thing standing between us and the crown. There's another. From Ega University High. Sosuke Kuze. The son of a Yokozuna. And right at the age when you naturally want to defy your parents. If you want my opinion, he's got the same bearing you did at your peak. But maybe I'm just imagining it. From what I hear, he plans to join the Pro League after he becomes the high school Yokozuna. The fact it doesn't come across as a joke is scary. I'm the biggest supporter of my son. For the longest time, the thought of anyone his own age posing a challenge was unthinkable. That is, until now. The individual tournament semi-final. On the east side, Tenoji. On the west side, Kuze. But whatever the outcome is today... The future of Pro Sumo is brilliant. Hey, how come everybody's losing their minds? Because... It's like watching two Yokozuna fight. The son of Yamato Kuni. Undefeated in official bouts and on the path to being a champion. Facing off against the battle-hardened conqueror. This will decide who's best. Truth be told, I'd rather these two didn't fight each other. They're already fearsome, but together and about, no telling what it'll unleash. Your mind's wandering. Which one will be triumphant? It doesn't matter because they've left you in their wake. Not to mention when the dust clears, this fight might put you even further behind. So. How do you plan on winning tomorrow if you already gave it your all and it still wasn't enough? Exactly how you taught me. I've been thinking. Back to the moment I lost. 
Even going all out against him, I never saw the limit of Tenochi's power. But thanks to everybody in this room, I've had this revelation. There's something hidden inside me. A source of strength I haven't managed to tap into. Yet. Sada, we need to have a bout. No holding back. <laughs> In order to get closer to them, what I need to do is take another step forward. Very well then, let's see what you've got. Out of everyone, you're best suited for discovering your own style of fighting. Now, show me. The new and improved Hinomaru Sumo. That's a leg technique! Based on what I've seen, I thought Tenochi would be more composed. But it's like he's a different person! Tenochi has two faces. When we sparred in Totori, I got the chance to see both. The first, he uses to avoid losing. He watches his opponent, then carefully selects a strategy that'll give him an advantage. The guy researches endlessly and builds an approach that plays the percentage game. That's how he stayed undefeated throughout high school. But something happened two years ago. He had to fight upperclassmen who were stronger than he was. His second face is all about winning. I prefer using a more defensive style. Counterattacking moves my opponents make. I'm good. But when I forced Tenoji to go on the offensive, the barrage of attacks he rained down on me was non-stop, completely without mercy. Thinking about it now sends chills down my spine. <laughs> so this is Dojikiri, the champion. In his bout with Onimaru. No, he didn't waver in any match, even that one. I'm worried about Sosuke. He may lose. To the best of my knowledge, Shido Tenoji is the strongest sumo wrestler currently competing at the high school level. However, no one in that arena, even including me, knows the true limits of Sosuke Kuze's strength. <sighs> Yamato Kuni? What's going on? My blood should be boiling. And yet, nothing. I'm completely calm. He's always compared to his father, but it's finally starting to come true. He's not like Hinamaru or Tenoji. The most terrifying thing about him is his stillness and eyes that reveal an unwavering strength. He's completely serene. Whenever you attack, it creates openings. My brother calls that a weakness. But when he used to throw defense out the window and fought only on instinct, he was much scarier, like a demon. It doesn't matter who wins. My path's already been laid out. Hinomaru Ushio. Don't ever stop surprising me. Let's go! Sada, thank you! They move back. This could be it. Here's the charge. This might be the one to end it! That's Kusanagi's! They were evenly matched on the first charge! Tenoji's strength must have awakened the beast in Sosuke! It's on now! <clears throat> he dodged it? If you think you have the upper hand, you're wrong! <clears throat> the beast inside of me has risen! There it is. The super low attack my brother perfected when he was Ushio's height. Only he can pull it off because he used to be short. Its intensity <clears throat> is boundless. <clears throat> Not good. He's taking too many hits. Every one of them from a champion. It's breaking him piece by piece. All those years of being small made me the wrestler I am today. This moment will have the same effect, making me the strongest. I'm battling a copy of Yamato Kuni, the greatest Yokozuna of the Heisei era. This is a trial. Another task the sumo gods have arranged for me to become the best in the world. He locked his arm. It's Tenoji's game. You're just an obstacle to overcome. Soon I'll wear the rope that tells everyone I defeated the legendary Yamato Kuni. 
What a fearsome competitor! Even in the face of incredible pressure, he's still thinking, calculating how he can win against his opponent using his style of sumo. It's... My right hand's on his belt. This is the strongest form I inherited from my father. For me, the sumo gods are part of Yamata Kuni's fighting style! That was expected. I've given up on defense after all. It was necessary if I was going to reach the top! An arm lock throw! And an overarm throw! At the same time! Six point torso slice! A serpent cleaver! I wondered if the sumo gods turned their gaze away from him. He wasn't blessed with height. Yet his spirit, body, and technique all have room to grow. Then I saw it. It surrounded him. A light. So that's why the sumo gods looked away. They'd been blinded! Incredible. It could be the edge he needed. Just might. Looks like it paid off. Is the match over? Who won, coach? Tenoji or Kuze? Come take a look. A Yokozuna. The only person permitted to wear a sacred rope on their body. They are divine objects. It's evident Shido Tenoji was loved by the gods. Sosuke Kuze. Kusanagi was not. He is a god, an embodiment of the divine, and will reign over the sumo ring. He won. Still, it's not like we're just gonna wimp out because that happened. We planned to beat Tenoji, Kuze, and all the rest anyway, and that hasn't changed. <sighs> I lost again? Rematch, one more game. <laughs> Don't ever go gambling. Come on, Yuma. Cut the cards better. You aren't doing anything shady, are you? No, you just suck. <laughs> this game won't be over until Ushio wins at least hey, once. Hey, I think you're supposed to keep your <laughs> eyes on your own cards? Listen up, amigo. Seeing how relaxed they are, you'd have no idea the finals were happening tomorrow. Hmm? Shouldn't they be, like, sweating bullets? Just the opposite. If the guys were nervous, none of them would last through the night. This is a good sign. There's no need to worry about their mental state anymore. I remember the old days. You got so worked up, saying you wouldn't lose and never fold. But now, I'm glad you chose Dachi High, Hinamaro. All right, it's getting pretty late. We have a big day tomorrow, guys. Got it. We better get some sleep, too. Kill the lights while you're up. Sure thing. I want to thank you all. Huh? <laughs> you gonna tell us what for? Nope. Seriously. Let's go out there tomorrow and win. Yeah! yeah. his last match. What kind of magic did you work on that kid? I assure you I didn't do a thing. A sumo match can end in an instant, but it can transform a wrestler for life. They say boys grow up fast at this age, but in the ring one grows even faster. It begins with the aces, but those sparks soon spread to their teammates and become an inferno, marching towards victory. Who's to say which team burns the brightest? I'll decide that in the ring. Till only one remains.
We now move to the semifinals. On the east side, Odachi High School. On the west side, Totori Hakuro High School. Good luck, Dachi High! It looks like Dachi's the favorite. I'll be damned. Well, the crowd's gonna be in for a nasty surprise, cause Hakuro's in a class of its own. Right. They've got Shintaro Inoki with his Aikido. The bulldozer Masaomi Shuto. And Batmonk Batbuyer, the Mongolian wrestler. Plus the national treasures Akihira Kano and Shido Tenoji. I thought Tenoji's loss would have crushed their team morale a bit, but they slayed in the quarterfinals. They're still the ones to look out for. Mark my words. That's what I'm saying. Dachi's gonna get busted up. Their team has pulled an upset before. They have Onimaru, but more than that, they've got his spirit running through them. You can't predict it, but when that power goes off, they can turn the match around in a second. First bout. On the east side, Ozaki. West side, Enoki. I won't pretend like we're the same or anything, but I get it. It seems that Enoki started practicing sumo in middle school. He was in the same club as Tenoji back in Osaka. Since they're still together now, he must have followed him all these years. I understand why you want to win. Why you have to win. It's not just for your sake. You're fighting for Tenoji too, aren't you? Spirit! <laughs> he knows Ozaki has an edge in size, so he changed the placement of his chart. <laughs> Ozaki is at a disadvantage when it comes to technique. <laughs> but he's losing in spirit too. Captain. Hakuro may seem pretty chill right now, but on the third day, it's gonna be a different story. They'll be wild and dangerous. I don't think they're afraid of losing to us, exactly. But they want a rematch with Ega real bad, for Tenoji's sake. Cause they're sure that when they make it to the finals, Kuze will be right there waiting. <laughs> You're not the only one who's fired up. If you have to win this match for Tenoji, then I have to win it for Ushio! This time, I want to fight the first match. Where did that come from? There's something going on we don't know about. Do you got a hot take? Dude needs to get out of here quick. <laughs> no. I just think this is what'll fire me up the most, that's all. But if our feelings are the same, I'll just have to fight twice as hard. I won't be outdone. He's grabbing the front of his belt. He can push him out. It's close. <laughs> he pushed back his arm. Damn, he's strong. What do I care how big you are? I've honed this technique so I can stand shoulder to shoulder with Shido. You're nothing in comparison to him! This is my chance to pay him back for all he's done for me. Ah, oh, man, I'm sorry. Oh, it's you, Enoki. You okay? Whoa. Tenoji, you know who I am? What's that? Quitting the sumo club? I did a sumo tournament back in elementary school and really got into it, so I thought the club would be a good place for me. But there's already a ton of members here, and most of them are super good, too. I was training as hard as I could, but I'm thin as a rake. And the coach only seems to pay attention to the bigger kids. I see. Well, if you ask me, that's a shame, because you look like you had more potential than anyone else. <laughs> You're kidding! No way! I mean, we haven't even spoken before. But I can tell. You've trained in martial arts, haven't you? Not sumo, I mean. Yeah, a little bit of Aikido. I wasn't anything special, though. I never told anyone. How do you know? You're good. I noticed when you fought, even though you're a rookie, you know how to take a hit and move your feet. You have strong wrists and a good defense, so I knew you'd practice something with grappling. Well, thank you. But everyone in the club says I'm not really cut out for sumo. And I'm afraid I have to agree. It took me six months to realize it, but I just don't belong. Some people look but don't see, and they're idiots. But you? You're an even bigger idiot for giving up. You won't get anywhere listening to their trash talk. The only thing that makes you stronger is what's inside of you. Why don't you pick up Aikido again? It might end up making you better at sumo. <sighs> hey, the ball's in your court. If you're that set on quitting, go ahead. 
<laughs> but I think you like Sumo a lot more than you want to admit. And let me tell you, if you keep getting stronger, you're gonna like it even more. From where I'm standing, there's nothing in the world better than Sumo. I don't know how much Shido really cared if I quit Sumo or not. But one thing was clear to me. The words he spoke that day gave me the conviction to win. They filled me with strength. If I'd quit, I would have regretted it for the rest of my life. Because what he said to me was right. I do love Sumo with all my heart. I've been able to make it this far by following Shido. I owe everything to him. Just like you and Hinamaru, right? But still, we're not the same. Shido has walked the path of a champion, and I've been right beside him for five years! His arms are in. They're locked. Come at me with all the spirit you like. My sumo is strong. I won't give you an inch! Anoki got in low. Ozuki can barely keep his feet down. He's slipping. This is bad. You develop strong technique by facing strong opponents. The captain's practiced on his own for too long, so he hasn't had the opportunity that other competitors have. But there's an upside. That's it, you got him! Let's go! His technique can evolve in an instant. I was all on my own until this year, but now I have teammates. I have my friends to push me forward. I'll use the skills we forged together and win this! I won't quit! Shido deserves the rematch with Kuze, and he's gonna get it! I'll keep fighting till the last second! You can count on me to win tomorrow. I can't do this alone. So thank you, Shintaro. You'll be standing tall when this is over! I'll make sure of it! Oh. <sighs> Winner, west side! Yeah! That was good, Sumo. We'll take that spirit and carry it with us to the end. Now leave the rest to us. You really killed it out there, Enoki, and we'll do the same. Yeah, damn straight! I see, I see. These high school tournaments really get the blood pumping. Very impressive. Both teams want the same thing. They're fighting for their ace out there. They have to make sure he sees the finals no matter what. Honestly, Hakuro's team has Odachi completely outclassed. But this is a battle of wills they can still make a miracle happen. Something wrong, Mitsuhashi? I wonder if I'm on the wrong path. The more I practice these tricks, the more I rob my sumo of any integrity. I can't help but wonder if the team looks down on that. I mean, it doesn't make you happy, right? Hinomaru is small too, but he likes to charge head on no matter who he faces. Are all my tricks making him look bad? This isn't like you. You're supposed to be a man of action. Huh? Wait, that's how you see me? As a man of action? Of course. Kay, even if it's the opposite of my style, your approach is just as valid. Huh? But you never sidestep or any stuff like that, Hinamaru. Yeah, you know why? Because I'm sure that if I tried to, I wouldn't be half as good as you. Huh? I like fighting head-on, so I'm able to pour my heart into that. If you practice what you love, you'll improve that much faster. Since sidestepping isn't my style, I haven't trained in it, so I'd never use it in a match. But these past few months, you've been working on your reverse non-stop. You should have faith in it. It's what makes you unique. Just like Yuma's strikes or Chihiro's footwork, you have your own secret weapon. No one here can compete with you when it comes to that. And the whole team is stronger for it. <sighs> Be proud of yourself. You've been right there with us the whole way. And why? Because you care about the club. We're a team. We'd never look down on you. <clears throat> He's gonna start with a reverse for sure. 
Dachi's coming in with one loss already. They can't screw this up. If Mitsuhashi has some trick up his sleeve we haven't seen, now would be the time to use it. But still... His opponent must know he'll be aiming for a reverse. If he sees through his strategy, the whole thing's screwed from the start. Oh, by the way, Sanada, I saw you talking with Mitsuhashi yesterday. You giving him some pointers or something? Huh? Nah, he just had a question for me. Hands on the ground! <laughs> wait, wait! Premature! Oops, false start. By a mile? I don't think his hands even touched the ground. <laughs> Sonata, a while ago, when you did that false start on us, was it something you planned? What if it was? <laughs> Whoa, wait! Start again! Another what the one? hell, man? <clears throat> What's he doing, coach? Whatever it is, it sure wasn't my idea. Little punk at it! What's your deal? You want to know why I did it, huh? It should be obvious. I had to because I'm weak. If I wanted to win that fight, I had to drag Ozuki down to my level first. I didn't care what people thought. I just wanted to win. Do it right this time. You got it? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Hey! How many times are you gonna pull this crap? Shudo! It's cool. Stay calm. Mm. This is like any other match. Don't let him get under your skin. Just act normal and wait for him to make his move. It doesn't matter what other people think, huh? You know something? I couldn't agree more. Hmm. Leaping backwards for the charge? Uh-huh. So you're screwing with his head, basically. Calling him out to see how he deals with it. Yeah, that sounds rock solid to me. We don't have much intel on this guy. But from what I heard, if he loses his cool, then his sumo gets hella sloppy. If you can take advantage of that, you might be able to find a way to beat him. Will that really be enough? Hmm? Even if I fought Shuto a hundred times, in a regular match, I doubt I'd win even once. So, I'll transform the playing field. Match 101 will be on my terms. What would really make you mad? Something odd your opponent could do. Hmm. Well, let's see. I can think of one thing that would piss off anyone who takes sumo seriously. Spirit! Not giving a crap. <laughs> Acting like the whole thing's just a big joke, you know? <laughs> Let's keep this between us. I don't want anyone to know what I'm planning. They'll try to stop me. I mean, if it wouldn't make them mad too, then it won't be enough to shake him up. I know this isn't easy, Pipsqueak, but no matter what happens out there, we believe in your strength. I've thrown away my dignity, invited nothing but contempt from the audience. I don't need sympathy. I'll drag you down to hell with me! I'll create a new kind of battle I can win! Shudo's completely flipping out! That must have been the plan all along! I fired the first arrow, and now... the next! There! Right in the face! He stood his ground too! Shudo! If he looks away for even a second, then I'll have an opening, and I can win! I don't care how this looks. This is my secret weapon. My three arrows. Whoa, Mitsuhashi got behind him. The twerp's getting better. What's he supposed to do now, though? That's a nice position, but he's still got a mountain to move. You don't need any special tricks to win at this point. You build your muscles every day, practicing your stomps right behind Hinomaru. It may not seem like much, but that training gave you the only weapon you need to win this. Now drive it into your opponent straight as a spear. All you need is one little shove to send him stumbling over the rope. Go! Do it! Come on! Keep pushing! I'm sure the gods of Sumo are frowning on me right now, but I don't give a damn what they think. They turned their backs on Hinamaru after all. I won't waste my time sucking up to them. Cause I'm here to win, no matter what! Go ahead and hate me if you want, all of you! This is for my team! This is for Hinamaru!
Who got it? East side wins! Yeah! 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 It can't be. I'm telling you, they're protesting? I don't think it was clear enough. After all that work? He made a miracle happen out there. You can't just erase that. I know it was close, but the ref called it, right? A tie! Restart the bout! <sighs> Mitsuhashi... He's limping. When he fell... I won't let you guys stop me. Leaving the ring now won't accomplish anything. As long as I'm standing, there's still some chance I can win. Hands on the ground! Sorry, Shrimp. I don't care what sacrifices I have to make. I'm bringing this team a win. Spirit! You can't jump anymore. I'm on this team, and when we promised we'd be the best in Japan, that includes me! After I get a win and help us go to nationals, you'll thank me! Bout over! West side wins! <laughs> That's two losses for Odachi. It's do or die now. And their next opponent's brutal. Akihira Kano, AKA National Treasure Okanahira, at Hakuro. He's second only to Tanoji. And since Tanoji's the strongest high schooler in the nation, that speaks pretty well for Kano. You don't look too happy for well, someone who just won. That turn, that clap, and that leap were all pretty solid. He must have trained hard to pull that off. But his love for Sumo didn't amount to much, did it? He lost, so it's all for nothing. You don't get a trophy for working hard, you get a trophy for winning. That means whatever path the winner took to get to the ring was the right one in the end. You won the match. I think you have the right to celebrate that. Third bout, on the east side, Kunisaki. On the west side, Kano. Uh, I let you down, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> you still can't win a fight even after all that careful planning, huh? Save it for later. You know, I got sharp ears, so I heard your little speech over there. And yeah, you got one thing right. Fighting is about proving that your way is right and your opponent's is dead wrong. Half Pint trained his ass off to win that fight, but he still couldn't swing it. In fact, he's never taken a match, not one. If you're talking about results, he might as well have just stayed home today. But me, I've seen how hard he trained to get this far. So I'm gonna tell you right now, his work wasn't for nothing, and I won't let anyone say it was. You taught me something important, kid. When I saw you out there, it got me thinking. If I was a rookie and that was me, would I have been willing to throw everything away from my team? Would I have had the guts to try to pull one over on the best in Japan? Winning comes as easy as breathing for me. I never saw it from your perspective. But today, you showed me that a real badass goes all out no matter the cost. And now I understand the weight of a single victory. Dachi High's on the ropes, but we're not giving up. We're not letting his hard work go to waste. <laughs> this guy already gets it. He's here trying to prove that Tenoji's path was right, despite him losing in the singles. I made it this far following the path that Hinamaru said. So now, with the fire my teammate passed to me, you're gonna get an ass whooping you won't forget. What's my motivation for the tournament? We'd love to hear what drives the national treasure Okanahira, Hakuro Sumo Club's number two. I don't know if motivation is the right word, but there's one thing I hate, losing. I remember standing by my father's side, watching as countless teams had their dreams destroyed. Sumo is a cruel sport, don't you agree? Right. You can train hard for three years of high school and still be defeated. All that work for nothing. I never want my team to experience that feeling. 
Let me make one thing clear. The agony of defeat is for our opponents only. I wonder what Kano's odds are. What? Nothing. Just doesn't seem like he enjoys sumo. Gah. I mean, just look at Sosuke and the other national treasures. The sport holds a special place in their hearts. But Kano's a totally different breed. Always talking about his father and the team. Everyone else, you know. But what about himself? Guys like that never reach the top, whatever field they're in. I'm not saying he's weak or anything. The guy's proven himself. Maybe he's the exception to the rule. Who knows? Kunisaki's similar. A former wrestler who's been setting the sumo ring ablaze. But in terms of raw sumo ability, Kano's far scarier. There's no competition. Two losses. It's do or die. With our backs against the wall, Kunisaki can't afford to take any risks. It's all up to him. Kano opened with his killer stance. It's strong defensively and a perfect setup. He absorbs his opponent's force while leaving enough room to execute a throw. Where do you think you're going? Seriously, don't you ever get tired of devouring moves? The National Treasure Eaters using your dentist flash attack. Unreal. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. Don't stop! What a maniac. He's going hard on offense, even though losing means they'll be eliminated. Out of all the times to hold back, now's not one of them. There's no question you're strong. You're a member of the top high school sumo club in Japan. Just one thing. That makes your fear of losing even greater. Keep Call it, it reckless. Sashi. I don't care. You can do this. But you can't grow if don't you don't defeat your fears. He knows that better than anyone. Remember him? You called him weak. Said his efforts were meaningless. I'll show you. <laughs> Just how strong people who don't know their own limits can be! <laughs> Kano can't react fast enough. Hmm. That's it, Kunisaki! Yeah! He copied that move. So what gives? Kano should be able to block it since he's never lost to Odenta. He's mimicking it, but it's not an exact copy. Their reach and build are nothing alike. But thanks to those differences, it's faster and has a different rhythm from the original. The moves transform and become a Chihiro special! <clears throat> Get a grip! His strikes may be faster, but they're not as hard. I can block him. <laughs> High angle head chop. Lightning. Great hit. The second best at Hakuro High is going down. <clears throat> is this the end? That's two years in a row. Tenoji's high school Yokozuna again. <sighs> Different year, same result. Does facing a teammate make you lose intensity, Aki? Huh? Back in middle school, you shine much brighter. You've gotten used to losing to me and your light's dimmed. We're rivals, remember? Fight harder. Don't overestimate me. We've trained side by side. I already know the truth. I have no hope of beating you. You can laugh all you want. I don't care being second only to Shido fills me with more pride than you can imagine. Watch out for the grab! I'm not losing to anyone but Shido. Not Kusanagi and definitely not to you. Being cornered must have lit a fire in him. Kano always tells people he's only half as talented as Shido. But we know the truth. He loves Sumo as much as we do. He's got his belt! That's not good! Kunisaki can't pull away, and his agility's useless in close quarters. He's gripping both sides of the Mawashi belt. This could be bad. Even he doesn't have a technique that can break him free. 
There aren't any throws that'll get me out of this mess. Fine, then. Guess I'll just bulldoze him out of the ring! Now, is he trying to force out? You didn't trap me. I'm the one who caught you! Yeah, it's true, you're more experienced in sumo. But when I'm inside this ring, I'm no longer a wrestler! Prior to this match, Kunisaki would have thought of a way to break his grip and pull back. But he's not the same person anymore. He's made significant progress as a sumo wrestler, and he's facing an equal. It all comes down to this. A battle of wills. <laughs> Why isn't he stopping? Instead of getting weaker, he keeps adding more and more pressure! I don't love the front force out. It's got no style. But when you did it, it was anything but boring! And after seeing that look in your eyes, no way I'm going to whine about style points and risk losing! You remember how a second ago I was all for Kano losing? Huh? Scratch that. I think I'm starting to hate Kunisaki even more. East side wins! Kunisaki is the winner by force out! <laughs> Not a very showy finish. Your match might have been what he needed to keep his ego in check. He and I started learning sumo at the exact same time. Look at him now. He's just too cool. Kano had no idea what he was up against. He misjudged his opponent and was destroyed. Tuli noted. He's a threat. The guy just keeps getting stronger. I don't believe my eyes. Huh? Both Hakuro and Odachi have female managers. Somebody want to tell me why we don't? Uh, what about the match? <laughs> Kano lost because of Kano. Chihiro came at him full force instead of being clever while he hesitated. To put it another way, the opponent revealed his weakness and Chihiro saw his chance to strike. Brilliant move, which he got from watching me, no doubt. I let you all down. Bot will finish this. Huh. That's the Mongolian exchange student. The first year Bot Monk Bot Buyer. You can only field one foreigner per tournament. And the guy managed to earn that spot when he was fresh out of middle school. I'm picking up some intense vibes from him. Same here. Dachi's only hanging on by a thread. And look who's next up on the roster for them. He's never competed under this kind of pressure. My dude, Kunisaki! <laughs> hey, man! You yeah. really came through for us there! <laughs> yeah, of course I did. It's me. Well, bud, you're up now, so show us what you can do. Kick! Yeah, sure. What was that? <gasps> Are you still alive? It's over. Everything's riding on you, bro, and this is when you choke? You know what this match means, don't you? Uh -huh. If you lose, it's all over for Dachi High. Uh, we won't be the best in Japan. Uh, and Hinamaru's chances of making it to the Pro League are dead. Uh, he's got enough stress. Maybe we shouldn't add more. Besides, he's only feeling the crunch because I lost my bout. What you say? Dashi's wrestler looks frozen in place. Huma. Uh, uh. That's right. Ozuki did lose. He lost two years of his life because of what I did. Now everyone's dream, and that shrimp's future, it all depends on me. Relax. <clears throat> this isn't a reckoning. It's an opportunity. How so? Hold on. This is what I've been waiting for. My chance to help everyone. Ozuki, Shorty, the Sumo Club. I can make it all right. And if the thought of that makes me shake, then I'll fight trembling the whole time. I belong to the Dachi Sumo Club. Time for me to carry some of the weight. Right.
You ought to do like that guy and chill out, Mom. I am calm. He'll give it his all, so don't look away. You have to watch, no matter what happens. <sighs> How did I get stuck fighting you? Huh? You should know up front that I'm way stronger than Kano. Oh. I'm not here to play. There are a lot of eyes in the crowd watching how I perform today. Each stable can only have one foreign fighter, and with that kind of limitation in place, I've got to show them that I'm better than the rest of the competition. How am I supposed to stand out against you? Onimaru, on the other hand, there's a real challenge. You done? Hmm? I don't care why you're here. You're just a roadblock in my team's way. And I'm gonna be the one who tears you down. Place your hands on the ground. Mongolian sumo doesn't use a ring. The match ends only when a competitor falls. Up close and personal is Bot's specialty. And Spikey here loses in those types of situations. We got lucky. This bout's in our favor. You got this. I believe in you. Spirit! Strikes? You like that? I hear this is what you specialize in. I'll beat you using strikes and show your country how much stronger I am than you. So you're as strong as a national treasure? Then there's no way I should be able to beat you. But it looks like I don't have a choice. Holy crap. He's breaking out the karate. Let him have it. I can't lose this match. If I do, he'll regret his own loss the rest of his life. I'll help make Dachi hide the best in Japan, even if I have to lay down my life doing it. Looks like I underestimated you. Good. At least crushing you will be worth my time. I thought Popeye was from Mongolia. So what's with the fighting style? He's only using strikes. Yuma has a chance of winning. This guy packs a punch. I know my strikes at Clipso Dentis and Kunisakis. They're my path to victory. Unlike me, you've never been an outsider or had to fight for a place at the table. That's why you'll lose. Say that again. I dare you to repeat it. As many times as you'd like. You're weaker than me, so I deserve your spot. Ugh. There's only room for one foreigner on this team. That's enough, Bato. Before focusing on strength, start with basic manners. Yeah, right. I won't defer to someone weaker than me just because they're older. The reason I came to your country was to become a pro. Unlike the rest of you, I'm not here to play nice. Why don't we have a bout to find out which of us is stronger? And before we start, I want to know what I get after I'm finished with you. I'll tell you once, Bot. Knock it off. So mutual respect won't exist until we meet each other in the ring? All right, then. Whenever you're ready, I think you and I should get better acquainted. He's crazy strong! Am I losing? How? Not to a Japanese student! Oh! I don't believe it! This can't be happening! If I lose, my dream's dead! I'll never be a Yokozuna! What a fool. Oh. Oh. Act like a beast, I'll treat you like one. You went too far when you'd already won. Why were you so rough on him? Rough? Hardly. He would have done exactly the same to me if the roles were reversed. That's the battle he wanted. It's not as if I could let him win. After all, we're both idiots trying our hardest to be Yokozuna. Hmm. There's extra space in my dorm room. I'll teach you everything from basic manners to how to scrub a toilet. Sound good? Did you really think you could beat me with strikes? Guess again! Tenoji and my other teammates are the only ones worthy of being called sumo wrestlers! I've sweat and bled beside them! You're nothing! <laughs> Bloodbuyer's got the advantage now! He's avoiding Gojo's impacts while hitting back hard. Yuma's getting more strikes in, so what gives? His opponent has better accuracy. He keeps landing critical hits to the torso. Improved karate winding defense! He's still up. 
Gojo should have had the advantage. <laughs> but he was completely outmatched. If he gets my belt, it's done. <laughs> How'd he do that? My wrist was hidden from you and he still managed to grab it. That's impossible! Yes. Close range. That's how Suma was fought. So you won't have a full view of your opponent. With only limited information, you must predict their moves and react accordingly, even when blind. You trusted my instruction and based your training on it. You've always been straightforward. That's your biggest strength. Real in lunge strike! If that hits, I'm done! He dodged it! So you were waiting for me to grab your Mawashi belt. Too bad it didn't help. You're wide open. It's about time. Thank you very much. <gasps> this is what he was really after? Yes! He faked only being good at strikes. And to sell the lie, he kept something hidden. His secret weapon. Kojo's actually grappling. Yeah! Point attack! Deforms triple attack force out! Call out! The leg trip didn't work. He still has two points of contact left. I've got to applaud him. He's not a national treasure, but he's tough all the same. Too bad that's not enough! With just one hand? I'm going to become a Yokozuna and be better than Tanochi! There's a reason I always talk big! So I have to live up to my own hype! If I don't win, I can't stay in this country! Double kick, wolf fangs! Hang in there, Yuma! It didn't force him down! I have to grab his belt! Lower block! Reverse strike! Joint strike! Inside leg trip! Here it comes! The extreme form of the unconventional Gojo! Do it now! Partial lunge, castle break punch! <laughs> There's still fire in his eyes. The surprise grapple didn't work, and neither did the all-out strike combo. No. <laughs> Trust the team. Trust them. And never stop fighting! What are you doing, Yuma? It's working! Don't stop! Keep hitting till your arms fall out! Hear me? Put it all on the line! Everything! Push him! He fights at his peak when it's for someone else. After everything, you still can't forgive yourself. I want to see that seriousness rewarded. We all do. Keep striking, Yuma! Take him down! Win this. If not for anyone else, do it for yourself! <sighs> know what I hate? Stories about punks seeing the light. Because they always end up making me cry. Eastside wins! <laughs> you better not end up like him. He's such a pain. I have to grab his belt! Lower block! Reverse strike! Joint strikes! Inside leg trick! Partial lunge, castle break punch! There's still fire in his eyes. No. Trust the team. Trust them. And never stop fighting. You can do it, Yuma! Keep hitting till your arms fall off. Hear me? Put it all on the line. Everything! Keep striking, Yuma! Take him down!
East side wins! They actually did it. They came back from the brink. That's two for Dachi. They're tied! Which means the tournament's going to the fifth bout. Gojo wins by pushing his opponent out of the ring. Hail the king of the ring! The what? You just took down a would-be national treasure! You're insane, dude! You did it. <laughs> Today, I feel one step closer to earning forgiveness. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Gojo was amazing, wasn't he? I wish we were down there, so we could celebrate with him. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Yuma. It's... But it's not over yet. Thanks to my brother and the rest of the team, it's his turn. He tomorrow gets a second chance. Bato. He must be devastated. You could see it when he bested Gojo in strikes. On paper, he was clearly the stronger wrestler. This was supposed to be an easy win. Stats don't determine who wins. When it came time, Gojo didn't hesitate to use every ace up his sleeve. He caught Bato off guard over and over again. And then there was that final barrage. He was putting every ounce of energy he had into those strikes. But if you want the basic reason Bato lost, it's because this bout was just a pit stop on his journey. But to Gojo, it meant everything. I failed you, boss! What's with all the doom and gloom? You're acting like we've already lost the match. If you've got to blame someone, blame me. It's my fault for losing to Kusanagi earlier. I could tell you were worried about how I'd handle being defeated. But after seeing how motivated you were to give me a second chance, I feel reinvigorated. You all did great sumo out there. All of us? What bouts were you watching? I was a complete mess. I saw you fight, and yeah, you may have lost, but you made it look good. I've caused you the most trouble, haven't I, Aki? And why are you crying, Bato? Knock it off. This isn't the singles match, so hold your head high until all the bouts are completed. You belong to the legendary Hakuro High Sumo team. Losing will never change that. <sighs> Sir! Did you hear me? I want all of you to stop looking so miserable and get fired up for the fifth bout! <sighs> Hakuro! 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 That's right. They may have tied the score, but Hakuro's captain is up next. Despite losing to Kusanagi, he's still acting just like a Yokozuna. There are people that'll see his display and get the wrong idea. That it's just empty bravado or he's got an inflated ego. Let him. He understands his responsibility. He's giving the crowd what they want to see. Once he steps foot inside the sumo ring, nothing will stand in his way. And the intensity he kept in check will be unleashed. I regret how I approached my bout with Kusanagi. I went in feeling like I was the underdog. No matter what anyone else says, I'm the greatest high school sumo wrestler alive. I'm the Yokozuna. And I won't lose again. Don't hold back. I came here to defeat a Yokozuna, and that's what I'm going to do! Listen, guys. Thank you. I'm only standing here now because of your efforts. No, not just my teams. There's so many people who helped me. I'm indebted to them. In that case, you better win. Agreed. Losing's not an option. Ushio, win this! Yeah! 
Someone who wants to be a Yokozuna can't afford to lose twice. But above all, they worked hard to give me a second chance, and I'm not about to waste it! Fifth bout, on the east side, Ushio. On the west side, Kenoji. Hinomaru lost to him only a couple of days ago. Could anything have drastically changed in that amount of time? You should know. Sumo wrestlers live in the moment. And all they need is a moment to transform. I can tell. You're different from the last time we fought. Hands on the ground! Which means I'll have to transform myself! That's way low. He's almost at ground level. We're in the same boat here. Each of us lost an important bout. Which is why I can't take this one lightly. I know your body is also surging with this power. The will to make a comeback! Search that move too. Arm lock twist down. What do you know about this one? Damn, they're fast. Of course, they understand more about who they're facing now. Try this on for size. Inomaru idolized him and crafted his style of sumo after his. Show me something new. Nothing gets past Tenoji. Disarms his opponents of every weapon they've got. They're familiar with each other's special moves constantly reading what the other's about to do, and canceling out the strategy. At the rate it's going, it's obvious who'll win. <laughs> it keeps getting pushed further and further back. When you factor in the number of battles each has fought at the top level, and experience, Hinamaru will be the first to run out of moves. Hang in there, kid! He's incredible! I'm being eaten alive! So this is the beast Sosuke awakened! Tenoji's true form! Behold a shadow that blots out an opponent's light. This is the dark carnage of battle! Hinomaru! Tenoji can even anticipate his opponent's growth, and then counter it! If that's the case, I've got one option. I need to outperform his expectations! What is this? Your intensity... It's gone! He's getting pummeled! Yeah! Ushio almost always goes for an all-out offensive. This isn't like him. My brother's already countered every one of his moves. There's only a single way he can win. Grab his belt, knock him off balance, then use the 100,000 demon takedown. But the Mawashi is too low for him. He can't reach it. Then there's the low strike Tenoji used against Kusanagi. Good luck bypassing it and getting close enough to grab on with both hands. The grease weapon you have is about to be stolen. What now? Will you let it swallow you up? The darkness? No way. Uh, did he? Hey. Why did he pull back? That was a grave mistake, Hinomaru. You just acknowledge this is as far as you can go, fighting me head-on with your physique. The reason you made it here is because you never accepted that before. You retreated like a coward! It's unacceptable! Was Tenochi's intensity too much for you? You were supposed to show me the path I didn't have the courage to take. Why would you run away now? No, he isn't. His heart's still in the fight. Inomaru hasn't stopped moving forward. He only stepped back so he could take a more powerful leap. I lost because I was weak. I used my strength, but didn't realize that wasn't enough. 
Defeat taught me something valuable. That I didn't get to be where I am by myself! Isn't that... There's Yuma, raining strikes on me every practice! <laughs> and man, do they hurt! A lunge punch? What was that? A leap? No. He bluffed. Then there's your reverse, K. It nearly fools me every time, even when I'm expecting it. He's always practiced varying up his attacks, mixing strong and weak moves. But never like this. Pulling back gave him more room to launch an attack. His head-on approach is shining brighter than ever. With such a wide variety of attacks, my brother can't predict what'll come next. To him, his sumo represents a way of life. If he thought at any time retreating was the answer, the flame inside of him would extinguish. Sumo, his way of life, and his resolve. Each one contributes to the fire in his eye. That demonic, enduring determination! Hundred thousand demons drop! I used to think being fifth on the roster meant never showing weakness in front of my teammates. That I needed to be strong all the time. To assume the role of leader, because I was best suited. And if I ever stopped moving forward, they wouldn't be able to continue either. That's what I thought. And I was so wrong. After I lost, I could see it clearly. My teammates marching forward, steady and strong. You think that's all I've got? You haven't seen anything yet! My body has the sumo of my entire team inside of it! Like Chihiro's freestyle! <laughs> Backward hook, body drop! A falling technique! Throwing and pushing side to side, followed by a pull back and fall. Even Tenoji couldn't anticipate that. Take him down! Don't quit now! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why out of all the schools I chose Totori Hakuro? Every day I get to face specialists with a wide array of techniques. Which means I'm ready for anything an opponent can throw at me. You're not the only person who's stronger because of his teammates. So try outperforming my expectations all you'd like. It'll end the same way every time. Nobody compares to me. My team has made me the best sumo wrestler around. You noticed something about our first bout? Yeah. I'm not certain how useful it'll be, but I compared it to your other matches and it stood out. Take a look. Right there. Can't get overwhelmed. Keep on attacking! Reverse hundred demon takedown! Keep it up! Knock him off balance! Don't stop till you win! Hundred thousand demon takedown! You did the hundred thousand demon drop after the push, which ended up weakening the centrifugal force. Meaning this move wasn't executed at full strength. Basically, the more you're able to shake him side to side... It has more power. Keep going! Make Tenoji lose his footing! Swirl around him! Like an inferno! Reverse hundred thousand demon drop! <sighs> Hori's something else. What a manager. What? Technically, we have the same role, but she always finds a way to help you guys be more successful. I'm completely useless. <laughs> You're wrong about that. What? <laughs> See this technique? Kirahito. The Shibakiyama stable guys. The masters. Both of them. My rivals, my team. You got this! Yeah! And you, Reina. You all helped me complete it. Tanoji, you're godlike. And I never could have defeated you alone. But we're not alone anymore, are we, Captain? Let him have it, Ushio! Here goes everything I've got! Demons enduring determination! Hundred thousand demons drop! No! Drop him! Something's wrong! 
<clears throat> Even now, with everything on the line, you're smiling. Kusanagi already beat me, which means I'm no longer a champion. But still, I am the captain of the greatest high school sumo team. I can't afford to be weak. You won't stop me from smiling. Even when I'm on the brink of death, I'm taking my team to the top no matter the price! He still had enough strength to use a throw. What sheer grit. Just as expected, you're incredible. His left arm's locked. Is this it? Even if you've reached your limit, you still have your greatest weapon. Your determination. It may look bad. Doesn't matter. You never bend. That's your style of fighting. You hate a moral sumo! I'm glad I idolized you. The reason I came this far wasn't just my team. There was something else. I've been chasing after a colossus, and his name is Shido Tenoji. I don't know if I've conquered that mountain. It's very possible you're still stronger than me. But I'm okay with that. Everyone got me here today. This is it. I have to come out victorious, even if it kills me! It's considered bad form to shout or do a victory pose in the ring. But this time, an exception can be made. This wasn't just any victory. Not by a long shot. Odachi on the east side wins! 3-2! Did Dachi High really just make it to the final round in their first national tournament? They beat Tenoji and took down the Hakuro team. <sighs> Good work out there. Let's go. The third place spot's calling our name. <sighs> Do me a favor, you idiots. Don't put on a brave face. Not for my sake. When you're disappointed, show it. Etch it into your heart. Because one day, that feeling will become your strength. I let you down too. I couldn't make you the manager of the best team in Japan. Stop worrying about me. For once in your life, try to focus on your own feelings for a change. My own feelings, huh? Hinamaru struck a victory pose. But that's fine. After all, you beat me. I'd be disappointed if you didn't show any emotion. The score is now one all. We'll have our decider in the Pro League. You better win. A lot of people are rooting for you. Don't let them down. <sighs> the crowd's still energized over that last bout. Hakuro High losing. I mean, who could have ever predicted that? <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's over. Move on. If they want more, then we'll happily give them a battle the likes of which they've never seen. So, without further delay, gentlemen, how about we show them what the cream of Ega High has to offer up? Anyone seen Hinomaru? Yeah, the doc called him and the coach into the back office. That's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Us actually winning. We did it. We brought down Hakuro. <laughs> Dachi beat Hakuro, the strongest club in high school. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> you started off your fight like a badass. Man, it got me so pumped up. 
Just walking away from that gorilla like that. Stop it. I lost my bout. What about you, Kunisaki? That makes two national treasures you've conquered. I know, right? <laughs> I've been on one hell of a winning streak. Not saying I'm even interested, but what if they choose me to go to the old Japan? I'm so good, I scare myself. <laughs> uh, not again. Stupid nosebleeds. Here. Good timing, Suriko with the save. My name's Chizuko. How are all you guys joking around? I put every ounce of energy I had into that last bout. You did great, by the way. Even with all that pressure, you took care of things. Don't act like you weren't partly to blame. Huh? When you <laughs> lost your match, I thought my heart was gonna burst out of my chest. <laughs> it motivated you, though. I know I should be overjoyed at what we've accomplished and busy celebrating our victory with the rest of the team. But why do I feel so uneasy? Yeah, we really did it. Made it all the way to the final and achieved our biggest goal, giving Hinomaru a chance to face Kuze in the ring. Huh? It doesn't matter if we lose as a team at this point. As long as he can take the fifth bout, his dream of going pro is still a possibility. <laughs> Hell, so what if we lose? We're still silver. Second place at our first national tournament. Sorry, second place? We've already beat the strongest team. Ega's gonna be a cakewalk compared to Hakuro. What are you... That's it. I know what's wrong. Mm -mm. They're slacking! <laughs> You're all acting like the tournament's already finished! Are you forgetting? Hinomaru's got a lot of battles left to fight. So what's this talk about how losing doesn't matter or how easy it will be to win? You can't just sit back and relax now? You know why Hinomaru defeated Tenoji? Because he saw how hard you guys fought for him. That's where he gets his strength. And Kuze, he's an even stronger opponent. I'm not sure if even Hinomaru can beat him. So fight and don't settle. Try your hardest to win, if not for yourselves, then for him. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, why'd you open your mouth? But obviously I'm not in the ring and it's not my place to criticize anyone. So, um, good work and I'm sorry for ranting. No. Huh? You were absolutely right to speak up. Thanks for telling them what I should have said as captain. Uh. It probably slipped our minds. Ushio lost in the individual tournament, so even if he beats Kuze, he may not get invited to the All Japan National Championships. We need to do all we can to increase his chances, even if it's only by a small amount. We'll make Dachi Hai the top team in Japan, and help Ushio become the number one wrestler from the best school in the country. It won't be just for his sake either. I know, our team has the potential to be the best there is. Win or lose, this is our final match. Guys, let's go and make that dream real. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how much of that did you hear? <laughs> it's the last time this team will fight together. Know what I think? We've got what it takes. We'll be the best in Japan! Hands on the ground! Spirit! Pure railroad tracks. That was quick. These are the semis, right? <sighs> the second bout didn't last long either. Same for the third. And the fourth. Four straight railroad track wins. No surprise. They're huge. He was so intimidated, he retreated out of the ring. The old stare out. Centuries ago, that used to be the way you determined the winner. They were outmatched. You can only pity them. He's not even in the same realm as high school sumo anymore.
Well, if it isn't this year's Dark Horse. Back when we trained with them before, we didn't stand a chance. I had no idea we'd be fighting their team in the final. Meeting again face to face, I'm reminded how huge they are. It's been far too long, Chihiro. Sorry I missed you that one time we practiced. But maybe your heart's more into academics than sumo, huh? <laughs> Come on, I'm just messing with you. You and me, we're all good, right? I mean, you took up sumo. Why else would you unless you looked up to me? Me getting into sumo had zero to do with you, got it? My hate for you birds like the sun. And I'll keep hating you until you die. Well, they seem to know each other. Maybe they're like friends. Calm down, everyone. Huh? There's no need for us to be aggressive. The way I see it, sumo is more of a beautiful endeavor. And less of a fight. Leon, you agree, right? Dude, are you insane? Sumo is nothing but fighting. I swear, if you say beautiful one more time. <laughs> Whatever our personal philosophies are, let's save it for the Just... bouts, cool? Just one last thing, Odachi. Looks like you're one man short. Can we expect to see that run Mitsuhashi in the final? Fat chance of that happening. The twig didn't know his limits and got snapped. He had it coming. He needs to accept the hard truth. Sumo wrestlers have to be big, heavy, and larger than life itself. You'll understand what I mean soon enough after we meet each other inside the ring. Hold on a minute. Hmm. Do you actually believe what you just said? After all, you've seen what our number five can do. There's something you don't get. Sumo doesn't boil down to size and weight alone. It's about spirit. You ought to save that line for later. Like maybe after you've beaten our number five. We don't hold back. It's to the death, then. His victory in the individual tournament was hard fought. True. Quite the high school Yokozuna this year. A national treasure who also happens to be the son of the famous Yamato Kuni. There's so much going for him, he may be ready to move straight into the pro league. In other words, this bout coming up will be Hinomaru's final opportunity to compete with him at the high school level. The individual tournament is done. However, the strongest sumo wrestler is yet to be determined. We'll find that out in the team tournament final. In the fifth and last bout. Isn't that right, Hinomaru? It's about time. Let's get going. Ready. Best of luck out there, you guys. Yeah, we've got this. And remember to have fun, Hinomaru. Oops! Was that not the right thing to say? Sorry if I broke your concentration. Um, I meant good luck, Shorty. <sighs> have fun. <laughs> Will do. The team tournament final on the east side, Odachi High School. On the west side, Ega University High School. It really happened. Dachi's in the final round. Yeah, maybe. But strategically, Ega's definitely got the advantage. You aren't wrong. We've got two teams. One that sailed through the semifinals without a scratch. And one that got totally pummeled in the last round. Plus, they revealed all their secret weapons. This match will come down to one factor. The most spirit. That's why they're gonna try to hit the ground running. Go out and get us our first win! On the east side, Kunisaki! All those adoring fans, such a crowd pleaser, isn't that right, Chihiro? On the west side, Yodo! Well, I suppose beating two national treasures should count for something. And so soon after joining Sumo, I'm impressed. Doesn't matter, though. Uh -uh. Let's be real here. Uh -uh. You think you're gonna outshine your older brother? Dream on! Uh. 
You're seriously telling us Yodo's your older brother? The folks went through the whole divorce thing when I was five. Yodo went off to live with our father. I hated the guy, so I decided to stay with my mother. Now he's back in my life again! That jerk. Uh. <laughs> my only memories of him are of a preteen bully. No one else. It's going to be me who takes him on. I've waited too long for this! Place your hands on the ground! The two brothers are similar. Both have latent sumo talents on par with the national treasure. But like I said, only on par with. There's something specific keeping him from joining their ranks. Hey bro, gotta say, I'm a real huge fan of that Misusashi kid. That movie pulled in the semifinals? It took brass balls. There's a reason he hasn't earned a moniker? Yeah. A big one. Spirit! He's an idiot. <laughs> so what do you think, Chihiro? Bet you're impressed. Go ahead, lose your cool and charge at me. I'll leap out of the way. Ah! He just stood there, what the hell? Yodo, you are king of the idiots! Whoa, whoa, hold on! He's tricky, to the point he ends up digging his own grave occasionally. But... You dick! I said wait! <laughs> That's how he's able to take down opponents. Strength and unpredictability. It'd do you good to listen to your older brother for a change. You paying attention? The only one who can fight an idiot of his caliber... Oh. Leap! ...is another idiot. <gasps> what the hell kind of bout is this? He's always stealing the things I love and ruining them for me! Huh? You're taking up boxing now? Hey, the two of us should have a match! Huh. Oh, is it over already? <laughs> he bulldozes my world, then walks us off. Not this time! Dati High's dream is to be the best in Japan! You won't take that away! <laughs> Good idea! I think I'll jump too! What the? He's mocking me. Uh, if you're not gonna let me grab your belt, then... Uh, Flash attack! You like that, bro? Masato Hiyoto? Huh? Is there a problem, Kunisaki? Um, no. So what about him? He's been wrestling two years, but in that short amount of time, he's already earned a spot as a regular on the Ega High team. This is from the spring tournament. As you can see, his technique is highly unpredictable. He's got power, speed, and killer instincts. All his stats are first class. It's your second year, huh? Well, this is only my first. <laughs> You'd always take up whatever sport I was into. Outdo me, then quit. <laughs> this time, it's my turn. I've only done this one year and already beaten two national treasures. Hey, you're not half bad. Oh, can't see. Down you go. Inner foot sweep. Remember, those are my techniques you're representing out there. Better do them justice, Kunisaki. Damn, the spider monkey! A leg grab, huh? No good! Gotcha! Yeah! Grab some dirt! You're insane! This is serious! Quit screwing around! It looks to me like you're losing your cool! Chihiro! Yeah. An overarm throw! Did you see that, ref? Yeah. Running away? A test of strength. Can you call what they're doing sumo anymore? Incredible. What's going on? You need to relax. If you just regain focus, you can win this bout easily. Why'd you go and pinch me, you cheating cheater? <laughs> it just popped into my head, so I had to try it. Damn it. Be serious for once in your... Oh, holy crap. This Hyodo guy's something else. You can tell how much he loves sumo. With all this stupid running around, it was hard to notice. But up close, it's clear. The brother who always used to get bored and walk away has been working out, transforming his body into a sumo wrestler. <sighs> Watching Kyoto fight is giving me a coronary. 
He'll defeat someone twice as strong and then turn around and lose to an easy opponent. Makes it difficult to predict how many bouts you're going to win during a team match. Still, the guy only took up sumo two years ago. Back in those days, he'd join a club, make a scene, get kicked out. Rinse and repeat. Until he found ours. He challenged us to a fight and was knocked flat on his back. <laughs> so this is sumo wrestling, huh? It's my kind of sport. He's an idiot, don't get me wrong. Thing is, the guy's in love with it. His passion is so intense, it makes you want to back off and just let him do his thing. See, hero, do you love sumo? Uh, Don't laugh, but I know I do. I finally found what was missing, that thing in life that makes me proud of who I am. What about you? What's your reason for joining the club? It was the day I lost to Hinomaru. I wanted to learn how he managed to beat me, but I've kept telling myself it's like wrestling. Just another step on my journey to being the top mixed martial arts fighter in the world. Who do I think I am compared to Hinamaru? Or any of the other national treasures? Chihiro! I see you out there overthinking things. <laughs> Trust your feelings. <laughs> yeah! yeah! Know what? My answer's the same! He's changing tactics. Yeah! He lowered his head and is charging in. Yeah! Yeah! I love Sumo! He doesn't have sharp footwork or ship techniques like Hinomaru. It's just a matter of time before... Yeah! That's right. I've never worked on my head putting. I sidelined it to focus on winning. But I had to try. Even if the odds were slim, it was that or run away from Sumo! Yeah! Guys, I'm sorry. I could have sworn you wanted to be the strongest! Fight back, Kunisaki! You're the best improviser and the strongest in Sumo! So don't lose this! Supreme, invincible, and the strongest! Clasp hands, twist, drop, throw! Neo Chihiro special number two! I was wondering when you were gonna try that! Sorry to break it to you, but you're not the only one who knows both wrestling and sumo techniques! <gasps> West Side wins! Going with the headbutt put him at a pretty severe disadvantage. Yeah, when you break the teams down by physiques. Between Dachi and Ega, there's no competition. I get that, but still. There wasn't a huge difference in size during the first bout. Actually, what impressed me the most was how Hyoto handled that last throw. Those two are so similar. Maybe they each understood what the other was about. Well, looks like I bested you again, little brother. Ugh. I don't think I hate anyone more than you. You always hate my food? Use my save data to beat my video games? <laughs> oh, and let's not forget about taking my allowance. But what pisses me off the most is having to admit that you're actually pretty strong. Huh? <laughs> I'm not sure what you're talking about, but that match we had was kick-ass, right? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, man. That was a big loss. Their team must be in shock after that. No doubt. You really think so? You could have won that bout if you didn't get so worked up. Yeah, my bad. I'm counting on you to make it up. During our practice sessions, there were only two Dachi High members I could never beat. One was Hinamaru, and the second was... I wasn't expecting to start with the loss. It looks like I've no choice but to adapt. Second bout, on the east side. Suji! Second bout, on the east side, Suji. On the west side, so why? Who is that? What's the coach for Dachi Ai huh? doing inside the ring? So he's a sumo wrestler too? Let's go, Dachi Hai! 
I'm sorry, Coach. It's my fault. I tried a technique we hadn't discussed beforehand, and this is what it got me. I'm the one who should be apologizing. Every move I taught you, every command you performed, it wasn't your fault for losing. I failed you as a coach. I made a promise a while back that you would earn a win during the national tournament. Please forgive me! There's nothing to forgive. If it weren't for you, I never would have been in a position to even force a tie. I have no regrets. I was able to go in the ring, guns blazing. For one reason. We have the strongest reserve member. It's up to you, coach. My mistake. I mean, Kirihito. Like I told you earlier, if you want a sumo, you gotta be big. The only exceptions to the rule I know of are Onimaru and Karia. Just because there's no weight category doesn't mean everyone should participate. There's two possibilities. You're either an exception to the rule and maybe the sport's best kept secret, or you're... Shh. Huh? Look, I'm trying to absorb the atmosphere of my first bout in a very long time. So if you could pipe down and stop ruining this moment... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude's a better trash talker than Sawai. Ah, uh, but Leon's such a sensitive soul. Wish he'd drop the tough guy act. I never expected he'd even step into the ring. Back when they visited our school, he didn't show any interest in training with us. I wonder why the rest of his team looks so relaxed. Maybe he can hold his own. But then why did they keep putting Mitsuhashi in? It'll be fine. I know Suji will come through for us. Even though he can only fight for 20 seconds. He's managed to throw not only Ushio, but Master Shibakiyama. In that brief window, he's the best wrestler around. I've managed to stay out of the limelight. Only because Mitsuhashi was able to cling on till now. It's because of him and his encouragement I have the courage to stand in the ring again. Without that, I would have given up forever. You gave me a chance. I won't waste it. Hands on the ground! What's with him? I thought he was just this smug dick, but that look in his eyes is seriously intense. All right, let's see what Onikiri's capable of. Can't wait. Now, spirit! <laughs> He charged head first at a much bigger opponent? <laughs> He's fast! <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Sorry to rush things, but this ends now. Keep pushing him back! No. His grip's been altered. He's lost momentum! I'm wasting time! How about this? <laughs> Figures. He's not Nega regular for nothing. This dude's deceptively strong, and his techniques are top notch. If he catches me off guard, I'm done. It's not adding up. Why was he only a reserve? Maybe the guy's been injured. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he does seem to be rushing for some reason. I can't let him take the initiative and control the bout. <sighs> Doesn't look good. Don't, don't judge a book by its cover. So why Sharp? While the professor's good at countering moves, if his opponent hangs back, he struggles to make the first move. Just budging an opponent that size will take more power than Coach can spend. He needs a new plan. If I stand still, I'm finished. Don't stop. Move. Time's almost up. It's over. I was being too cocky. What made me think someone who quit playing years ago could ever win? And at this level... Kirihito! <laughs> You've got more to give than just that! <laughs> what are you waiting for? Hurry up and make a move! There we 
go. Took you long enough. I want to help my team when they need it the most. For just one day in my life. For this one bout. I don't accept my limitations. I'll push past them! Basic form! Three-point throw! Wait. <sighs> They're protesting it? The opponent grabbed his belt at the last minute. Man, the professor's got nothing left. A do-over for him's impossible. Man, are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. A draw! We'll reset! <sighs> That's just perfect. Yeah, sure. I'm up for it. The match is about to restart. <sighs> What's wrong? Are you hurt? <sighs> He's done. Forfeit, please! That's the professor's choice. But my guess is, the reason he's doing this in the first place is too important to walk away from. Nah. Mitsuhashi's got nothing to do with it. Oh? Once wasn't enough for you. You didn't get to showcase your sumo style. That first round, it was just getting you warmed up. I thought I'd only see one bow. Now I get a second go. I'm grateful. Ready when you are. Uh, he's smiling? Doesn't seem like he can get his breathing under control. It's just like the captain said. He's got zero stamina. All I have to do to win is grab him and draw out the bout. Does he even stand a chance at this point? I'd give him five seconds at most. After that, he's out of air. All his opponent has to do is waste time. Our bodies left us at a disadvantage, so we relied on technique and spirit. Show them that. Uh, what's his deal? When I look at him, it's as if he's not really here. His aura's like a ghost. Now, spirit! Your charge was too weak. Head twist! Spiral cut! Yes, this is it. There's no better feeling in the world. Holy crap. Suji on the east side wins with a head twist. <laughs> Not half bad. <laughs> Look at what you made me do. If you lose, coming after you. Deal. <laughs> hey! Whoever told you losing was an option? Right after I gave us a juicy head start, too. I know. You aren't hurt, are you? Man, that was some great sumo. And as usual, our team's totally inconsistent. Huh? <clears throat> right back at you, Mitsuhashi. Years ago, two grade schoolers set Chiba alight with their sumo. Onimaru, tough as nails, and the introspective Onikiri. History repeats. I heard that he had quit for good, but we're talking sumo. Good luck staying away for long. What's Hakuro doing here? All the decent seats were taken, so we're invading your space. Huh? Oh, so, how's your leg? I'm really sorry. What? You're sorry? Why? It's my fault! Forgive uh me! For everything! <laughs> oh man, Kojo! I can still see where your sister slapped you! Damn, she left a mark! Yeah, I can still feel it. My head's back in the game. I'll do whatever it takes to win for this team. Yuma! 
You love Sumo, right? It's your last bout. So when you fight, do it for yourself. Third bout. On the east side, Gojo. On the west side, Yomada. This should be good. He's a major threat. True. Yomada's never stood on the winner's podium, so he doesn't have a moniker. But he always plays his way up there in individual tournaments. You said it. It pisses me off that he held back against me in the third place bout. I'd kill to see what he's made of. <laughs> Two national treasures are heaping praise on this guy? Yuma still hasn't fully recovered from the semifinal. Meanwhile, he has to face off against this behemoth. Not only that, it sounds like the guy's at the peak of his game. How's he gonna win? Uh, is he...? Gojo, huh? Considering we're facing Dachi, it could have been far worse. Still, I need to watch out for those strikes of his. On the other hand, if I get close and try to grab him, I might fall into a trap like he laid for Botbuyer. Regardless, I know he'll open with palm strikes. I'll let him get some hits in, then use my weight advantage to force him back. Spirit! <gasps> Never forget, outside of Dachi High, I wanted to use the sport I love to make something out of myself. A lunch bunch! That was a solid hit! The two of you probably aren't aware of this, but... Those strikes of his, they leave an impression. He was supposed to be wiped out! I guess no one told him. Yomura's crumbling from the hits! You got this, Yuma! What's with this guy? He always seems at the end of his rope, but here he is, on the big stage, enjoying himself. Get it, get it! You deserve credit for seeking redemption, but that's not the only reason you're here, is it? Your teammates want something more from you now. For you, to enjoy sumo. Go, no, you what? You're running out of room, go sideways! Spread out, use more of the ring! <laughs> Pulling techniques used to catch Gojo off guard, but times have changed. I can't stay at this distance. I gotta grab his belt! He's defenseless. Yomura can't do a thing. Partial lunge, castle break punch! He did it! You are one sly fox. <laughs> was a ploy. He wanted to put enough distance between them to draw out a long-range attack. <laughs> Looks like I've got you now. <laughs> you think grabbing me ends this? <laughs> Not a chance! <laughs> Whose throws do you think I have to deal with every day of practice? <laughs> uh. He weighs as much as a mountain, but that won't stop me. And break! Keep your feet exactly where they are. Uh -huh. He's bleeding all over the place. That's why they called a timeout. On the bright side, at least Yuma's getting a breather. Sorry, man. Are you okay? Uh, it's nothing. No big deal. Do you even realize how strong you are? Most of the time, seems like he's got a few screws loose. But as soon as he puts on his Mawashi belt, he owns the training area. Knowing he's watching keeps me on edge. I guess he's impatient for his bout with Onimaru to begin. That, or this is his awkward way of showing support. Uh -oh. Yuma! Huh? Stay sharp. Right. You think I'm strong, huh? You're half right. I became strong. 
The Dachi High Sumo Club made me the man I am today. I never was able to find the right words to express how I felt. So... Spirits! I am with, and show them my gratitude! These tissues are making it hard to breathe. Better finish this now! I can't overpower him, but maybe I don't need to! Ozuki taught me to lift my opponent's right arm. It raises their center of gravity. As long as mine is lower than theirs, I can push them! This is my last high school sumo bout. No, the last one I'll ever do! No move! Stand strong! Yes! Do it! I'm putting everything on the line! Right here, right uh. now! Incredible! He's fast! This is more like it. <laughs> Looks like I need to get back to training ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even lifting with his arms. It's all with the stomach, the traditional sumo way. And they said we were a team without a star wrestler. This was an off year. A lot of people have disparaged us along the way, but now we have him. That's why I'm staking everything I've got on the team tournament. And as its captain, I have to win here. Move, Yuma, break free. Keep struggling! Make him lose his grip! Be strong. I'm no match. Which means... I want to beat him! Just like I did with Bato, I want to set myself ablaze again! You've only been doing sumo for a few months now. If you want my honest opinion, you've got colossal talent. Don't quit. Yomada on the west side wins with a pushdown. If I didn't conserve my energy coming into this, that would have been me on the ground. He lost. Yuma did it. He actually became one. A real sumo wrestler. Yeah. <sighs> Damn it. What do you think? Uh? Sumo's fun, isn't it? I never allowed myself the chance until now. <sighs> but you know what? I had a blast. So, that was my final bout, huh? I was hoping I'd go out with a bang. You know, I'm not sure if I'm ready to quit sumo just yet. That makes for Odachi's second loss. They're on the edge. From looking at them, there's no way you'd be able to tell. Who knows which team will win? We'll just have to see. The second win. Ega's the first to catch a glimpse of the finish. They're close. One more loss, and Odachi's out. Do I hear a couple of old-timers giving commentary? Ah, Yamatakuni. You made it. This meeting's long overdue. Greetings, Shunkai, and Master Shibakiyama. Is the Heisei era's greatest Yokozuna here to watch his son emerge victorious? That's partly reason, yes. But I also wanted to see them in action. After all, these young men are the future of sumo. Fourth bout, on the east side, Ozuki. I'm ready. On the west side, Daniel. Let's go. We get to see the blonde sumo wrestler fight. Daniel, you can do it! Check out his cute smile. Hmm? What's the deal? Everyone's losing their minds. 
I believe it's partly because there are so few Caucasians who participate in high school sumo. But also, his performance is a major factor. While he may not have won the individual tournament, I heard he held his own against Kuze. Wait, what? His physique is flawless. Even the pros are watching his progress. He's similar to Bato. There's no way for a foreigner to achieve a national treasure moniker, even though his abilities are basically on the same level as one. Here comes our secret weapon hailing from Europe. I've nicknamed him King Arthur's Legendary Sword Excalibur. You're the only one who calls him that. As good as a national treasure, he may be too much for Ozuki. Captain, remember to stay level-headed. Mm. You know, I've noticed something interesting during this tournament. Lucio supports each of his teammates in the way they need to be supported. They're such different people, but he understands them all so well. Oh, standing side by side, the European dude dwarfs him! There's no point comparing physiques. That's irrelevant. Mm. Sumo's about something more. Spirit, before this match, you said so. And I completely agree. Your team may be small, but their passion isn't. Even though I'm a large dude, I used to be weak. Sumo and moving here, it's changed me. Totally. I was weak too. Promise you won't laugh, but I didn't win a single bout until last year. Dang. That's seriously weak. Yeah. Thing is, I'm not weak anymore. Same goes for me. In that sense, we have something in common, don't we? <laughs> Guess so. He loves Sumo so much, he moved to a different continent to gain experience. I've heard its popularity is catching on overseas, but actually deciding to pursue it, that takes a huge amount of courage. <laughs> Looking at you, I can just tell. You're into Sumo as much as me, and I bet I know the reason you got stronger. Because... I was the same. Spirit! Spirit! Slap strikes. He wasn't kidding! So he's stronger now, huh? Well, it's true. Daniel used to be weak. We had high hopes for our exchange student, but when we saw him wrestle, it turned out he was just some beefed-up sumo fanatic. Sure, he had the advantage of a huge frame, but he didn't have any clue how to use it. A left arm clamp. Looks sort of familiar. Almost exactly like your technique. All of us discovered sumo the same way. By watching the legendary Yamato Kuni competing in the ring, I wanted to be just like him. Even if it meant traveling to a sumo club in the next town over to practice, it didn't matter. Was it the same for you? Living on another continent, trying to copy your hero? I know you're doing his signature move. The left arm clamp. Don't think so. I won't let you seal off my arm. I doubt his intention was mimicking me. My guess is he learned from watching Sosuke. Hold your ground! Keep grinding it out till you can grab it! I can do this! In a battle of patience! I can beat anyone! Guy has mental strength. He's got a bulletproof spirit. The same as Onimaru's. It was Ushio who opened my eyes. He taught me what makes sumo fun. Captain. Go win. Tasting victory has only proven what I already knew. I absolutely love this sport! I'm starting to suspect these two might have more in common than I first thought. They used to be weaklings up until recently. Then, someone new entered their life. A person who changed them completely. They met their heroes. Ozaki! Keep grinding it out! Nice and steady! I need to get my arm outside his. Then I can overpower him like I was taught. I came thousands of miles to do what I love. Thought I'd become a pro just like that. 
until I got a cold, hard dose of reality. I can't beat a single wrestler, but I'm larger than everyone else here. I was wrong. Sumo isn't fun. I spent a year thinking that way. Then I met him. He was still in middle school at the time and was going to enroll at Ega High School the following year. But for some reason, the club members weren't exactly welcoming. Rumor is he refuses to contest actual bouts. Seriously? What's his deal? Does he think he's better than us? I didn't know anything about him. But after we fought, something came over me and I couldn't help blurting out. Y Yamato Kuni! It was only later they told me who his father was, but instead of shocking me, it made total sense. I think your sumo's incredible. Then again, I'm sure it's fun, especially when you're so good at it. Fighting and not caring what anyone says must be great. Eh, uh, you've got it all wrong. I do care what people say. Huh? I worry about what they think of my sumo, and if it lives up to the Yamato Kuni name or not. I know the doubt is like an anchor. It shows how weak I am. <laughs> I need to focus solely on what happens inside the ring, and tune out what everyone else is saying. To do otherwise is rude. An insult to both my opponent and the sport. That's cool, but I mean... You do enjoy it. Eh... Uh, I can say I like sumo, but as to whether or not I actually enjoy doing it, I'm not certain. The thing is... It's my reason for existing. I've devoted my life to it. I felt like he was telling me how naive I was being. He had the mindset of someone who was going to make sumo his livelihood. Because I was so weak, I decided to train harder than him. If he did 300 stomps, I'd do 400. If that didn't make a difference, I'd know it was time to quit. Daniel, Sosuke, new ring assignment. Starting today, you're both practicing in the first string. <laughs> and now, that initial love I had for Sumo's come back. I live and breathe for it. He couldn't grab him, so he switched the strides. Dude's a beast. <laughs> His rapid improvement just shows the universal truth about Sumo. It's all about your spirit. Sosuke used to be on the third string and was treated like an outcast. Out of all the club members, Daniel was the only one who kept challenging him. Anyone who froze him out didn't get very far. But those who saw a chance to spar with Sosuke as a golden opportunity, well, there's a reason they're here at the finals. So you get struck harder than that every day? Then show me what you're made of! Ozuke, do it! This is like a sneak preview of Onimaru and Kusanagi's bout. Looks like he has no choice but to win. Ushio wants to be the best sumo wrestler in Japan. And his way forward is through beating Kuze. I can't afford to lose to his protege! Excellent! He's in position! I can grab him. Just wait for him to push forward, and then go for the outside. I know I'm weak. The fear of losing is constant. Ozuki, I hope I passed some on to you. This overwhelming dread. I want to know, are you having fun yet? Right over arm throw, great serpent cleaver. Oh, Daniel, remember when you said the two of us were similar? You're completely wrong! Your only goal seems to be imitating Kuze, but me and Ushio are nothing like that! It may have only been once out of the thousand times we sparred, but I actually managed to beat Ushio. I was so proud of myself, I bought a little celebratory cake! The next day at school, he was still pouting about it, which totally made my week. Because the thing is, while we may be teammates, we're also rivals! <laughs> Captain! You the guy! <laughs> With a beltless arm throw, east side, Ozuki wins! He 
needs a ton of work, but he definitely could be a national treasure. You know what? Ozuki won the battle with patience and deserves his moment. <sighs> We're tied now. 2-2. Two -two. I've done everything I can. It's out of my hands. Ushio, I leave the rest to you. Win this! Team Tournament Final! Bout 5! On the east side, Ushio! On the west side, Kuze! Onimaru versus Kusanagi, finally! Two national treasures, slugging it out to decide which team is the best. A lot's riding on this bout. This could be their chance. The winner goes on to the All Japan and has a clear path to joining the Pro League. Listen to the crowd cheer. Everyone already recognizes Onimaru's ability. Even if he doesn't make it this year, it's only a matter of time before he gets there. You've got it wrong. Hmm. His goal isn't just to be a pro. The boy wants to be a Yokozuna. He doesn't have an unlimited number of chances. If he doesn't win today, how does he expect to make it a reality? Hey guys. Uh -huh. Huh? What do you think? Sumo's pretty fun. Yuma. <clears throat> we could all see your steady, earnest efforts to improve. You kept the club moving forward. <clears throat> Chihiro. As an experienced wrestling champion, you instilled confidence in the team. Kirihito. You put us on the right path and kept us there. K. We can't forget your courage. Even in the face of daunting odds. Hori. And Reina, thank you for being incredible managers. You supported us all the way. Captain, huh? you kept the club alive for three years and united us despite our different personalities. We're a team because of you, everyone. I'm glad you joined the sumo club and I hope it made your lives better. Thank you. <laughs> You're so dense. Oh, huh? If anyone here should be grateful, it's everyone else. We all love doing sumo. But we only learned that because of you. <laughs> All right. This is going to be our final bout as a team. Leave with no regrets. Huh. Go out there and win! Yeah. You still think you have a chance at winning? Look at him. The sumo gods have found their vessel. He's their walking embodiment. There's no stopping him. Again, this feeling washes over me. And I like it. The silence swallows us as if we're the only two people in the world. I can forget about everything else except for Sumo. Hey. <laughs> this doesn't get you pumped? Me? I can't get enough. That's one of the reasons I came here. I needed the sound of applause again. Louder. Let's hear it! Loud enough to reach the heavens! I shouldn't be surprised. That's how you live. I've been waiting for this a very long time. Is that right? So have I. We started our bout that day. And we end it now. Yes. And neither of us will hold anything back. As soon as he entered the ring, his smile vanished. Their bout of destiny. At last. Spirit! The spider stance is flickering like fire. I spent years preparing for this day! Uh, That's it? He won the charge! Yo, Nimaru! Every do-or-die bout I survived. The opponents I've devoured. The confidence I had to rebuild. All of it fuels my inferno! He's loading up and attacking head-on. <clears throat> I learned not to rush in without a plan. Now I choose my target and lock onto it. That was a rising strike. The same one Tenoji used. <clears throat> a direct hit! Don't let Kuze outpace you! Keep up with them! You're quick, but guess what? I know someone faster! 
Don't underestimate him because of his reach. Once he gets in range, his strikes pack a savage punch. Shorter arms mean he can attack faster. He even held off Odenta, the best striker in high school sumo. If he manages to catch you while your guard's down, you better brace yourself. He hits harder than you think. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What gives? He's almost out! One thing's certain. I never could have gotten this far on my own. Come on! My team, they've always had my back! Push him out! Whatever fate threw our way, we overcame it, despite the odds! You've truly become strong, and in such a short amount of time. But so have I. I'll destroy you, and then I can join the Pro League. Not only are his moves depleting my stamina, they're also breaking my spirit. If I make even a single wrong move, I'm dead. <laughs> Kuse never rushes in or takes risks. His offense is impenetrable. Don't hold still! Switch sides to get him moving! What is this rush? Excitement? Or fear? I can't tell. Sosuke, what makes a Yokozuna? One mistake during a bout, and the result could end up proving fatal. But to wear is a human quality. None of us are exempt, no matter how careful we strive to be. <clears throat> Do you understand, son? To become a Yokozuna, you must be feared and respected. It requires you to crush everyone in your path, to never show the enemy mercy. To achieve that, you have to cease being human. So beautiful. They're in a different stratosphere. Both of them! Don't move sideways! Forward! Why isn't it working? Attacking head on? Is he insane? The guy's completely fearless. No, I'm scared of Kuze, of Sumo. Even so. Another strike! I'm too close. I can see my goal in front of me. An adversary on the cusp of turning Yokozuna. I'm willing to risk everything, even my life. For victory! Uh, he got in a third strike! I knock him back and he doesn't yield. Figures. He'll never slow down. That's not your style of sumo. His hands are inside. Kusanagi's hands are outside. They're both in range. It's either one's game. Heads together. Both hands on your belt. I created this move for only one purpose. Defeating you! Now, to keep shaking you and never stop! I can see the end, and this technique will get me there! I see what you're doing, and I won't give you a chance to start. This right overhand grip was taught to me by my father. It defines my destiny. Don't hesitate. Just one error, and, and I'll, I'll lose! lose.